Morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. If you knew what was going on today, I can't tell you. Anyway, it's Christmas. Whoop, whoop. Hooray. Uh, no Facebook. No Facebook. So let's start. Now, I'm going to start with this, actually. Everybody who buys something this week while stocks last will get the Christmas badge. 2022. Remember on the back of the packet, it's got a little surprise, like it always has. There you go. It's cute, isn't it? Oh, Charlie's got issues, as well as, well as the computer. Okay, well, let's do the early bird first, shall we? Let's do the early bird. Now, the early bird... Are these metallic ribbons? Now, metallic ribbons, you know what we say. Uh, we take something that sells perfectly well and we... Oh, yellow graphics. Oh, I didn't realise we are doing gold Christmas. Oh, we go. Christmas gold. Okay. So these are 3 99 normally. 3 99 these are normally. Metallic ribbons, two metres by nine millimetres, five of them. So 10 metres of ribbon in there. Beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous metallic ribbons. Crash in. Oh, have we got snowflake? Oh, hang on. <laughs> so the arrows don't work then with the gold. They just disappeared. Anyway, £1.49 to get two metres of green, two metres of red, two metres of rose gold, two metres of yellow gold, two metres of silver. At £1.49. £1.49. For all of those ribbons. Make sure you check out, make sure you check out, make sure you check out. I hope you're all well. There's all sorts of things cucking here. Charlie's stressing a bit here next door. Everything's going horribly wrong, he says. These aren't though, these are £1.49. Message on my bottom. Morning, John team, love your shirt. Thank you, Carol. Christmas, in it? In it though. Oh dear, it must be serious. £1.49, keep going through. Uh, none of the computers are working properly, so I can't do menu, I can't do competition. Oh, I can do menu now. Well, it's not three, are there? Because Facebook's not working. <laughs> £1.49. Keep going through. I, I, there we go. Good morning, John. No fun. It's my birthday time. I'm hoping to be lucky playing bingo. Margaret, you'll be lucky if we even play bingo at this rate. I need a haircut, don't I? Know. Yeah, the turkey's gone in with the giblets in the bag. That kind of Christmas. Yeah. Anyway, happy birth happy birthday, Margaret in Suffolk, anyway. £1.49, keep going through, keep going through. Over 100 have gone, over 100 have gone so far. Oh, here you go, it's working, all working now. <laughs> did they sit, who, did Ollie come in and fix it? No, they just switched it on. <laughs> he switched off and switched it back on again. Got a hair grip. You can always reply on Ollie, re reply, rely on Ollie. He's magical. Ollie's magical. He's like our little Christmas elf, Ollie. One pound for, he told me off earlier. Uh, I was giving Kinga a hug in the corridor and he went, leave her alone. Like that. One pound for, and she's frightened of me apparently. How could she be? It could be, got to, it could be something to do with last week she came in here, right? And I went like this. Get out of my studio! Like that, as a joke. And she thinks she took it seriously. Anyway, £1.49. Keep going through. Loads of you in for these. Loads of you coming in for these. We've got such a packed day today, I can't tell you. Oh, now also the rotor has changed a little bit now. I'm in today, off tomorrow. Then I'm in Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, off Friday, Weed. in Saturday, Sunday. Just so you know. Weed. I know. I'm about to have to have Friday off because that's Susie Duncan's in next Friday. Didn't want to be with her next Friday, so. So rude. 
Well, pound 49. Well, saves me making a cake, though. Yeah, saves me making a cake. Saves me eating it as well. Because <laughs> otherwise, I just sit at home and eat the whole thing. Uh, which is your favourite colour, Susie? On oh. there, not in life. Oh, in that. In that one. Um, oh, hang on. Can we see them? There you go, there you go, there you go. Um, probably the red, actually. Yeah, the I red's nice. The well, they're all Christmassy, aren't they? I like that and one, I've though. I've not that's a bit seen unusual, the rose it? gold before. Oh, that's, that's nice. really then. lovely. Message on the bottom. Good morning, John and all from Claire in Northamptonshire. Morning, Claire. Good morning. Sorry we can't do Facebook. Yeah, check out, get your badge. That's it sorted then, isn't it? Morning, John. Have a great Christmas event. Liz. Oh, here's the, no, can we show slides now? Free pin badge. Ollie came in and fixed it. Free pin badge between the 20th and 24th of July. Shop during our Christmas in July event and receive a free pin badge. What does it say? A little letter at the bottom. One pin badge per customer while stocks last. That's it on the big telly. I see we've gone for that kind of like mustardy yellow Christmas. Yeah, well, I was going to call it that, but didn't. Anyway, I've just been into the, I went running into the dressing room, right? It's heaving this morning. Dave's left all his stuff out. So that, then Amelia came in, right? So I put my, just at the end like this, put my stuff out at the end. Just gone in now. An old Princess Dina Warriors in there. Dog, fish food, it stinks of fish. I can't find any of my stuff. Anyway, £1.49. You have a few days off and they forget who you are. Thank you, Charlie. Are we carrying on with this or I'm going to stop now? Okay, over 175 of these have gone already. Message on my bottom. Looking snazzy stage on, watching you whilst getting ready for work. Chris in Wales. Thank you, Chris in Wales. Right, now. Mm. You know, yesterday, I'll tell you about, I'll, before I tell you about today's competition, let me tell you, if you did word scramble, I was going to say snazzle, in fact, that doesn't sound right. Snazzle. If you played word scramble yesterday, these were the answers. Is it working? Oh! Oh, oh, so you said it was all fixed. Oh, OK, so it was Santa Claus. I'm going to tell you, it's not that you, you, you can't email him for this one now, so I'll give you the answers, right? Santa Claus, Jingle Bells, Mistletoe, Snowflake, Present. Right, that was yesterday's. Today's is Christmas Bingo. So what you need to do is you need... Here's, oh, OK, this is what, what one of you will win £25 credit to your account, right? This is how you do it, right? On Facebook... That's not what On the Facebook page, right? There's a thing with, no, is it nine pictures, Charlie? Yeah, Facebook's working, not Facebook Live, right? So, uh, have we got, now can we show that slide, Charlie? Oh no, don't wait then. Okay, on Facebook, it's all going horribly wrong next to it. Right, so on Facebook, you go and look, there's a, there's a chart like that with nine, it's nine pictures on, isn't it, right? During the day, I'm not gonna make mention them, right? But Charlie will flash them up every now and then. As soon as you see the ninth one, right, you have to um, message in to, oh, you can't show this either, can you? I can. Right, you have to message in to studio at sainstreet.com so and write in the top line, in the top line up here, subject, bingo. Right, and then you write your name and address and your customer number. One of you will win £25, and I'll tell you on Monday who it is that's won the 25 I won't, I'm... My, yeah, it's me Monday. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell, you. I'll tell you on Monday who's won each day. I'm not telling you one yesterday. Uh, I tell you who's won each day, right? So what you need to do, actually, let's just be naughty. Let's show the first one. So you've all got one on your card to start with, right? There. So you'll see pictures like this. That's obviously a darn sock, is it? A spider sock, yeah? So that's the first one. You can all now mark off the stocking, the sock one, right? So you've got eight more you're looking out for, but they'll look like that. I won't announce them. They'll just come up as and when Charlie fancies. And then as soon as you see all nine of them, you need to email him. So that's the competition. I've told you about the badge. Now let's do today's menu. Can we do that? We can do the menu. Yeah, you fixed that one, but you haven't fixed anything else. Right, here we go. Coming up, Liberty Fabrics. It's a bit difficult to read all those lines all over, isn't it? 
Liberty Fabrics, a woodland Christmas with Susie Duncan. She's come dressed as a fawn. No, she's actually come dressed as one of the trees. <laughs> Huh? At nine o'clock, Fabric Christmas Wreath and Hexagon Table Centre with Living in Loveness with Kerry. Lots of widths in there. Ten o'clock, we've got Christmas fabrics. Now, one of those Christmas fabrics is um, sewing machine, like sewing themed Christmas. Is I've it? never seen it before. It's Eleven o'clock, we've got Christmas tote bag and bauble with Living in Loveness with Kerry. And then twelve o'clock, very festive, in smaller writing than, <laughs> than the rest of the page. <laughs> Sewing machines. Hannah won't be here for that last hour. She's just going to set the machine to go and then she's just going to go. Now, I'd normally say now there are three ways to get in touch, but there's not. There's only two ways you can get in touch at the moment. The first way is by email. <coughs> studio at sewingstreet.com. So there your emails that will go through to Hannah. The Facebook Live isn't working. So the other way is go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. Click on watch the show live. Right now, you see the white box on the right hand side there. You can send your message. They're the ones that appear on the bottom later on. If you scroll down that page, you will see everything that's coming up. Actually, not everything. Everything that's coming up. I'll just wait for them to stop chatting in the gallery. Thank you very much. <laughs> I can talk, but with you wittering on in the background. Here's everything. There's Kerry's stuff for later on. No, I haven't. I don't have that skill. Because I was taught professionally, you see. Look, look, look. There's the, there's the sewing machine Christmas fabric. Oh, that's cool. Isn't it lovely? I like that. Isn't it gorgeous? Keep going. Oh, I can make my tags out of that. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, everything that's coming up in there. Now, there's one thing I haven't seen yet. The very important thing that I haven't seen yet. Keep going. Keep going. Baubles. Tote bags. Uh, polystyrene balls. Tote bags. Sewing machines. This is the very festive Christmas hour, last hour here. Yeah, but you might be buying one for some of them. Do They might be buying a sewing machine for Christmas. Yeah, exactly. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. I'm looking for... Yeah, it wasn't there though, I couldn't see it. Oh, uh, okay. Right, now stop. I've got two of those, t is it two or one of those tables left? Two of those tables left. Two of those tables left, that's all. Now the other bit of news I've got is now look, I've got to make an announcement about this, right? So, Last week, we had that iron on, and I told you, as I was told in the office, that's it, you're never seeing it again, that's it, that's it, that's it, it's gone, right? And we took an extra 60 pounds off, right? So it wasn't 299 pounds, no, because that's already got 50 pounds off. We took another 60 pounds off, right? Now, I messaged Hayley last night, and I said, oh, how come I've got some of these? She went, well, Franklin's found some more and they said we could have some more. So I said, oh, we get it the low, new lower price, you know, the same price before. And she went, yes, but only till the end of the month. <coughs> so that, look, there's no arrows. 235 pounds, that's only that price till the end of the month. I'm sorry, I wasn't telling, I promise you, I wasn't telling you a porky pie. I wasn't, at, wasn't adding any undue pressure or anything like that. I was told that was it, that was it, that was it. It's Franklin's that have come and said, we've got a few more if you want them, but you can only have the lower price, split pay as well, until the end. It's just, well, I hadn't taken the sample home, isn't it? I was going to take the sample home. Yes. Um, it's only that price until the end of the month. And on the 1st of August, it goes back to £299. Right, I'm, well, that's what I've been told, and I'm saying it here and now, quarter past eight on the... 21st of July, that's what I've been told. Hayley Marshall say Wheeler. Right, now, now. So now, that's everything, I've done everything I have to do, right? This, they put this in as an early bird, but it's too good to as an early bird. But, look at this, Debbie Shaw's book. 14.99, half yard winter collection by Debbie Shaw. 14.99. Uh, that's a gorgeous book. It's got top 40, Debbie's top 40 half yard projects for a winter sewing 
with five, including five exclusive new projects. Right. Right, we're going lower. That's the price. It says on the back of the book, 14 99 We're going lower. No arrows. 11 99 Yes, it's a, a half a pound of lure pack butter. 11 99 11 pounds and 99 pence. Now, I'll have a look in a minute. I'll ask Susie what the five new projects are. But look, there's loads in here. Loads going in baskets. Make sure you check out. Remember, you get your badge, remember, one per person. If, now, if you got a badge yesterday, don't get another one today. No. Oh, who's that? Sandra in Glasgow, you take care of yourself, my love. Oh, I watched your new um, 24 hours in A&E last night. I could have helped you, Sandra, if I'd been there. Somebody fell down the stairs on that. Gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, we've made goody cones. I say we. Um, I was up till the all early hours this morning the making those. The royal we is that. The royal we, yeah. That's Susie, by the way. Come as a Christmas. Hey, Susie, say hello, Susie. Hello. <laughs> You see, really, if you had a star on your head or something, then you could have been the Christmas tree, couldn't you? Where's yeah, the Christmas tree? I did star? look for a Christmas, Christmas hat, fairy. but I don't possess one. Mm, I'll find some. I was going to make one, but I didn't have enough fabric. Didn't have enough time or fabric. Anyway, yeah, 11 yeah, uh, So now, Susie, you yes. made something out of here yesterday, didn't you? Uh, I made quite a few bits, actually. Didn't you? You, you do that and I'll pass them to you oh, then. Oh, OK. So I made the, um, this is the insulated bottle cover so you can you, you don't have to do it insulated but if you use insulate bright <laughs> yeah I made that as well um, if you make it um, and put insulate bright in it then it becomes a chillable one oh. so you can use that for your white wines or whatever else you chilled sherry what, whatever um, but if you don't use insulate bright then you can use it just as a bottle bag but makes a really great double gift really because you can give them a gift bag as well as yeah. something useful um, and then I made the little cone, favour cone thing, that you can hang on trees, you can hang it on doors. That's a bit big tree. Stuff it. Well, yeah, but if you hang, they're not heavy, well, depending on what well, you put in them. Well, it depends what you put inside them, yeah. isn't it? I mean, yeah. Once you've got you the chips in there. They're <laughs> chips. <laughs> chips. Christmas chips. What is he like? But you could hang them on the back of people's chairs for, you know, when you sit down for Christmas dinner with... Um, think activity packs in like a little. What was to get bored of the conversation? Stuff. You know, instead of a cracker, I hate crackers. Oh, do you hate crackers? I hate crackers. We're doing crackers on Sunday, everybody. Really? By the way. Yeah, I'm not a cracker <laughs> fan. Glad I'm not in. Um, I don't mind them if they don't go bang. Oh, they don't. They're Mandy Shaw ones. They're well, fabric that's ones. They're fine. gorgeous. Yeah, fabric yeah. ones are good. Um, and then I made the Christmas stockings. Now I did two versions. One I put little hangy things on. Um, and these are so cute. These you could definitely hang on your tree. Yes, definitely. And um, you could do, if you did 25 of them, they could be your advent calendar hanging on your tree. 24? No, 25. What about Christmas Day? You don't get one on Christmas Day. You look at every advent calendar and it goes to 24. No, mine doesn't. Oh, well, do you have a look at all the others you well, buy? Mine, mine definitely goes to 25. Because you get your proper stocking from Father Christmas on Christmas Day. <laughs> no. Definitely oh, Hannah's only buying them if you get a 25th one. Yeah, so mine, Hannah Hannah won't be buying them. mine have 25. Oh, right. um, and then I did one without ribbon because... <laughs> I Hannah makes hers through to the new year, she says. Yeah, well, I used to do one that went through to Oh, that. did you? Yeah, I used to. Um, mine used to have uh, a mixture of treats, forfeits and tasks. Yeah, like clean, clean the cook up before yes. Christmas, yeah. Yes. That sort of thing. Well, usually that was the Boxing Day one, clean the cooker oh, right, after okay. you've had Christmas. Um, but if you do it without ribbon, then you can use them as table favours. So you could put in um, whatever sweet is or whatever in here. What was the shape you said you loved? Sugared almonds? No, I said I don't like the sugared <laughs> almonds. What is the point in a sugared almond? I know. Well, I don't eat nuts. How to ruin a really good almond? Well, no, because I only like the sugar bits on the outside, so I'll suck the oh, sugar off and you can have the yeah, almond. Yeah, that's not <laughs> unhygienic at all, is it? <laughs> that's a delightful prospect. Yeah, good between friends. Absolutely. Um, so that's what I've made from the book, because I thought, well, as it's Christmas, I'll make some festive mates. But the whole book, um, it isn't, it's called Winter Collection, 
But a lot of the projects in here are all year round things. Right. Definitely. Um, some of them are quick make, some of them are not so quick. Um, so you've, you've got lots to dabble in. You can use up scraps of fabric. I mean, the stockings take hardly any fabric or time at all. Yeah. So they are really quick and easy make to do, as are the cones. In fact, the bottle bag was easy. What are the mushrooms then? The mushrooms. There's some mu I can see some mushrooms here on the front. You keep talking, you keep mushrooms. talking. Mushrooms? I don't look, know look, where you're looking. There? Christmas trees. Oh! So they are, um, they are the Christmas trees. Let me find it in the book for you. You do a circle of fabric, gather up the edges, bring it round a disc, and then you hang them in a, um, so they are in concentric sizes and stack them with beads in between and put a cinnamon cone, uh, cinnamon stick at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Hang them on your tree. And they look like trees, but what I love about them is that they wibble wobble as well. Yeah. So they're sort of movement. And you could do these in fabric that colour coordinate with either your tree decorations or the rest of your room. But they'd be really nice as well to hang from lights because the warmth from the light bulb would warm the cinnamon, so you'd get oh, a bit yes. of a cinnamon smell going as well. I Looks wonder which the, f which the new ones are. The there. new ones, I think, are Sandringham Tote on page 90. Right. Yeah, that's all year round, isn't it, that one? Yeah, it's beautiful tote. Yeah, oh yeah, it is lovely. And I, yeah, it's a really good size. It's And because it's square, you don't lose stuff in it. Yes. You can see what you're doing. And I also think the Hound's Tooth backpack on page 126 might be a new 126. one. 126. Oh, yes. That's a good one. And you've got the Hound's Tooth purse to coordinate as well, but that's got like this really clever slip. Oh, I think I've seen those. Oh, do you? I think I've seen those in oh, one of her bag that. books. Oh. Yes, yeah. Uh, th what about the cushion? I don't recognise the cushion. Oh, no, I don't recognise the cushion either. Anyway, it's the Half Yard Winter Collection, so Debbie's Top 40 Half Yard Projects for Winter Sewing. But again, it's not all Christmas, is it? That's no, not a Christmas one. This cushion, if you're into Halloween and you were really clever. Halloween? I know, well, we're doing okay, Christmas Okay, so what are you going to do with July. Halloween then? So with this cushion, because these look like eyes, you could do them so that they're white behind and then put a circle in various places so it would look like eyes looking at you or oh. you could do teeth oh my word down your that brain does not work in a funny way I does it how long have you worked for me with me <laughs> oh i've got a tip we've got a tip john the new projects are the ones on the cover <laughs> Uh, Do you think they are? Right, so none of the ones, the cushion's there, the cushion's there, the cushion's but there. the tontus, oh, I've seen the, the wreath. I've seen the gnomies before, definitely. Yeah. Now, to, see, look, there's 25 Oh, now, Debbie said on the Facebook Live, they were the ones on the front. All oh, right. Um, the 25 advent calendar, look, even oh, Debbie's right, done oh, it. Right. And there's two advent calendars in here. There's a rustic that has only 24, so that's John's one. Oh, right, okay. And I'm going for the shabby, Hannah and I are going for the shabby chic because we're what, going what up page to 25. What page is that on? Shabby chic is page, well, starts on page 50. Page 50, right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yeah, 25, but there's no number 12. What? No, I'm only joking. Oh, yes, you should put 25 on that one. Yeah, you see, I would. I always do 25. Well done if you got this. Loads you got in the basket. Thank make sure you. you check out, make sure you check out, make sure you check out. 11 99. Now, <laughs> remember, the price goes back up to 14 99 at midnight tonight. Remember, if you haven't bought anything yet from yes, because we only launched Christmas yesterday, didn't we? If you haven't bought anything for Christmas yes, since if you didn't buy anything yesterday, you'll get your badge today while stocks last. Right, now, you're wondering what fabric that was made out of. Well, it's a new Liberty Christmas fabric. We have got a mega bundle, right? The, oh, oh. Okay, there's only five left. There's only five of these left already and we haven't even shown it to you yet. <laughs> what, the mega bundle? The I mega bundle. I could have stayed in bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, so the mega bundle, we'll go through the fabrics. In the mega bundle, you get this one. Let me just go, to, there you go. You get that one. You get that one. You get, I'll go through all of these properly with you in a second. That one. That one. 
Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that one. Now, you see this one? This is only available in the mega bundle and the two half bundles. It's not available on its own, that one. Then you've got that one, which Hayley thought was, Hayley kept saying, when's Paisley? Since when is Paisley? Not Hayley, Hannah, when, since when is Paisley? Been, it's Christmas trees. Right, love the baubles. Love the stags. Love the holly. Lo oh, little houses, look. Little house on the prairie. Do, do, be, do. Oh, we could have used your bag for that. We could have done. Then, but in the Mega Man, you also get this. I love those colours. Love those colours. Pardon that again. We have all. We have everything else by the half metre apart from those geometric Christmas trees. Those little houses. Right, that one. I've not got that one by the half metre. Oh, look. I love this colour range. So basically, in the Mega Bundle, you get every single one of those fabrics. You get half a metre of each, but there's only five left. Blimey. Blimey. It's £157.29. You can get it on split pay, 52 43 What are you getting for free? One half metre for £7.49. You get it for free. There it is, all of those you're getting. 22 fabrics. Okay, now <coughs> of that five I've got left, four people have got it in their baskets. So if they all check out, there's one. If they check out at the moment, there's still five. So you can still come in. If you come in really quickly, get it, check out, or ring up, check out, then you're, you're safe and secure. But, but there's, oh, if those four people now decide to check out, there's one left. Beautiful. Now, I've got two colourway bundles, then I'll go over there to Susie and we'll go through all the fabrics together. The bl blue one first. So this is like 10 of the fabrics, right? The 10, not those, not those, just these. 10 fabrics, right? For £74.90. Okay, oh, they called it teal. Yes. Right, okay, so that one in this one, you get the paisley, as Hannah sees it. You get the lovely holly bear. Well, no, are they hollies? Yes. Or are they berries? It's festive berry. Festive berries, of course. Why didn't I know? That one is gorgeous, isn't it? That's holly. It is. And um, fur. Or evergreen. Evergreen, soft <laughs> as an easy chair. Uh, you've got the, the one, that like the silhouette there in the gold. You've got the baubles. There's something going on with the lights today, isn't there? Mm. Then you've got the, the, or the icons in those gorgeous colours. Right, this, you cannot get this one by the half metre. That's only available in the mega bundle or in this bundle. Then you've got the little houses. I said I'd call that one teal, personally. Well, stars. Charlie doesn't agree with me. And then, it, it'd be fine when his voice breaks. And then... Their little uh, stags and trees and everything. Seventy-four pounds and ninety pence. Ten fabrics. Ten fabrics in there. Beautiful, aren't they? So they're the teal. That's the teal bundle. Thank you. Then the other bundle. We called it red, have we? Red bundle. So I'll show you a black one. Little houses. They're the same fabrics you just saw. Now I'm going to be putting them together in there. So as I, sh as I finish these, put, the put that one with the teal version. If that's oh, right. Okay. Then there's the holly one and the evergreens. Then we've got this beautiful folksy one. I love this one. I'll get the right word, John. Love that one. We'll be wafting these in a minute and talking you through them all because they're all available by the half metre, apart from two. Then there's the baubles, Christmas baubles. Then we've got the paisley, Christmas tree. It looks like there's eyes. You know you talk about the Halloween yeah. eyes. It looks like there's eyes in those trees. Yeah. So it's like one of Mrs. Brown's boy's Christmas trees there. <laughs> then this one here is not, it's in the bundle, but it's not available by the half metre. I'll put that one there. Then we've got the Christmas stars lovely isn't it the bright red then we've got the winter berries then the next one's very scandy this one look scandy it's like hannah's private life scandalous <laughs> full of scandal with a k and then 
We've got the icons. That wasn't a saying joke. Oh, spelling. <laughs> I thought you said so. I don't get sewing jokes. I've not made a sewing joke. So that's that bundle, right? That's that bundle. Now, oh, and that's and those two go with yours. Right. So throw me this one in yeah. the blue because they're not available by the half meter. Thank you. So now we're going to go over to that table, Charlie, and we're going to start going through the fabrics one by one. Oh, and I'll give you updates on the bundle as I go. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yes, I, don't, Hannah's telling me off, it's ended too close, yeah. Right, okay, so where are we going right, to go then, Hannah, first? There yeah, is ball, yeah, ball. <laughs> well, I went for, I had to go for a blood test yesterday, and I went for an eye testy thing the other day, and both things I had to wear my mask. Yeah, you still have to in NHS. No, you didn't last week. Oh. Because the week before I went in and I was the only person with one on. They were oh. like, oh, John, you have to wear it anymore. Oh, you do round hours. No, you've got a text just say so. We have to yeah. now. Yeah. Holly leaves spruce and berries. That's those yeah. two. These are selling incredibly quickly. Right, where's my little thing? There you go. You've got your marker. Uh, the, these are the two colourways. We're doing this one first. These are very, very, very popular. I'll show you the green and red one first. So pretty. Oh, so well, there's only three metres of, of this one left. Oh, OK. Right, so it's called Ras... No, not called... Winterberry, Winterberry Holly. Holly. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. It it's is. very traditional, isn't it? It is very traditional, and it's multi-directional, which means that you get no waste, and it will just coordinate with everything. It's very... just fabulous, really. Quite a big print, there. Yeah, it's lovely. Because the berries are two-tone, they really pop. I yes. Really good. And I love the fact they're giving all the berries like a little highlight as well. It's not yes. just a red circle or a pink circle. Exactly. It? it looks 3D, doesn't okay. it? Okay. Yep. Far too many people got that in their baskets. Oh, okay. Right. Now, you see, I love this one. Yeah. Because they're not colours you'd expect, they're are not, they? They're not, but it's almost like a frosty yes, effect, yes, yes. isn't it? Or, you know, that when you first first dawn or late at night, those sort of hues Start that you get. Dark late at night. Imagine, you notice it was darker this morning when we came in. Yes, it was, yes. Yeah. Well, it was dark when I got up, to be fair. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but you don't, don't sleep, do you? No. Um, <laughs> anyway, I love the, co the colours in there are just beautiful, yeah, beautiful aren't beautiful, those tealy, that uh, soft green, sort of sagey yes, soft sage green. sagey green, yeah. Really pretty. And the frosty blues. So it's a nod to Northern Lights, really, isn't yes, it? You know, yeah. those, those pink and tealy hues that you yes. get in the Northern... Not that I've ever seen it live, but, yeah. That's what that this is what that colourway is representing. Oh, okay. The northern lights. Northern lights, they're beautiful, yeah. gorgeous. Tears Next hand. Which one are we going for? She's just decided. Oh, okay. Oh, some of them are selling really fast. We're just looking at the stock. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 yes, the folksy one, you mean? Yeah, yeah, folksy one. That's this one. Yeah. In the, again, in the multicoloured and the pink and blue. I love this one. Now, this is directional, because unless you have your stags and your partridge or whatever okay. it is, dove, hanging so upside partridge down. Partridge in a pear tree. Uh, there's only three and a half metres this one left. Yeah. But so much going on in this. This is... Um, Woodland, wind, uh, woodland Wonderland, which is a bit of a mouthful. But you've got stars, you've got snowflakes, you've got trees, you've got mistletoe, you've got the um, several types of tree. I love this one with the yes. little paisley design inside. You've got lots of different um, iconic elements. So if you are a fussy cutter for EPP or you want to cover a button for your Christmas projects, this is a fabulous one to do that with. The stag is just glorious. Yes. Love the stag. Really cool. Love the colourways in this. The Beautiful. Teal. And equally in the other colourway, yeah. more traditional red and green. It's just stunning. And what's even more exciting about this, have you noticed the leaves on Gold. This? We've got gold in here. Now it's Is that gonna rub off, Susie? No, because what Liberty have very cleverly done is because all their fabric is screen printed. They've screen printed the gold as well. So it doesn't matter how much heat you put on this, how many times it goes through the washing machine, that will shimmer from the day you pick it up to the day you put it away. It's really fabulous. Right, and if yours gold. doesn't, her email address is. <laughs> 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 We're only getting yeah. used to Christmas anyway, aren't you? Now I need to tell what? you the red 
and the red and green holly sold out it's only available in bundles now and the one the version of this in the pinks and there's only a, a meter left but there's lots of people got it in their basket you could use this at winter huh? could you use it what you can use it any time because you've got all these flowers you've got flowers we've got snowflakes oh, it doesn't matter they're they're retro flowers next <laughs> Oh, hang on. Oh, the Liberty Christmas fabrics are so gorgeous. Chosen mine on pre-order so I can relax and enjoy the show from Kate. Oh, Kate, how Good gorgeous. Good plan. Well organised. Where are we going next, Hannah? Yeah, the enchanted ones. That's Now Ooh, I've got these in yeah. four colours. That one you mean, Han? Yeah. Yeah. So this one comes in the red, the gold, the blue and the silver. They're cool, aren't they? You've got, again, this is a, a multi-directional fabric. You've got lots and lots of different icons in here to do with the festive season. You've got tiny little stags, you've got mistletoe, you've got the evergreen bough, you've got berries in here, bows, ribbon bows, stars, yeah. all sorts. There's so much going on. This is a really good mixer and blender for your fabric. I think it would look nice with, if you're doing it for fashion, go nice with black velvet. That. Absolutely, yes. But I think just on its own, this would make fantastic napkins. You know, if you've got you've got four colourways to choose from. Yeah. So you can colour match it to your scheme, yeah. whatever your scheme's going to be. But absolutely glorious. Beautiful, really isn't it? Seven pound forty nine. It's hundred percent cotton. It is. It's forty four it, inches wide. It's machine washable. And it's yeah. quilting weight. It's still Lazenby cotton. Yep. Yeah. So the gold one does shimmer. Yeah, and whatever happens silver. if I wash this one then? This is absolutely fine. So I've the um, they did a Wiltshire Shadow Gold yes, last yeah, year, yeah, yeah. and I have washed Sold and out. washed and worn that, and it's fine, absolutely fine. So right, if you want, so then I'll go for sil oh blue, blue next, blue next. I love this yeah. teal blue. Blue's this about to sell really out as well. It's really clean and fresh. Yeah. Frosty. This is my morning, yeah, you know, frosty morning breakfast. No, that's not shimmery. No, it doesn't shimmer. It's flat, matte colour, but beautiful. What glorious. colour would you call that? Well, I would call this a, a teal, but oh, a okay. pale teal, like yeah. almost like a duck egg. Yes, isn't it? yeah, duck egg. Yeah, it's almost there. But obviously, because it doesn't shimmer, you see the, the detail a bit more on this. What's the matter, Charlie? Oh yeah, beautiful. Really cool. And again, for fussy cutting, you can. Fussy cut to your heart's content. But also, you could use it, and like you say, you could use it in any direction. Yes. So it, it, and it's going to be on those fabrics. People aren't going to know what it is until you actually. Because it's only Home when we on. go. Oh, there's a yeah. stag. There's a Christmas tree. Absolutely. It's just kind of mo got lovely movement yeah. to it, hasn't it? So this also would be really good for lining for things like the stockings because you'll get detail when you flip it. Oh through. yes, of course. Yeah. Really cool. Tableware would be beautiful, wouldn't it? Tableware would be lovely. Gift bags would be super because you could use them throughout. The winter season yeah oh yes it yes it's not christmas is exactly it? it doesn't shout christmas no. so these are really good project um fabrics for winter gifts yeah hot water bottle cover would look really very good nice i was that. looking for mine the other day to put cold water in it what? couldn't find it anywhere don't know what i've done with it no. my, my hot water bottle i've got about four hot water bottles yeah oh. i've got two in the camping kit Two in your what? In our camping kit. Well, you need them on your camping Well, I do, yeah. <laughs> and the dog, he does. Oh. Oh, silver. No, I'll put silver. Silver, right. So the silver does shimmer as well, so yeah. it's like the gold. So the metallic ones feel, you can feel the metallic in them. Yeah, but it's you? not that like old fashioned. No. Remember in the old days, you used to run oh. your fingernail across and it, all the And then you get bits yes, everywhere. Yes, no, it's not like that. When you cut this, you don't get that at all. It's cuts and works exactly the same doesn't hurt your needle it's absolutely perfect to work with really good lazenby cotton screen printed love it but the shimmer means that you don't get the detail you get in the plain no block print. no yeah. uh, now you need to know that every single fabric we've shown like this by the half meter has either sold out or got too many people in baskets so it's that popular it's that popular and it's not all in my basket, I promise. The red what? Oh, and the red and green bundle is down to four. What about the mega bundle? Oh, still on four. Uh, uh, so it's one checked out. So there's four, so four left of the mega bundle. Uh, f did you say four left of the red and green one? Eight of the pink and bluey one. Right, okay, carrying on now. 
This is your red and white. It really is lovely, isn't it? Enchanted Forest. I love this. Again, like we were saying with the Winterberry Holly, you've got the, the highlight. berry highlights. Makes it look so much different. But if you're into a Scandi theme, yeah. this would be perfect for that, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. There's only four and a half metres left, mind really you. Really good. Really good. 7.49 for half a metre. It's 100% cottage. Liberty! Liberty! See, you can make your Christmas hat out of this instead of just having a red one. You could have a... Fancy Christian, fancy are the badges still available? Yes, Judith, they are, while stocks last. Are you going to make me a hat? I was gonna, I'm trying to work out <laughs> how to make a hat. No, we won't do it now. <laughs> yes. Had I been sent enough, I was going to make one out of this, and then I couldn't find any... It would have to be Wiltshire Shadow band, because I hadn't got any fur. But I think this would be a good Fur? One. Faux fur, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, moving on. Okay, which one are we going for now? Paisley trees next. Paisley trees. Comes in the blue and the white, this one. Now, this one is directional, obviously. Yes. Unless you want your trees standing on their heads like that well known like store did a few years ago. Yes, they did, didn't they? Yeah, what was all that about? They all still sell them now. All your decorations fall off. It's mental. Well, no, they don't, because it hangs from the ceiling. The decorations just hang that way. <laughs> Winter pine, this is. Winter um, what? Winter pine. Okay. Can you, can you guess why? Because it's winter, it's a pine tree with flowers. Perfect, yeah. Christmas roses. So the re <laughs> well, they are, I think they are, aren't they? They are, yeah. So this actually originated from um, a Liberty woodblock print from the 50s. Right. So you've got this beautiful, iconic woodland fir tree here. Yeah. And then the tiny little flowers sort of sh um, over the top of it which I know the perspective looks a bit odd but it really works and all together it gives this like paisley effect yeah. very clever design very clever you see I don't think there's anything wrong with putting them upside down if you're not making a feature of it being a Christmas tree exactly I mean it I've looks used like a bouquet like my mum's wedding bouquet though yeah exactly yeah I mean I've used it in multi-direction so you don't have to stick to it being in one direction no. But, but also, if you're going in a quilt anywhere, Christmas quilt anywhere, you yeah, put it in it pin wheels, it's going to go all over the place yeah, anyway, isn't it? Yeah, it would. Yeah, but it, because of its detail um, and the repeat, you could use it. It would be really good for binding any of your Christmas oh, projects. Oh, yes, yeah. Or for borders. A border would be detail. nice, because then you'll get to it. Because if you do it on a binding, you're going to yeah. get... But a border would be really yeah. lovely in that. And then really cut cool. it so that they go yes. that way up the sides and then yeah. across. Oh, what's the matter, Han? Oh, yes, Hannah's a little bit concerned because everything's selling out before we get to it. Oh, okay. Have a look at the website. Have a look at the website. Just showing you, right? Look, sold out. Some of them we haven't shown yet. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Sold out, sold out. So please, please, please shop ahead because don't wait for me to show it because they, they could have sold out by the time we get to it. Thank you, So Hannah. this is in the teal colourway. You see, I wouldn't the call Northern that Northern Lights. Teal. Well, no, this, this isn't. This is almost like Pow a sky powder blue. Powder blue, yeah. that, yeah. But the, the actual trees themselves are a teal, and they've got teal oh, foliage yeah. in it yeah. as well. But, yeah, really cool. I think this in this colourway, it looks even more paisley yes, than yeah. it did in the red and green, because yeah. it was obviously a tree in, this, in the previous one. Yeah. But this would work all year round as a floral element yeah. in your work. I think. Be really nice for a dress. Would do, definitely. Or shirt for Charlie for Christmas. Yeah. He needs a Christmas shirt, he says. We'll see. Don't you be trying mine on when you're looking after my house. Uh, there's two mega bundles left, that's all now. Two mega bundles wow. left. Flying. Right, flying that. Next. Little baubles. Festive baubles. We love these. We love that the detail in these baubles is amazing. Obviously, it's directional because, as we've well, discussed... Well, unless you've got that tree that we were talking yeah. about. <laughs> um, but because the hanging mechanism on the tree... The ribbon. The loop... <laughs> oh, well, no, they're not ribbons, hooks, but the hooks, yeah. Some baubles have those hooks now, don't they? Um, so unless you don't notice that, they could be just circles, couldn't they? Yeah. Because I think that looks a bit like a retro orange peel. Oh, it is, that's what you should put on yeah. your tree, isn't it? Yeah. But, but my, you see, these ones here remind me of my nan. My nan had baubles that were like round, yes. like this. 
But then the, the it was insert, insert. Yeah, and they were made of glass. Oh yes. My nan had exactly yes. the same. Yeah. Yeah. But aren't they sharp when they shatter? Yes. Oh no, no. If you drop one, they go all over the place. Exactly. But for fussy cutting, EPP covering buttons. I mean, you could do some amazing buttons to go on your Christmas elements with these. What? What's your Christmas element then? My Christmas elements. Well, any you know, any of your dresses, or if you want to put on the side of these cones, make oh, yes. a button to go on the side. Yeah. You could do that. You could put them on your um, Christmas stockings. Yeah. The, if you're going to make the gnomes, the gnomes need buttons on their clothing, so you can make them out of this. Otherwise, well, yeah, they get them on and off, yeah. Exactly. Mega Bundle has sold out. Mega Bundle has sold out. So I've got the two uh, 10 meter, bu uh, 10 fabric bundles. I'll show you those in a second. Okay, oh, I better get a move on. We've only got 15 minutes left. Oh, okay. Well, we haven't got many left, so that's fine. So this is in the um, Northern Lights colourway, we'll call it then. Yeah, the what? <laughs> the Northern Lights colourway. Yeah. So you've got the teals, the pinks, the blue tones. It's almost a denim blue, isn't it, appearing in this? Yes, one. definitely. Really lovely colours. But again, you could use this any of your festives. But Gorgeous. With the pinks, start doing your anniversary, wedding or Valentine's things in... Just saying. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the Easter fabric to arrive yeah. on my desk. I mean, you know. Right, I'm next. 34 degrees and I'm doing Christmas. What yeah. is going on in my world? I know. It's going cold again now. It was cold this morning. I had to put the heating on in the car. Stars. It was nippy this morning. Festive stars. 17 degrees and we're saying it's nippy. What Blue one's about to sell out. Now this has got the gold in it. So this mustard has got a bit of... Not hey, shimmer oh, though. It's, no, it's silver, silver shimmer. Silver shimmer. shimmer. I knew I'd seen it shimmer. It's gold in the red one. Yeah. So this is a silver shimmer. Really but only the, you see, only the silver one shimmer. The rest, yeah. are, the rest are the solid colours. Really pretty. Beautiful. But that is about to sell out that one, isn't it, Han? It does look like a night sky, doesn't it? from a distance, you know, on the camera there, when you see it overhead. I can imagine if the, if the night sky did look like that. Oh, it'd be amazing. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be amazing? Yeah. Beautiful. We also have that in red. We'd all have to turn our lights off, though, because oh, yes, exactly. light pollution kills it, doesn't it? Now, this is really smacks traditional Christmas, yes. doesn't it? Yes, and it's, when we say it's red, it's properly red, oh, isn't it? Oh, it's a real scarlet red, but fantastic to make gift bags out mm. of. Again, doesn't have to, it could be any winter gift you could wrap in this, couldn't you? They make really good tablecloths. A real so having a winter wedding. Yes. I don't know this would work well at a winter wedding, oh, wouldn't it? Oh, it would look amazing. Beautiful. Yeah, really amazing. Gorgeous, Beautiful. moving on. What are we moving on Message to? from Derek. Ho, 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 Liberty shirt for Christmas. Derek, which one have you bought? Yeah. There's no purple. For your Christmas pulling party. Well, actually, if you go for the midnight, uh, the Northern Lights colourway. Yes. Derek, oh, yeah, they've gone for that. And there is a purpley hue in there, but it isn't a strict purple. It's a maroony yeah. purple. What are we going for, Hannah? Yeah, this that one next. One. Now, this is a really fun one, quite modern, from the 90s. This sort of bit of retro in there almost. You've got everything all Thrown together. in together. Yeah, Christmas charm. So you've got your uh, stars, you've got presents, you've got the moon in here. You've got literally everything. It's like someone's got an assortment of Christmas and just thrown it. Well, it's called Christmas charms, isn't it? It is it, called one? Christmas charms. I mean, I think you've almost got a noughts and crosses. I've just seen it here, look. Isn't it that Rubik's like Cube? Oh, no, Rubik's No, it's a, a series of different things put together, but because of the placement, yeah. it looks a bit like you're playing noughts and crosses. Oh. But for borders and binding, this one is fabulous. Or Christmas shirts. Christmas shirt, yeah, Christmas shirt. Mind you, can you imagine ironing that? Do your eyes in, it's like doing ironing gingham. You've not been to my house yet then, have you? <laughs> well, I don't iron many shirts. Because I don't wear them. Oh, oh. <laughs> and 749, this is beautiful, isn't it? Mr D does his own ironing. Charlie's saying it's B-E-A beautiful. It is, really stunning, that one. Gorgeous. Then we've got it in the uh, black and red and gold. Oh, now, 
The gold shimmers. There's no shimmer on. There was the no moon. shimmer no in the shimmer. last one, but this one's got we shimmer on it. We have a shimmery it. moon in this one and shimmery stars. It's so pretty. Oh. But again, binding because of it, it's got that dark black tone behind it, which I know is a bit unusual for Christmas. But as a binding, when you go small scale, you get so much detail. Actually, do you know what? When you go small, when you go things. binding, you see it. You Even see more. the pattern better yeah. than you do when it's a whole. It's too busy to yes. look at. Not too busy. busy. No, but you but know, it's, it is it's busier, a very busy yeah. print. Gorgeous. But you can see lines of it. So if you want. Oh yes. If you want to cut it so that you're getting strips of the same, there are definite ribbons. Yeah. In there. But you can make your own ribbon from it as well, couldn't that you? That would be amazing. Beautiful. Or ties. Or what? Ties. Christmas tie. Of, oh, ties. I think meant yeah. to tie to wear. No, no I don't no. wear that either. No, I don't. Gave that up when I left school. Next. We've only got two left. Little houses. Christmas cottages. Christmas cottages. Really cute, this. Love the snowflake. Yeah, the yes. snow um, element to this as well. And the fact that you've got a lot of space between... So 3PP, fussy cutting, you've got lots of icons that you can cut without wasting lots of fabric. Yeah. That always breaks my heart when I'm fussy That's cutting. Um, but it's uni multi-directional, which is even yeah, oh better. Yeah, so zero waste when you're cutting, but great for any festive project. Well, not just festive, winter project, isn't it? Yeah. Really cool. When Hannah, I think it's a church though, isn't it? No, it's a, they're little cottages. Oh no, hang on, they're different. They're yeah, different they're all different ones. Yeah. Because Hannah says when she moves to the country, she has an island and an arga. An island? In the kitchen. Oh, a kitchen island. I was thinking, what? How can you move to the In the pond. And what? Heating? Underfloor heating? Underfloor heating. And oh, um, no, you green see, oak. Is it, they call it green oak. They make the extensions with green oak. They there, aren't yeah. they? It is so cute, isn't it? Beautiful. Really That's lovely. the bluey really one. Lovely. Now the black and red one. Again, oh, this is really good as well pretty for borders not so go. great for binding because that you don't get a lot of detail i mean no. you get some but no not as much as you do with the christmas charm no but this is a really lovely compliment yes thing. gorgeous and, and also i think it's more that's a traditional christmas isn't it the black red oh, and, definitely and green. i mean this is like you've got you're coming back in after a, your festive party or midnight mass or whatever it is you're going to when it's really dark yes it, and then you've got the snow coming down oh it's really cool trouble is she Dream in our on. village we have no street lights so we don't have light pollution no, at all we haven't either but once it's if you start snowing you know you're going to be stuck there for days yeah. that's the problem yeah is that a problem i don't come to work no if i've got if yeah no i'm quite quite happy not to tackle it well that must be the last one then Hannah, last that's one. all we have left which is absolutely gorgeous. I love this one. Frosty berry. Frosty berries. So cute. Or just frost. Frost berries. Now, what kind of berries do you think they are then? Well, they could be. Could be any. Yeah, I mean, they're a, a stylized holly berry, aren't they? Well, yeah, they're not holly leaves, though, are they? No, they're not. They're just festive foliage. There's that other tree. There's like. Um, there's the well it's not the rowan tree is it it is like a, that's exactly it's what like i was thinking a rowan, of. but yeah. it isn't a rowan because that will have dropped by then because they're deciduous so oh oh yeah. you're making it real now <laughs> sorry <laughs> um beautiful sorry. though is christmas not real <laughs> no but deciduous <laughs> you're going to tell me that uh, don't uh children on holiday seven pound 49 for half a meter but again this for binding yeah glorious because however small scale you go you've got so much detail exactly so exactly. if you're doing if you need clothes for dolls teddies any of your little festive mice or the naughty and good elf these would do small scale clothing oh, yeah. as well beautiful and then we've also got that in the bluey frosty which i think is absolutely stunning and would be a glorious dress shirt Dress, comma, shirt. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say dress shirt. <laughs> dress okay. shirt, yeah. Um, any time of year because of the colourway. It doesn't smack Christmas, does it? It's just so lovely. And I love the fact that it's almost, from a distance, you get almost a polka dot effect. Yeah. 
because the, the subtleness of the foliage design you lose, don't you? Exactly you right. I'm just going to bring this in because the Should bundle. Hannah, can you just check I've got the right, that's the right one of those. You do get the gold one in there, don't you? Yes. Yeah, that's right. I've got it right. Yes. So this is now, so we've done everything about the half meter. You've seen how much is selling out very quickly. This and your mega bundle sold out. <coughs> Excuse me, the mega bundle sold out. So we have this one now, which they've called the teal bundle. There are five left of those once you've all checked out. Five of those left for £74.90. Message from Heather. Morning, John and Susie. They look like yew tree berries. They Heather, do. that's exactly what I was thinking. Well done, Heather, yes. And they're not deciduous then? No, they're also poisonous. Okay. There's something else. Oh, <laughs> the fabric I, isn't. No, 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 no. <laughs> and when we were in Spain a couple of weeks ago, I stood by this bush, right? And it was amazing because the flowers on the whole bush were like pink. There was a pink cluster, a blue, uh, yellow cluster, an orange cluster. It was, wow. It was, it was gorgeous, right? So I put a picture going, I want these for my garden. Practically, you can buy them if they're poisonous to cats and dogs. Oh. Uh, and you'll all be pleased to know Luther came home after being Ray. away for a week. Where oh, he no. been? Oh, no. He's obviously he's so skinny. He was so skinny, he came on to get it. All his right arm and his right leg are all sore, and he ate three bowls of food. So he got trapped. He was somewhere. trapped somewhere and trying to get out. I think you know, and it was really weird or because he'd been he missing been for a week. Or had he been scuffed by a car? Well, that's. I thought he could have been knocked, and but then he would have come home earlier, wouldn't he? But anyway, no. I put on the village Facebook page, mm. you know, if anyone sees a, a Luther in your garden or anything, yeah. and he literally came home that that evening I so, bet someone opened the so shed. I think people yeah he was either on Facebook thinking I'll better go home or <laughs> people have gone and checked their sheds or yeah. something like that and he's kind of anyways yeah, yesterday he wouldn't leave my side oh, everywhere else, but he's purr, he's like lying on the bed purring and purring and oh, purring but he didn't go very so far glad yesterday. to go home yeah right and this one here is your red one see when you see um the black in amongst all those it makes it a whole yes. real Christmassy traditional by the fireside yes. Christmas, doesn't it? And uh, we will not be able to recreate these bundles because, as you know, most of them have sold out now. How many did you say, sorry, Hannah, were left? Oh, two. There's only two of those left. Two of those left. Right, very quickly, before we go, I've got to just recap the book. The Half Yard Winter Collection from Debbie Shaw. Four, five brand new projects. Uh, was 14 99 should be 14 99 will be 14 99 again at midnight tonight. 11.99 sorry there's no arrows 11.99 it's lovely lots of little projects there not just for christmas no. obviously because there are christmas projects in there but that any could be year. any year couldn't it yeah. like halloween like halloween yeah <laughs> <laughs> i wonder why she chose that color behind that, well that's why to me i just yeah. thought oh, eyes. anyway uh, um, it's a winter window well, they're like little cover. windows, aren't they? Oh, yeah. yeah. Cathedral windows, but not, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. But uh, then you've got gift bags any time of year. You don't have to make, you make those in Christmas fabric. You could do birthdays, Absolutely whatever. Absolutely, you could. Uh, little yeah. purse all year round. Yeah. Uh, hound tooth backpack can be, uh, it could be a stripy backpack if you want it to be. It could be a circular backpack if you want it to be. But the, all of these make really good gifts as Jewelry well, roll, exactly. But all year round, tablet case, rustic gift sack, notebook cover. You see what I mean? There's so much in there, isn't there? Sandringham tote, we like that. I really like that. 11 pounds and 99 pence. Right, Susie, when are you next? Uh, next Friday. <gasps> next, my one day off? Yeah, I know, it's rude. And what are so you doing, rude? rude? What are you doing? <laughs> um, two of my own new, brand new designs. A yes. quilt and a Liberty cushion cover. Oh, very. Like using which Liberty fabric? Um, oh, it's a bit of a collection of the flower shows. Oh, oh, flower oh, shows, sunrise, oh, nice. and then we've got an alternative um, colourway as well. Oh, brilliant! So yes, that's exciting. And I'm also doing a quilt. I'm doing three hours next Friday. But you've got a week off to do it. Yeah. I think. What day is it today? Thursday. 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 Yeah. So a week in a week's time, not yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, a week. Week's time. Yeah, twenty ninth. I'm in. Fabulous. Yep. And I love the your snowflake earrings oh, and your pendant. Thank you. Anyway, so thank you, Susie. Thank you very much. Uh, now, don't go anywhere, because Kerry's up next. Now, you might have seen her. She's been to, did two hours on um, Hobby Maker earlier. Uh, so we'll see you in full. We're going to be doing door wreath, Christmas tree, table mat. <laughs> Swimming. Collector <laughs> thing. Uh, lots of them are selling out already. So please, please, please go and have a look at the pattern. Go and have a look at them on the uh, website while we're on this break. Uh, have you shown any pictures? Did you show any what's it? Oh, okay, so if you do the bingo, you need to rewind if you miss the one from this hour. 
Uh, some hours will be more long because you've got to get nine, isn't it? No, no, you can't in girl in yet because we've not shown all nine yet. You won't be counted. You won't be counted. Right, thank you, Susie. Thank I'll you. see you in Take four. Take care. Great. What's that? Christmas bells in July? That can only mean one thing. Christmas comes to Sewing Street. Oh, Chloe, that wasn't in the script. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Facebook Live still not working. We're working on it. I promise, I promise, I promise. Remember, everybody who buys uh, during this Christmas week, while stock starts, will get a Christmas badge. One per person uh, for the run of the thing. So if you got one yesterday, you won't get another one today. And it's while stocks last. Remember, 
on the back of the piece of card that it comes on. Make sure you check that, don't just throw it away. Also remember Christmas bingo is happening today. Uh, the, on the Facebook page, there is a thing of nine pictures, right? Uh, what you need to do is we can't, we haven't got that to show you. You need to go to the Facebook page to get that, right? As the show goes on, Charlie will be showing you different um, pictures from the box. Get rid of that slide now, Charlie, thanks. Uh, uh, we'll get, uh, we'll show you different bits. He's shown, uh, we've shown two so far. We've shown two so far. When you've seen all nine, you have to email in to the studio uh, and write uh, bingo, and then you write net name and address and customer number, and then one of you will win 25 pounds credit onto your account next week. Right, gotta start talking, things are selling out already. Love this, we love this, we love this, we love this. This table, um, what do we call it? A table Hexagon. center, table center. Better than a table runner. Much better than table runner. <laughs> Could do three of those, be gorgeous, right? Now, we've got the bundle here to make that actual one. So you get your three fabrics, four fabrics. You get your spot in the red. Oh, hang on, what's the matter? Okay, right, no, it's fine. Uh, you get the red spot, the green spot, the red leaf and the green leaf. And you get the instructions. Now, do I need to put anything inside it, Kerry? You'll need batting for inside. Some wadding. You need some wadding then to go inside. Uh, Thermalan or just normal wadding? Just normal. Just normal wadding, because we're not, we're not saying it's to put your hot pans on, are we? There you go. £18.99. pence. You can make that. You do it the other way around if you wanted. You wanted the spots there. You could do the spots there and have your leaves there, I suppose. Beautiful. And then the back of it there, the other side. So if somebody spills something on it, turn it over. So that's the, that's the kit to make that £18.99. Now we have that pattern on its own, which is flying out. Yeah, all we can hear is your old oh, iron. Do you know, I just <laughs> thought I want to have a little play. At £6.99. <laughs> 699 Table on, a table, no, not the table. You don't get a table. <laughs> table centre hexagon, pattern on its own, £6.99. We have got a table for sale at 12 o'clock hour. Lovely. Then, these are also very, 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 very popular. They're Christmas hats. Oh, Susie could have worn one of these, couldn't she? <laughs> Look, they're lovely little, what do we call these? Hexagon bowls. Same fabric, same fabric as the table runner, a uh, table centre. So I've got the kit to make that. Again, 18 99. Now, out of the kit, can I make all three? Yes, you can. There's plenty of fabric in there and there'll even be a little bit left over so you could get okay, a couple the, uh, of the little ones. Oh, there you go. Uh, you only get the two fabrics in this one, remember, you only need the two different kinds of fabrics, the red and the green, you don't get the spot in this one, but you get lots of fabric, and you get the instructions. Do I need, what's inside that? I've used bosal foam in mine. Bosal foam or uh, something like that. Eighteen ninety nine for the fabric and the instructions. Gorgeous. And that will make at least three of them. You get, you make a medium, a, a large, medium, and small, and you may have enough left. Well, you have, will have enough left to make the small one again. Okay, pattern on its own. Here's the pattern on its own. I'm going through everything you got available for sale in the hour so that Kerry can get on with her demo. Nine pounds ninety-nine for that one. Gorgeous. Who's Hillary? Hillary is the lovely lady that oh, you. Oh, I know you Hillary. Know Hillary. That Hillary. That Hillary. You know oh. Hillary B. Because you didn't give the table centre a name, did you? I've run out of people I liked. Okay. <laughs> so she, I thought you might have had a friend called Hexagon. <laughs> anyway, hello, Hillary. Sorry, I forgot. I didn't even, didn't even put two and two together and got no, zilch. <laughs> Story of my life. Righty ho. Then we've got this gorgeous Christmas tree. Right, so the bundle for this is the cone and the instructions and... It might be at the bottom of the bag. 
The fabric. There's nothing else in nothing there. Nothing in there. No. Oh, no, well, I've got it here. Sorry, okay. I borrowed it. Right, okay. So then you get your gingham fabric, your green fabric, and your red fabric in there. You get a pokey tool. To, and that could be any colour. It could be any colour, and it could be either the one with the swirly thing in, or it could be a plain one. Is a, that right? A wooden one, that's a right. A wooden one, yeah. See? You can't, you, there's, you can't choose, Hannah. You'll get what you're given. She's welcome to come and pack with me. If she oh, if you go around and help pack, you can nick one. <laughs> she's too busy. She's, she's too busy. She, anyway, she's having a nightmare with the buses and the trains at the moment. Don't be getting her going oh. to your... Charlie took Charlie three and a half hours to get home yesterday and Hannah two and a half hours to get home the day she was in us. <gasps> I'm not even going to say it. I'm not saying that live on air. <laughs> I can't hear what this okay, is. Okay, she said she was so hot, she thought it was a bug running down her leg and it was her own sweat. <laughs> Fair, sorry if you're just having your 11 Oh, I need to, your breakfast, your breakfast, your breakfast. <laughs> Hannah, I, I can't know. unhear that now. No, the thought of it as well. You can just imagine <laughs> what she was like, can't you? Right, so that goes there. The poor person sitting on the bus next to her. <laughs> Right, okay, so that one goes there. <laughs> We've also got the door reef. Look. Oh, sorry, 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 cat. <laughs> no, I'm burgeoning. There you go, there you go. 24.99 for the kit of this. So what you get in here is... You get your, I always <laughs> call these Doris Don't Sitting things, but you shouldn't say that, should you? You get your polystyrene ring. If you can manage to sit on that. Do you not think that's <laughs> uh, <laughs> You get your instructions. <laughs> you do now this one, this one had a green pokey tool, but you'll get any colour. You want that one now instead. Right, then you get your three fabrics so it matches in perfectly with your Christmas tree. And you get your piece of ribbon to hang it with. £24.99 pence for that kit. Right, I'm only rushing because I've got so much to show you. Then if you want the ring on its own. Ring on its own. Do, 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 do. You have to be old to know what that means. Three ninety nine. John, what you had it for breakfast? Was Simon Templar, the Saint, starring Roger Moore. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's still the same one. He was, he was, he was. Uh, what, I don't know. And then we've also got the pokey tools. Now you get two pokey tools. You'll get one wooden one and one coloured one, but I can't guarantee which coloured one you'll get. Well, th th we showed you two greens this morning, so the prob probability is you might get a green one. Oh, but the picture's got a blue one on it. Look, there it is. So two ninety-nine. Bingo! Oh no! Don't send in bingo! Don't send in bingo! Now, during the hour, there will be a couple of pictures for bingo, so keep it. If you see it, don't say anything. Okay. All right. Right. Hello. Hello, John. <laughs> what are you going to show us today? <laughs> Shall we start with the hexagon table set? Please do. <laughs> I'm loving this iron, by the way. I'm too scared to put it down. Oh, no, no, no. Just... Well, the thing is, we all do what you just did. We all go, oh, always put an iron like that. And of course, you can sit it like that. <laughs> Fabulous. I love Brilliant. it. I started yeah. playing with it. I thought, oh, saw it on the show the other day. Yeah, we got it on the 12 o'clock hour today. Buy ahead. Fabulous. So let's have a little look at the hexagon table centre. Now these we've had previously in different fabrics, so we definitely needed them in the Christmassy fabrics. Because of the amount of demos I've got to show you today, I've already gone ahead and um, prepped some of these ones already. So inside your kit is four fat quarters. You go in to cut three of your three of each one, so three from each fat quarter, which means you'll have a little bit left over as well, so some for your stash. So three of your green, three of your red, and then the same for the backs as well. So what we'll do is we'll sew one of these together. Now I'm using um, the wadding in the back of here. I always get asked if you could use an interfacing, either a heavyweight interfacing. The answer is you could, but you just won't get that nice plush feeling that you achieve with your wadding inside there. We've so got 80-20 by, um, by the half metre. 
which is perfect for this. And it's because it's 108, 100 inches wide, you'll get loads of them out. Absolutely, yeah. That's, that's exactly the one that I'm using in here. So placing your wadding flat onto the table, first of all, you can use um, a 505 to spray to it to secure your fabric, but it is only a small piece. So you'll find your fabric just naturally attaches itself anyway. We're then going to put one of the green fabrics together. So in the pattern booklet, what I get you to do is to make your piles, piles of your four different piles of your fabric, and then marry those up however you want to. You could do green to green if you wanted to, but I've decided to mix them up a red and a green. So all of my green holly have the red polka dot on the back, and all of the red holly have the green on the back, and that's how you'll achieve that nice diamond shape in the center of the, um, in the table center. So placing those pattern facing, just using a chalk pen, it's a little bit easier on the darker fabrics to work with a chalk pen. We're just simply going to sew around the exterior of the hexagon, leaving your turning gap on any one of the sides, but just avoiding, um, you know, leaving your turning gap to the point because it's particularly difficult to get a nice finish on the point. And that's really what gives it that structure and shape, especially for the diamonds when we press those out. So, quarter inch seam allowance. Uh huh. What machine is that you're using? Oh, I love it. This is lovely. I've had a little ply. This is yeah, like Hillary's. Good, isn't it? This is like Hillary's that we were just talking oh, is about. It? Yeah, so I know the machine well. Beautiful machine. Nice and easy to work with. It's nice looking as well, isn't it? Yes. So many people have got it, and so many people have mentioned on the it Facebook fan page how brilliant it is. And look, it's £399, but look at this. <laughs> It will drop down, it will, there it is, £133 three times. So you'll be paid well and truly in time for Christmas if you buy treat yourself to one of these. It's got lots of lovely stitches on here. 250 stitches. Oh. And three alphabets. That's the thing that I know that Hilary uses the most from hers because she wanted to personalise. Yeah. She wanted to personalise things. But as you know, I always use a zigzag stitch. Yeah. But I had a little look at the stitches while I was sitting... Uh, having a cup of tea and there's some lovely ones on here so if you're using this particular machine you've even got one that looks like a little Christmas tree on oh, here wow. <laughs> it's also got a um, quarter inch if you want to set it to quarter inch either side so you can do it's got what's her hand it's got the extension tape it comes with so many, I'll tell you about it in 12 o'clock so to get those nice points onto the corner we're simply just going to trim and I always trim from both sides just so you get that nice shape to the diamond when uh -huh. we turn this out and you'll repeat this on each of the hexagons and then we'll turn this right side out so remember 18.99 for your kit to make exactly what Kerry's making now the pattern is available on its own as well but almost sold out three left three left So you can use a stiletto or a nice pointy tool, even your dotting tool if you've got one of those in your stash, but by cutting at the angle that I've just cut at there, you can see that these naturally, naturally push out. Yeah. Anyway, so just tucking this inside. So as you put T's onto your turning gap there and just give this a little press, you'll get a nice finish. Now. I won't hand stitch this today, but I would always recommend hand stitching this right. instead of relying on your top stitch because you do see those folded edges when we push it out yeah. um, to the point. And then the next thing that you're going to do is to top stitch. I can't, I can't help myself. No. Is it, I just cannot help no. myself. I know, it's, uh, all of us do exactly oh, the same thing. I love it. It's yellow as well. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> In my break, I'll order myself oh, one. Okay. <laughs> so the next thing to do, as I mentioned, using your machine, deciding on your favourite machine, you're then going to hand sew the um, turning gap there, just using a slip stitch, and then top stitch around. And it does really make the world of difference with this particular project. Some projects you can get away with not top stitching, but this one certainly needs a top stitch. So because we've got all of the pieces now sewn together going to show you thank you john 
how this works. So I've already popped two together. What we're going to do, make life easy for yourself, create yourself two piles of your different fabrics. And then first of all, all I've done here is placed one on top and then we're going to draw. So chalk pen is really helpful for this particular, proje uh, this particular project. So what I've done here is measured three quarters of an inch from the point and just marked it using the chalk pen a yellow dot. Same from the bottom and then married those up. Once we've done that, I've stacked those on top of each other and just sewn a line. Now your template, if I just show you your template, so your template in the pattern gives you a guideline of where to mark up as well because it's quite easy to not get the line straight and it not achieve that hexagon uh, design that it's intended to. So using your template is probably the best if you're making this for the first time, just to remind yourself where you're drawing that next line. So I'm going to draw the lines on all of the green ones. So three quarters of an inch from the top, just marking that up. I'm going to guesstimate mine here and then draw in the chalk line. The reason that I like the chalk pen for this particular project is that it's easy to see and of course it gets folded across anyway, you're not going to see that. So I'll do that on all of my green ones. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is to take one of the red ones, place that so the green side is facing up towards me, align that diamond on top, and we can see there that this is the section that we're going to sew. There we go. So I'll just clip this into place. Now for this, I'm going to increase the stitch length because I've got two layers of batting and four layers of fabric. If you've got a walking foot, you can swap over to a walking foot if you want to. But I tend to find it works through it nice and easy anyway. Yeah. Message on the bottom. Morning, I love watching you, John. You're so funny. <laughs> Thank you. I have a brother machine, very similar, and I love it. Brother machine, so easy to use, Julie Duckent. Oh, Julie of Kent, that is. You are very funny, John. What did you have for breakfast? You're very excitable I had breakfast, today. Sir. Oh, and I had a boiled egg and a <laughs> cucumber. Oh, I'm not, oh, not having that for breakfast. No. I did have to share it with Ivy the dog, who was having a fish <laughs> supper, which Zena had warmed up in the microwave. And the dog wouldn't eat it. She went, oh, she doesn't like fish. I like fish now. You're, ve you're, ve you're very good. I wouldn't eat, I couldn't, I don't think I could stomach that every morning. No. I'll have a, a gluten-free Kit Kat in the break. You'll have a... Gluten-free Kit Kat. Oh, you're very good. So turning this onto the back again, we're now still working with the green dot and placing one of the um, holly green hexagons on top, always making sure that the line is pointing to the centre. So that'll help you to remember where you're sewing this. And then we'll sew along there again. So starting and finishing with a reverse stitch. Are you doing just doing a straight stitch? Just a straight yeah, stitch. Yeah. I've increased the stitch length to the longest stitch length. And then I'm just reverse stitching at the start yeah. and finish. So you can see already, if I just take those apart, how easily and how fast this comes together. So we've got two more to pop on. I certainly find it easier always turning it over. Yeah and looking from the back. Just double checking, and if you're unsure, just take your template and just check that you've got this in the right way. Lots of pattern, lots of pictures in the booklet to show you as well. Oh, broken the clip. Oh, <laughs> you break it, you pay for it. <laughs> no. I think that's one Susie broke earlier, we'll blame her. <laughs> we'll blame Susie, she's not here. Yeah. I dropped the box of them outside just in the green room and I was looking on the floors on my hands and knees looking everywhere for the box. They scattered everywhere, picked up the ones. When I turned around, it was on the side. So I don't know whether somebody came in while I was on my hands and knees looking for it and picked, picked it up, up and put it on the, the side. Table. But I was really confused. Mm. I was like, I heard it bounce as well. Yeah. Anna just came in in the break, right? And we don't know what it was, but she made like the weirdest clunking noise <laughs> as she walked past. <laughs> We've all got the dropsies today. Yeah. I have anyway. I'm clumsy anyway. 
there we go. So the last one, so just double check that your colours are the right way around. Uh -huh. And the final one now, we'll pop this on here. Have I got my, I haven't got any marks on there, so I'll just pop this one back on. So again, just draw in that line so it meets in the centre. It's easier actually sometimes when it's actually on the project. Yeah. Let's sew that one together. So again, starting and finishing with a reverse stitch. Are you enjoying the sunshine, John? I love it. It was a bit too hot to sit out on the garden furniture, though, wasn't it? Oh, no, I was sitting out there making oh, yeah. baubles. I love the heat, yeah. Took my sewing machine with me. It's in my element, shut the door, hid oh. away from everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Made the most of it before half term. Oh. Right, well, the summer holidays. Oh, summer holidays, now, summer holidays it, yeah. yeah. So when you place this flat, naturally your last two will meet together anyway. So you can see here where my seam that I've not top stitched or sewn, that does get shown. So that's why it's so important to hand stitch those um, and to top stitch as well. So final one, I think my marks come off that one. So let's just draw it on. What's the matter, Charlie? You went, oh. <laughs> I was worried that your mark had come off. It's nice working with a chalk, but sometimes you oh, can't. It's nice working with Charlie, isn't oh, it? It's nice working with Charlie, too. <laughs> you haven't got anything to say, John. You haven't got, but, any, you haven't got anything about to say, Charlie. Though. <laughs> yes, it. Nothing to say. <laughs> He's living in my house, though. Him and his girlfriend are living in my house when I go... Not now, not now, when I go on holiday. Oh, are they? Yeah. How lovely. He's watering all your plants, looking after your cats. and hey? Watering the plants, yeah, looking, looking after... Oh, cats, lovely. Yeah. Lounging on the furniture in the garden. Oh, how lovely. What a nice little retreat for them. Yeah. So, the next thing to do is we're just going to give this a press. So, press across all of those. Now, we've had this on in different fabrics previously, and I've seen some lovely photos in the fans' groups where people have put little embellishments or little bows well, also, on the side. Well, also, once you've got the pattern in your kit, once you've made this one up, you can do, like, do Easter ones, summer ones, Christmas ones, whatever, birthday yeah. ones, whatever you want, really. I, think, I still think it looked nice with a great big church candle in the middle of yeah. it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I agree with you. It does look nice with the... I mean, just so does the ring doesn't it yeah, with a oh that, yeah I have my um, native lighting topsy-turvy light inside mine oh that's a good idea and it sits in there is this yeah it fits perfectly in, in the center there there we go so to finish this you can machine stitch this if you want to but you've already got oh I've remembered this time look yeah but you've already oh. it's novelty isn't it I love it <laughs> I feel like I have to listen to it to check it's actually come yes, up though yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get used to it. So you've already got your top stitching on here. So to finish this, and what I've done in the pattern is simply just put a little tack stitch onto the corner, tucking this underneath so it's just holding this flat. And that really is how nice and easy and simple this project is to make. You can, of course, put your embellishments and decorative stitches, um, but it's a nice, easy, fast project. Brilliant. So, if you want the kit, if you want the bundle to make this, you get here, you get the four fabrics. So, do you know it's a fat quarter of each? The say? fat quarters, Fat yeah. quarter of each. So, you get the two, the two leaves, the green leaves and the red leaves. Green leaves and red leaves and the green dots and the red dots. You get the instructions. You will need some wadding to go in between, but that bundle will make this. What's the matter, Oh, wait, 20 will come through now, yeah, later on. Right now, I'm presuming these have sold out then. We can get more, we will get more. It might not be today, but we'll definitely get more. Kerry says there's more of those to be got, so don't worry about that. Right, let's now move on to the little, um, oh, uh, Hillary's. The little Hillary's. Bundle, now the bundle, you can make three, a big one, a medium one, and a small one. And there's enough leftover fabric to make another small one. You get the instructions, you get the two fabrics. 
Yeah, there are instructions on the road. Go to the website to have a look. But there's the bundle, the Hillary Hexi Bowls. So you get now you obviously get more than a fat quarter of these. They're half meters. Half meters of each of the meters. fabric, plus your instructions. The what what? Lots in baskets. I've never noticed that before. Deal price. I've never noticed that before. Lots in baskets. Right, let's make those then. Okay. So you, originally when I made the trio of the hexagon bowls, I actually um, used batting in here and it does look really nice in batting. So if you've got that in your collection, you can use that. Um, once I'd made them in that, I decided to make them in the bosal foam and I actually prefer them with the bosal foam just because it gives the sides a lot more structure. Um, but again, it's personal preference. Can't help myself. It's all right, don't I? worry, it takes <laughs> Um, I'm very bad at changing habits, it takes yeah. me a long, long time to uh, change a habit. So the next thing that we're going to do, again you can spray your bosal or your batting with your 505 to secure your fabric into place and if you wanted to you could quilt this, so in some of the bowls um, we also sorry. have um, one-sided fusible bows as perfect. well, so you could iron that yeah. one, couldn't you? And yeah. to be honest, the fusible bosal is perfect for this because you, in the pattern I do say spray this, especially yeah. if you want to do any quilting on there. So yeah. in my samples I've done some cross hatch in there, I've seen them done with some free motion in there, it's a nice little project to play with. Um, so if you're going to do any of that, definitely use the double-sided bosal or, or again your 505. Yeah. Next thing that we're going to do is place one of the fabrics, it really doesn't matter, you haven't got to decide at the moment which side you want these to go. So we're going to place one of the fabrics with a pattern facing up towards us, second fabric on top pattern facing, and as we did with the hexagon table centre, mark up a turning gap. Now I would definitely make this a lot bigger, as, as long as you're an inch in from the corners, you'll still achieve that nice point on the hexagon bowl. Right. But you definitely need the bigger space for turning it through because of the thickness of the, um, of the bosal in there. So we're simply going to sew around the exterior, the same as we did with the table centre, starting and finishing with a reverse stitch. I've got my stitch length on a basting stitch, so that's perfect from the um, sewing this together at this stage uh -huh. as well. Leave your needle in at each corner and then just pivot, so we're sewing around all those raw edges. I like you've got the speed on here as yeah, well. Exactly. It's really not really good. It's got three different <coughs> speed settings then, doesn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. go so to turn this the right way around exactly the same just trimming those points and then reversing this and giving this a press uh -huh. again the same as we did with the hexagon table center it really will make the world a difference especially when you're working with bosal to, to add that top stitching yeah because it just presses out that oh, seam yeah, as well and, yeah. and keeps that nice and flat. Because otherwise, it just pushes out and changes the structure of the bowl. And uh, you know, I've, there's certain projects that I do, and I think, oh, I'll just, I won't top stitch, and then it just doesn't sit right no, with me. It no, doesn't exactly. sit right with me at all. So poking your fingers through to the furthest point. This is the largest of the bowls that I'm making at the moment. But each one's the same technique. Exactly the same technique. <coughs> okay, quarter of the stock of these have gone. The other quarter in basket. So if you'll check out, half the stock's gone. So again, just giving a press into there. Get the magic iron. I love it. Okay, so Hannah's wants suggestions of what you're going to put in each of the bowls. Oh, you've crossed it. You've cross hatched this yeah. too. Yeah. I actually didn't oh, make... Oh, actually, 
You cross hatched it before you put them together. I, I was just going to say, I didn't make these. We had uh, a work experience girl in last week. Oh. And, uh, she, so she's quilted it before she's put the back Before one she's on. put it together, yeah. yeah. So she made, made the samples oh, for us. Oh, but she forgot to do that one. Well, we decided to skip one. It was okay. nearly the end of the day. She's <laughs> yeah, very tired. Very tired. <laughs> She's used okay. to three So what goes in the small others. one, Charlie? What goes in the medium one? And what goes in the large one? Sugared almonds in that one, Hannah says. Her house is full of sugared almonds. What do you put in yours? Uh, quilting clips, sewing needles. Oh, I'm all <laughs> thinking food. I'm thinking <laughs> crusty bread. I'm thinking... Tea parties, crafted in tea parties. Crusty bread's a great idea, actually. Crusty bread actually. wouldn't be big. No. That'd be one. We'd have to have one of those each, though, wouldn't we? <laughs> Once you get that warm, crusty bread. To mm. be honest, I'd probably fill them with chocolate. Chocolate, and... yeah. Or boiled sweets. Yeah. Travel sweets. When Hannah's got a three and a half hour journey to get home from work. <laughs> it's a what? Yeah, it's only 20 minutes to get home. If you drove, it's 20 minutes. Why is it ta oh, well, uh, well, she has to go from here to Redditch, then she has to wait in Redditch and get a train from Redditch to her local uh, village. And then Charlie, he had to do three different. His was worse. He had to go from here to Redditch, Redditch to somewhere else, then somewhere else to somewhere Charlie else. Charlie driving? No. Ah. Uh, no. I was going to say, he's got, got a car. To, I was going to say that I've not got that to look forward to today, have I? No, 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 no. <laughs> he, will, he will be able to drive when he passes his test. I should hope so. <laughs> <laughs> My son's doing his lessons at the moment and he keeps, oh, running, me, <laughs> keeps running me to take him driving. I'm like, on the car park only. <laughs> <laughs> when there's nobody else oh. there, right, there's bollards on this one, we're not doing anything round. I'm a terrible driver myself, oh, let oh alone. No. When he asked me, Craig was like, are you sure you want your mum? Oh. They always say, don't they, don't teach your own family members to well, drive. Well, he's doing his lessons, but because there's so many people on the waiting list, he's done all his lessons, he's ready for his test, but can't get a, a test. No, no, Becky, Becky Floor, she's um, just passed her, um, what's the one we, pra no, not practical, theory. written on theory, yeah. Well, Alex literally said, I'm going to do my lessons, booked his theory, got a cancellation for the next day, never looked at a book, and we were like, Alex, you might have wanted to give yourself, oh, just stay up all night. Oh, uh, and, and he passed. Oh, brilliant. And then he's doing his lessons, but he can't get a test. And, and, and people are saying there's, there's somewhere you can go for cancellations, but the cancellations get filled the minute. Really quickly, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm quite glad. We just have to buy the car. It's not even a bit that the thought of him driving just scares me. Oh. <laughs> Although I do look forward to the day when he can pick me up. Exactly. <laughs> that you could be your taxi then after all these years. I know. So I'm just top stitching this one. We've got a little bit of time to play. So I am going to top stitch this okay. one. I'm using a zigzag because it presses across um, the seam on there. But again, this machine in particular has got some beautiful stitches. You could straight stitch this, but I've found by making these lots of times, the zigzag really makes the difference yeah. for myself. Uh, message on our bottom. Hi, John. My wife, Sylvia, is suffering from shingles. Oh, no. And is in a lot of pain. She'd love a get well soon message from you. Thank you from Alistair. Oh, Sylvia, just lay, lay, drink lots of water. Let him do everything. Whatever you want. If you want an ice cream, raspberry flavoured Solero, you get one. Make him run to the shops and get them. Uh, you're, you're not poorly, Hannah. You're at work. She'd still like one though, Charlie, that's your job. Oh, he can't drive. And Cat's eating a flake. Is it a flake? Twirl, swirl. So you doing a, are you doing a, a zigzag stitch around your yeah, top edge? So yeah, so I've done a, just done a zigzag stitch around the top edge. There we go. Okay. And then using the chalk pen again, and at this stage, you can play with the sides. So if you're making several of these, you can keep the sides. So again, dependent upon what you're going to pop into there, yeah. you might want the sides to be a little shallower. Okay. Mine, I've done mine quite deep, perfect yeah. for your sugared almonds and your, your treat bread. table, your bread, um, all those sorts of things. So I'm literally using the ruler. Yeah. I'm just using the marking on the ruler. In the pattern booklet, I recommend two inches. So using your ruler, I'm just going to align, just for ease for myself and easy to see on the camera there, the pink line along there, 
and we're drawing around each side. Lovely. So same measurement on each side just to create that centre hexagon there. And it really helps sewing this into position because it gives you the structure on the inside as well. Yeah. So keeping the machine or setting the machine up onto a basting stitch. So your longest stitch. I should know this, shouldn't I? Doop. I love it's it. Well, she's drunk, it's fine. So just dropping the needle where the two yellow markings or your pen mark, whatever you're using, meet. And we're just simply following the guidelines that we've just oh, drawn okay. on. Oh, okay, so you're just top stitching that just line you just drawn in. Just top stitching it through, yeah. I love coming here. Every time I come, you've got a new machine at the moment. Yeah. It's very exciting. Message on the bottom. Uh, good morning, love John shirt. Kerry looks gorgeous this morning. Cause she, cause you're saying she looks rough normally, yeah. I love how easy the hexagon table centre comes together. Love Chrissy and Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton! <laughs> Chrissy works with me. She sees oh, that's me. that Chrissy who's normally She sees on here. me every day, that's yeah. why. <laughs> it's like when I go into pack kits. Uh, you don't get dressed up for that, do you? Well, no, it's like me, you see, Hannah doesn't bother getting... When Hannah dresses up, she's completely and utterly gorgeous, right? I can't think what you've got on to... No, you're not dressed up today. No, you're, not, you're still in your pyjamas today. Uh, but when she goes out, or when she gets dressed up, she looks absolutely incredible. She drags herself in here, the hair like this. No, can't, she can't find her glasses at the moment. She was deciding the other day when she left out, should I do glasses or contact lenses? Contact lenses, glasses. So she went contact lenses, right? When I had a nice time, got back and thought, where are my glasses? So now she can't find her glasses. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I've been going swimming and I just haven't got the energy to dry my hair when I get back and my hair is naturally spirally curly. Oh, is it? Yeah, so it lit I go in and it's, I think, who's in today? No, nobody's in today. I'll leave and it. And it pokes out at the top. Oh, you have I've to leave slept. it for, for us to see one oh, day. It's really spirally curly, right? apart from when I don't do anything with it. So it's just just a big mane. When oh, we had wow. our work experience girl in and I, took, I said, my head's really sore with my bubbly, you know, I'm going to take it out. And she sort of gave me that. <laughs> you look very cute. I was like, that's not the word you were oh, looking for. <laughs> it's her work experience. She's not going to say anything else, is she? Right, she what are we doing fab. next then? So folding this in half now, we're just going to work on one of the points. Measurements are inside your booklet as well. So you're measuring an inch. So I'll show you on the first corner. But the more you make these, the easier it is to get that angle right anyway. Yeah. So an inch in from your point, and where you've just sewn that line, you're simply then just drawing a line down. Okay. Okay. Quilting clips really help with this particular project. Uh huh. So we're going to sew along the line that we've just sewn, reverse stitch in top and bottom to finish that off, and then that's what brings the side Fine. of the bowl. I didn't realise it was stitched all the way down. I thought we were just caught, but yeah. So I'll do that on each of the corners as well. Uh -huh. So I've drawn the first one, but the others, because I've made these a lot. Yeah. And it's important that you just reverse stitch. It, it's easier when you work on opposites as well. So if you do the two where it's folded naturally to begin with. Yeah. Actually talking about work experience, where's our work experience today? That wasn't a very long experience. I got, an email, I got an email saying, we've got a work experience, be nice to them. It wasn't just me that got that, everyone got that. <laughs> it's not even here. My friend had a work experience, girl. It's the funniest story, really. He said uh, he came in really excited, really looking forward to doing this. And they work with printers, big printers. Yeah. And uh, did his first day and he never came back on the second day. So I phoned the school and said, look, he's not coming today. We're a bit concerned. Anyway, they found the young guy to say, why have you not come in? He went, there's too many stairs. I'm not walking up that many stairs a day. No. Too many stairs. <laughs> and what's that? Well, did ours have an excuse then why he's not back? Was it <laughs> three days? What can you learn in three days? Oh, Caitlin was just fabulous. We had her for a week. She was amazing. She wants to come back over the summer. She, oh. was, a re she was absolutely brilliant. She was brilliant. And every day, John, you would have been so impressed. She'd made her clothes every day. Aww. And the first day she came in, she'd bought a dress from a charity shop with yeah. a nan. And nan makes lots of dresses. 
and um, it, they couldn't get it to fit right. So they made it into a two-piece, a little bolero jacket and a skirt, oh, and it was wow. just beautiful. And where'd she come from, the local school? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've known her for a long time. She oh, okay. used to come to my classes, so yeah, I've, yeah, known, yeah. I've known uh, the How family lovely. for a long time, but she was just wonderful. Aww. I did my work experience in the personnel department of um, Browns of Chester. Well, that's when I was going to be a personnel manager. I did mine as a trainee accountant, and that's where oh. I first started my career. Yeah. And you still no good at maths. Well, they used to send me... <laughs> I realised afterwards, they used to make me go and give everybody their post every day because I'd go in every morning going, morning, and they'd be like, oh, she's got too much energy, so they sent me on the post run every morning, and I was oh. like, oh, I love getting to go and chat and yeah. make everybody a cup of tea, and they were like, and years later, they went, do you know why we used to chuck you out of the office? Because you had too much energy every morning, oh. couldn't cope with you. <laughs> but I got a job, I started there straight after school, I loved it. Soon changed them. Yeah. There you go. Oh, well done. Thank you. Right, so that, if you want to make that, we've got the bundle here. Loads of people got it in their baskets. Make sure you check out. Remember, it's not yours till you check out. In the bundle, you get half a metre of the green, half a metre of the red. There's 18 of you got this in your baskets. Plus your instructions with all the templates, everything that you need there. 18 pounds and 99 pence. Gorgeous. Remember, the pattern is available on its own as well. It's on the website. Go and have a look for that. Tree, next. Tree. We can do tree and wreath together, I can't, because it's the same technique, yeah, yeah. isn't it, right? So I'll, I'll just tell you the tree, the tree, um, what you get in the tree is you get the, tr the cone. Quarter of the stock of these gone already. You see, now, some of them say deal price and some of them say our price. That's the difference. Anyway, look, you get the cone, you get the instructions, you've got the fabric, so you get the green fabric, the red fabric. Oh, now the gingham's slightly different on this one to mine. It's a bigger, it'll work better. Same bigger as the gingham ring. there. Plus, you get your pokey tool, just the one pokey tool. Just the one, just pokey, the one tool. pokey tool. For £19.99, and pence, and that will make you that lovely Christmas tree. You can't see it because of my shirt. Hang on. If I go put it over there, there you go, there you go. Hold that up nicely for you now. <laughs> Get your interns to do that. Right, so that's your Christmas tree, 1999. And the same and the same um, technique for the door wreath. Now I use mine. Mine is I've got an Easter one of these. It sits down like that, and I've got my native lighting turny lamp sitting in there and looks gorgeous, right? What you get in this one is you get a turny tool, colour, op not optional, random. Random colour, instructions, wreath, no not wreath, what's that, ring, and your three fabrics there because it matches perfectly, and you get a piece of ribbon to hang it up with as well. Uh, all of that for $24.99. If you want the polystyrene ring on its own, you can have the polystyrene ring on its own. It's about to, it's about to sell out. <laughs> about to sell out, $3.99. Do you know what? What was it? We were playing with little coits. <laughs> Do you not play coits? Coits. Coits. We don't. They were like coits. rubber versions of this, and you throw them like that. Frisbee. And try and get them it's a frisbee. We call it a frisbee. That no, a not thing? a frisbee. It's got a hole in the middle. Yeah, frisbees have a hole in the middle. Have they? Uh, no, no, but they're only about that big, like a donut, oh, and right heavy, now. very heavy. Oh, a bit no, like your never. cooking. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like heavy, and you just throw them like that. You could get, get something to fish with them if you want to. I don't advise that. Right then, <laughs> if you want the pokey tools, you get two in a packet. You get a wooden one, you'll definitely get that one. But you might get a blue one, a pink one, a yellow one, a green one. White one. White one. At 2 99 Well, Charlie, you just have to keep buying them till the green one arrives. <laughs> 2 99 Right, so these are both the same technique, aren't they? Same only got technique. A few minutes, so. uh, we, we literally will take a few minutes yeah. anyway. Um, so, I, uh, I've shown these a few times, I always use the pink in shears for mine, I feel that it gives it a lot more texture and stops the fraying of the fabric as well. So using your pink in shears, you're literally cutting your fabric down into strips. That's the first thing. Now Did you, you say what size strips? So the, the squares need to be approximately two inches. Okay. It doesn't really matter if they're a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. No. 
if when you're popping them in and you think, oh, it's sticking up a bit too much, you can give it give a Give it a haircut. Give it a little haircut. So approximately two inches. When I first started doing these, I used to make sure they were all, I used to sit with a cutting mat and follow it and a few hundred in, I thought, no, nah. not doing that anymore. I'm surprised you don't cut them in the box ready for us. I, well. <laughs> 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 Did you see I was going to come back with it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought there was a swear word about that to fall out. That was definitely not going to happen. I was going to say, we used to. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm sure we've done something. Where, we did. Oh, no, is it the eggs? I'm not, the was eggs it the and the egg? balls. Yeah, yeah. But we used, to, we used to cut these. We used to. But my poor hands. No. <laughs> they were full of blisters. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine if you're doing yours at home, just don't want reason anything. But if you think how many hundreds and thousands of these carry cells, do you know what I mean? How much cutting out there be? And each season it changes colour. Yes. So you do this one for winter, Christmas, then you've got an Easter one and a spring one and a summer one and an autumn one. For workshops we do, we're really good. Yeah. <laughs> but for kits. Um, also, some of, the, some of the ladies that have had the kits in the past, they'll just change their rotary blade to... Um, a wavy, oh, wavy rosy one. blade yeah, and yeah, they yeah, look yeah. really lovely so yeah. if you you know if you want to produce lots of these or you want a speedier way to cut them or you don't like working with pink and shears yeah. then then that's a nice alternative to work with so the technique for both the um fabric wreath and the crease we've got the dropsies as well yeah um, i think that's just cat for the wreath <laughs> and the tree is exactly the same now on the pattern booklet i do recommend using glue um, dotting this into a glue you can avoid that step if you want to if you haven't got any pva it doesn't come in the kit but over time you really want to you know you, you don't want these to start falling out and with heating and yeah, things yeah. over a long time they do so i've already started on here the easiest thing is to work from the center and just work on a quarter section at a time so placing any one of your fabric squares onto your hand taking your dotting tool now your dotting tool will have um, two different size ball balls on the end of there you want to use the one with the biggest so what's the other end for then it, it not for anything into this particular project these are used in card crafting quite a oh, lot okay. so the the biggest option that you've got there just so it's not sliding yeah. out if you're using the really skinny one it might just go in and out and not yeah, leave the fabric so placing this in at um, into the center pointing it from the corner folding this across and pushing this down now if you are using the pva it's at this point you dip it and only a tiny little bit of pva glue and then poke it i like it when in. you pretended there was a bowl of pva <laughs> there to dip it into like when i say oh these sweets and yes. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so you fold it, fold it, <laughs> dip it, push it. That's it. Fold it, fold it, dip it, Can push it. Can we do dipping again? <laughs> Shall we do it again? Yeah, do I it. like the dipping. Make sure it's in shot this time. <laughs> right, so fold. folding this across. Yeah. So fold, yeah, fold, fold, dip. Dip in your glue. You can't dip see in that. The glue. That's right. <laughs> oh, I moved it. There we go. There you dip go, there you go, there you go, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> we have PVA glue on the website, or if we haven't, we've got it on the, uh, we've got Crafters Companion one on the website as well. I get asked a lot if you can use a um, uh, hot gun, a glue, hot a glue, glue gun, hot, yeah. a glue gun, couldn't think of the name of it then. I personally wouldn't recommend using that one because it's a tiny little, yeah. it, it really is a tiny amount, it's far too much faffing, it sort of strings everywhere, but the heat will also melt yeah. the ring Also, well. don't use a solvent glue because as Hannah's just said, you may, the solvent glue will melt the polystyrene yeah. as well. So, so if, don't, buy, don't get the Gutemann one, you know the Gutemann one that you all buy all the time, don't use that one because that's a solvent glue. Yeah, on, only PVA glue yeah. in this one. And again, it's it's an optional step. I, okay. I would always use it in mine if I'm making these. And you're just going random? Just random. So to be honest, what I tend to do is alternate between the three. Yeah. And then push them in. You're naturally going to have them overlapping anyway. Um, the colours are going to touch anyway. And then the space difference in between. So if I just show you there, if I yeah. pick up one of the greens, maybe easier to see. Approximately a little, a little nail space or half a quarter inch sorry because as you start pushing these together you can see there where i've already started working yeah. on it they naturally push together but as well but you're saying work from the inside of the ring first inside to the out yeah. and you're working right to the seam on the inside and right to the seam on the outside right. so when this is against the wall you can't see your polystyrene dotting tools on their own have now sold out you, you get one in your pack, so don't worry. You have got a ribbon inside your kit as well. Yeah. Once you finish putting this together, just take the two ends or the two tails of your ribbon, 
overlap those you've got a little circle it actually doesn't matter where you put this but just overlap those ribbons and take two pins from your stash and slide these in nice long pins as well slide these in at on a an angle you do 45 them. degree angle there and the reason for that angle there is once you've got all your fabric in it's actually quite heavy so you don't want them to slide out over time especially if you're putting these on a front door you know you want that nice course, and secure yeah. And it's the same technique with a tree. Um, start from the bottom of your tree. When you get to the top point of your tree, it can be a little, um, it can move a little bit and you don't want to snap the top of the tree yeah. off. So in that case, just take it really gentle on the top, but make sure that's the last bit that you do. Yeah. And also these fabrics are all colour fast. I'm only saying because my first year when I worked, moved into the house I'm in now, I bought one from the local garden centre. I bought a red version of this for Christmas and put one on the front door, one on the back door. And you can see my back door from the front of the house a bit weird. Anyway, it rained and I came home from work <laughs> and it was like there'd been some sort of a horrendous, there was just red running all <laughs> down the front doors. Do you know, when that. England played a few years ago in the World Cup, I put ribbon on our front door and the same thing happened. And it just looks like, <laughs> like a blood I was so proud of my front door and then I got home and I thought, oh, because we got a white front door. Yeah, yeah my happened? front door was white then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> with all these red running down it. And next on our bottom, very quickly. Morning, Bird. John, could you show the tree, please? How tall is it from Tricia in Warwickshire? It's 27. 27 centimetres. 27 centimetres, there you go. It's that <laughs> tall. 27 centimetres. I'll move out the shot. Right, let's round up then. The tree kit, first of all, did it come in this bag? Comes in the bag. Yeah. Comes in the bag, right, that's yours. Right, I'm thinking so you it get, looks nice on the table, Sensor. Yeah, you get the cone, you get the instructions, you get the fabric. Yours be nicely folded. <laughs> and you get the, what, what do you call it? Dotting tool. Dotting tool. Yeah, I'll pop it back in there. Is that that one? Or oh, that person's going to get a pink one. Right, okay, all of that you get for 19.99. The door wreath comes in the box and you get the uh, polystyrene, you get the ribbon, you get the three fabrics. You get a dotting tool, this one's got a green one in it, uh, but you might get any old colour. And you get the instructions. That's 24.99. That's yours. Thank you. Then, are there any of these left? Oh, yes. There are only nine left once you've all checked out, 3 99 So if you've got a dotting tool from time before, or you bought the kit and you're going to make two in two different colours, maybe use some of the Liberty fabric from earlier. 3 99 Oh yeah, now we just mentioned, you know, the, the wavy blade, we've got that, that here, we've got a picture of it. If you, you see, it's a pack with three in it. What you get is you get one wavy, one zigzag, and one dotted, don't you? There you go, there you go. Charlie didn't even know these existed. Fit your 45 millimeter. Have you got a 45 mil rotary cutter? Not yet, no. No, 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 you need to cut him out first. Yeah, don't you be cutting out on my dining table. <laughs> right, then where am I going next then? Oh, the table centre. Table centre next. Right, so the bundle for this yours, is the pattern on its own is sold out. This one here, you get a fat quarter of your two, your green leaf, your red leaf, your green dot and your red dot, plus your instructions. You will need some wadding, 18.99, available on the website by the half metre. And then... Last but not least, you, you don't hang on a little bit. Yeah, uh, Hillary's. Your yeah, Hillary's now. You get enough in the bundle to make a big, a medium, and a small, plus another small. But you know what? If you wanted to make several little ones, yeah. there's nothing stopping you having lots of and little I, ones. And they'd be nice as little table favours on yeah, your exactly, Christmas table. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, 18 99 what you get there is you get the instructions and you get half a metre of each fabric there for 18 99 and again, you either need wadding, depends on what you, which way you round your two. You can either do bosal if you want them much firmer, but if you just want them a little bit padded, you can use your wadding that you bought for, for the yeah. um, table centre. Eighteen ninety-nine. Right, that's sold out as well. For it. Right. So, don't go anywhere. After break, it's just me, and I've got Christmas fabrics, and some of them are sewing-themed Christmas fabrics. How many thingies did you show? We showed two of the bingos in that hour. 
Yeah, don't do a row. It's not like normal bingo. Don't do a row. Don't. It has to be the whole card. So you've seen four of the nine so far. So don't be emailing in yet. I'll see you in four. Hello, I'm Jane Greenoff and I'm stood in the barn here at Pink's Barn in Gloucestershire, England, which is where I live with my husband and I stitch. I, st I think I stitch in my sleep. Um, I've certainly been stitching for over 30 years now and by stitching I'm talking about counted cross stitch or counted embroidery in general terms. I also collect old samplers and I've got one to show you here. Now, if this smashing, it was actually stitched in 1796 by a little girl of eight or nine. And it's absolutely charming. So I collect antiques. I love to draw and create antiques for the future and look forward to seeing you all on Sewing Street sometime in the future. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Christmas fabrics! Christmas fabrics now. Now remember, everybody you buys this week, uh, only one per person, will get a Christmas badge. I've not got one here to show you. I'll get, I'll get another one later from the office. So, um, 
Oh, Hannah's just got a piece of card. She's not got a badge on hers. Anyway, get a free pin badge during this week. It's whether you buy anything from any from me on the show or from the website. It doesn't have to be a Christmas thing. It can be anything at all, but it is only one person while stocks last. Also, today's competition. No, not today's. today's what do you call it? Bingo! Basically, if you go to your Facebook page, the Facebook page, not yours, it won't be on yours. Go to the Sang Street Facebook page, there's a picture of nine, like a bingo card. During the show, Charlie will show, he's already shown four, he will show, oh, I shouldn't tell you that. No, you don't know which ones, you don't know which ones, yeah. Anyway, Charlie's shown four already. There's nine, once all nine have been shown, then you have to email into the studio with the subject title of bingo and you need to write your name, your address and your customer service, customer, not customer service number, customer number. Um, and um, the winner will be chosen from those. A winner will be chosen from those. Now, I thought it was first come, first served. So I said on Facebook last night, you have to be really quick. But actually, you don't have to be first come, first served. It's one, comes out, one name comes out the hat of the people who've done it at the right. Because if you send it in now, it won't be, because Anna will know that the final one will be shown, like, for example, if the last one's at 12.06 or something like that, any emails before that will be disqualified because she knows you won't have seen all of them. Disqualified. Anyway, I've got gorgeous Christmas fabric now. <coughs> Which one? This one first. <coughs> all right, bundle, bundle, bundle. Now, look at these. These are stunning. So you get your, um, it's all sewing themed, look. I'm sorry, I just need to have a cough. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Sorry about that. Um, so, uh, uh, gingerbread men, sewing threads, buttons and everything, little felt. Then, look at this one. Christmas sewing machines. Look. Christmas sewing machines. Then you've got Christmas sewing machines on green. Then you've got that one on green. And then you've got the little felt. Oh, no, I've got things like this on my, on my Feng Shui tree. So all of those, one, two, three, four, five, two and a half metres of fabric. <coughs> They're Jean Ruth Happiness's homemade Christmas fabric bundle. £34.95. You get half a metre each. They are already cut. I will, in a minute, be able to show them to you by the half metre. <coughs> and that way, if you want more than half a metre of each of them, if you're going to make a dress or a blouse or something else, then you can do that. £34.95, though, for the bundle. Half a metre of each. 100% cotton, uh, machine washable, quilting weight fabric, 44 inches wide. Each of them. By the half metre. Shh! Honestly. Right. Sewing machines on green. Of the green one. Half the stock's gone. Now, look, you see, you could use it as it is, but you could also cut those out, couldn't you, and plique them. Happiness is handmade. No, because you're, what you're doing is you're embroidering Mary there, and then happiness is handmade up there. Well, if you embroidered that by hand, you could change that to... Well, no, Mary doesn't have a two R's. That be Mary. If you did an E to an I, so it'd be Miri. Yeah. Oh, make those two letters into it. Have a ginormous A in the middle of it. Mary! Or you could just not do that. I like the wallpaper in the background myself. Not, not this, I mean, that's nice, but behind here on the picture. At 6 pounds six pounds and 99 pence. If you've missed out on any of the bingo icons, you can just re reverse, not reverse, what's it called? Rewind. Rewind, you'll see which ones have gone so far. Right, that's the green Christmas one, a uh, Christmas sewing machine one. We've also got it on um, the Ecru. Oh, there's only a metre of this one left. There's only a metre of this one left. Is it brand new today? Brand new today. 
and there's only a metre left. I've got the most gorgeous fat quarters coming up in a minute as well. Oh, I've got, uh, the thing is, right, uh, you know normally when I'm showing a fabric and I'll go, you better tell which one's my favourite. I, I love all of these. Everything on this table for this hour, I love, right? 6 99 that one's back. Oh, that one's sold out. Okay, put there for the bundle. Would you like to do the gingerbread men next? Uh, again, on, um, now it's on a different colour. This is on an ivory or a green, this one. We'll do the green first. Oh, it's very busy. Oh, I love the thimble in the fir tree. You're watching Christmas 2022 with John Scott. Thank you for that. In July. What's it going to say on, over Christmas? Oh, now, Hannah, uh, Christmas Day, is you on rotor or is it Ben? Six ninety-nine. I got asked just there if I'll do Christmas Live, you see. Oh, Hannah's gone. Oh. It's, a bit, it's a bit different now. You've got a family, really, isn't it? Six ninety nine. Now, what these are, these like little Christmas tree decorations. They're not made out of felt, but they look like they're felt with little rickracks on. You've got your gingerbread men and your gingerbread ladies. I suppose you just have to say people now, don't you? Uh, then you've got your cotton reels. Uh, you've got your threads and your needles. Tape measure. That one. Hannah thinks the buttons are 3D. They're not. They're just coloured in to look. No, they look. They're brilliant. They look like that. But they're not. Don't be thinking when you get home. Oh, John's had buttons on it. Oh, yeah, Hannah, put, put your glasses on. They're actually tractors. <laughs> I'm joking, everyone at home. It's lovely, isn't it? 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. Now in the ivory. Now I'm just going to show you the difference in colour between... You see the background of that one and the background of this one? You can see that that's like a, a age, that one, whereas this is fresh ivory. This is nice, I like this one. Jean Ruth designed these for QT fabrics. Happiness is home... <laughs> Homemade gingerbread men on cream. Six ninety nine. Well, it's only making me giggle because I watched a programme last night I shouldn't have watched, really. Well, it was like, uh, I've been watching Love Island, obviously. I didn't watch last night, so I don't know. Don't, let me, don't tell me, because I haven't watched last night yet. But anyway... The one programme after it was a little bit naughty. Anyway, 6 99 I know, on a Wednesday evening. Well, oh no, it might not have been on last night. It might have been... Oh no, it must have been. It must have been the night before. It, was, it definitely wasn't a dream. Right, so now... This is lovely, this one. It's one colourway of this. The background is um, blotchy, meant to be. Ornaments, this one is. Yeah, so you get the bird, the tree, the horse. Or is it a donkey? Donkey, it'd be a donkey Christmas, wouldn't it? It looks like what? Yeah, like a Shetland pony. Oh, and the candy cane, let me start the candy cane. Do you not mean a, do you not mean a Shetland pony? What do you mean? The big Scandinavian Swedish horse. I'll Google that later. You'll text me. That's fine. That's fine. At six ninety nine. For half a metre, hundred percent cotton. Oh, 
Oh no, Hannah split her trousers in Birmingham yesterday and she was walking home, they ran raveling. Oh no, and then the bits were unraveling, knotted together, so she couldn't, she had to waddle like that, because they were, t anyway. <clears throat> 6 99 beautiful. So let me show you that bundle again. So you get the gingerbread on green, the gingerbread on cream, you get the sewing machines on green, you get the sewing machines on ecru, and you get the ornaments on green. This one is sold out. Was it that one, the cream one, sold out? You can get it in the bundle, but it's sold out uh, if by the half metre now. Gorgeous. Now, I haven't got any more bundles to show you. I've just got fabric by the half metre or fat quarters. Let's do fat quarters first then. So, would you want to know where you want to go? Red and cream. Now, I've got two red and creams. I haven't got a code. Has it got Father Christmas faces or has it got little Christmas trees? Perfect. Here we go. Oh, these are so lovely. So you've got your little chubby robins. Now, that feels like it's on calico. That feels like a calico background, that one. Then you've got your silhouette Christmas trees on red and green. Then you've got Merry Merry Christmas. Then you've got your little robins on red. What's the matter? And then you've got your Father Christmas faces. Isn't that lovely? Most popular on pre-order, this one. Works out to £2.59 a fat quarter, £12.99 for your five fat quarters there. Lovely, isn't it? Very, very popular, these. Beautiful. So you've got Father Christmas, Robins on red. I love those Robins on the red. The red's a really lovely, rich red. Then you got Merry Christmas that Charlie made a joke about earlier and I couldn't hear what you were saying. Oh, it's upside down. But you were giggling at the time, so I was like thinking. There we go. Don't want to offend Charlie's art. Oh, now, then you didn't say they were upside down. There we go. There we go. Charlie feels better now. Twelve ninety nine for five fat quarters. Hundred percent cotton. They're lovely, aren't they? Right, I'll just fold those up. I might come back to those. I'll just put them there. Then next. Yeah. These lovely because these got glitter on them. These like Lurex. So you've got your red tartan with golden stars. Is it upside down, Charlie? <coughs> then, now you'll have seen this one before, because Alice and Marion used this one last Christmas as one of her projects. That's got gl glitter. Now, that one's got um, sheeny, but glittery as well. Then you've got small plaid with gold stars. Then you've got that lovely red one, like the green one above. Hmm? And then you've got your plaid with snowflakes. Oh, nice. $12.99 for five fat quarters. <coughs> Excuse me, I do apologise. Got a tickly cough this morning. I love those. What would you make, Charlie? Uh, I think, right, I think that... Um, you know, the table runner and the boxes from Kerry, if you just bought the pattern earlier, they'd look lovely in those, wouldn't they? No, Charlie suggested a metre and a half of fabric plus these and make a lovely quilt. <coughs> what pattern is it, Charlie? 
I always bought five fat quarters. Didn't Twelve ninety-nine. <coughs> Charlie's going to make a quilt out of his five fat quarters and his meter and a half of fabric. Oh, he's going to. Oh, don't you be making a mess then at my house when you're making that. You're only there for two weeks, you know. <laughs> well, you've got all the cleaning to do as well. <laughs> right, beautiful. Green. Oh, what's that one for, Miss? Beautiful. You can bring him with you if you want. Oh, I loved it. Now I've got a shirt made out of this fabric. Our Claudio Lugley Christmas shirt from a couple of years ago. You don't like what? Oh, that one? Oh, that, Hannah was frightened by that one. 12.99. She's still got heat rashes on the brain. I think that's a lovely collection, that one. Twelve ninety-nine. Five fat quarters there. How big is a fat quarter? I'll show you how big a fat quarter is. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gorgeous, that's the green one there. Next. Right here, yeah. This one's got electric Christmas trees. Well, they're not electric, but I like to think of them as electric. Look. Can you get what I mean? Then we've got your mult. These are lovely. Look, multi Christmas trees with gold stars in between. Oh, there you got repeat of Merry Christmas. Now, what's the difference between this one and that one? Are they different sizes? Two the same, I think, there. Oh, let me just put Merry Christmas in between. Oh, dear, he's a nightmare. Are you like this all the run up to Christmas now? Oh, he's very fond of Christmas, is Charlie. That's what we've got you for. Twelve ninety nine. Or just twelve ninety nine. They're lovely, aren't they? I love the fact that they're kind of a, a calico colour behind. Message on the bottom. Hi, John and team. These fat quarters look so much better spread out than in the photos. From not wanting any, I've bought two packs. Well, good. I'm glad, Elaine. I'm glad my unfolding is to your delight. There we go. What's the picture of then? Is the picture of them just as a square? Oh, yes. Oh, I'm not surprised. Yes. That'll be Barry. 
Oh, is it? <laughs> There's the surprise. Last one now. Right, so there's your shooting stars. There's your holly. Yeah, do you like that one, Hannah? There's your holly leaves with gold. There's your stars. Oh, yeah, look, did you get two the same in this one as well? Two holly leaves. And then that one looks very much like a Janet Clare. Twelve ninety nine. There is a word for that, Hannah. <coughs> Twelve ninety nine. Now, like Elaine, if you've bought some of these fat quarters, you need the Debbie Shaw. Well, it's called Half Yard Winter Collection, so you need half yards of everything. But two fat quarters is half a yard, isn't it? Yeah. Remember, if you have bought today, you get your badge. As long as you didn't get one yesterday, while stocks last. Ooh, there you go. Now, I nearly said, it's Elaine Page's book. It's not Elaine Page. Very weird, isn't it? Hannah knew I was going to say that. Uh, 14 99 no. No, 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 no. Now at, so we have now at, deal and our price. I think I might have to start putting makeup again from tomorrow. <laughs> oh no, I'm not in tomorrow. What are we doing tomorrow? Go okay, down weight shows with a full make, full face of makeup. Eleven ninety nine. Eleven ninety nine. Remember, I bought a toaster last week. It's rubbish. Oh, I thought I'd try it out, right? But I put the, you know, you know, you normally put the toast on, right? Then you can make your coffee and everything like that. Get everything ready. Then the toast pops out. You butter it. You make, put the bread in the toaster. Made the coffee. Fed the cats. Did the laundry. Went down. Turned the bread round because it's not big enough to put a whole slice of bread in. Took forever. Anyway, this book has got five exclusive new projects and loads and loads of others. Look. So if you've got, if you have bought some of these fat quarters, make Christmas, because you could do the Christmassy ones, couldn't you? Let's have a look then. Goody cones, make those as the fat quarters, can't you? Uh, the Santa hat chair slips. Need a bit of faux fur for those though, don't you? The Tom, oh! Now I thought they were called Tom Twos. What's Tom T's? Are they skinny ones? Skinny tall ones? You leave a bowl of porridge out for the little fellas to persuade them to leave gifts under the tree for well-behaved children. Oh. Never heard of those. Paper bag fe... Oh, Tom 2 is Finnish. Tom T is Swedish. Who knew? Uh, let's see what else we can make out of these. Bottle coolers. Gift bags. Jewellery roll. You can make loads of rustic gift sack. Use, use so many of your fat quarters. Draft excluder. Christmas draft excluder. We all need one of those. Hot water bottle. You see, really, that should say hot water bottle cover. Because you're not making the hot water bottle. Because if you try and put water in that, it might leak. Beautiful. Anyway, 11.99. <coughs> it's only 11.99 till midnight, remember. After midnight, goes back up to 14.99. Oh, these fabrics are gorgeous. Have a look at all of them. Oh, now, have they been on before then? Oh my word, these are brand new, right? And Hannah said some of them are very, very limited. And I was like, oh, somebody at Bex Reads had them, isn't she? No, went on pre order, sorry, went on pre order this morning. Rainbow Reindeers first. 
there's only five. So if you think about how many bolts of these we buy, right, there's five meters left. Oh, hang on, I've got to look at the price. Um, no, that's a mistake. We sell crafty cotton, look. Look, we sell, right, okay, I'm just going to show you the salvage to start with, right? We sell this already, right? Crafty cotton by digitally printed, right? We sell this, right? The mo least, the cheapest, or the most affordable I've seen it is $4.99. But look at the, I've got to show you something else as well. Look at the width. What? What? And look at the print, it's stunning. Look at this. There's only five meters of this left though. So it's 3.99, it's 100% cotton, extra wide, and about to sell out. Oh, I've, I've got the same thing in stars. Not stars, snowflakes. So do that one, sorry. Right, this is the same, the same colorway. Yeah, sorry, Hannah was going long range here, but I just thought you might like this, because this, because it's the only other one I've got like this, you see. Oh, I tell a fib. I've got multicolored on grey and I mean uh, on beige in a minute. But how beautiful is that? Look at the price. Three ninety nine. You see, now that one is a deal price. Should say deal price, not our price. When I was little, our price was a record shop. Uh, rainbow snowflakes on red fabric. I love those. Imagine if it was there were lights and they moved. Well, they might do when Charlie's had a few drinks. Three ninety nine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So Charlie went out with his friends last night. They all got very drunk, right? And he said he was designated driver. Not passed his driving test. But it's all right if one of the other people in the car has, because he'd be on a lesson. So if your Swedish friend was the driver and he was very drunk, he was the driver, he was... Uh, oh, hat was the instructor, she doesn't drink, okay. When I was learning to drive, you couldn't have passengers in the car when you were learning. Oh, you can. Well, over a certain age, Charlie's only 14. Anyway, 3 99 make sure you buy that, it's gorgeous. It's about, about sell out, there's only two meters of that one left. Right, you wanted to go rainbow, uh, not rainbow, reindeers next, yeah? Reindeers on red. I haven't got multicolored snowflakes on white. This one. Oh, silver, yeah. Oh, oh, I love this. Look at that one. Rainbow snowflakes on silver. Who are you apologizing to? Oh, you don't have to worry about that, Hannah. Well, don't. Anyway, how much have I got left? Oh, eight metres I've got there. It's got a lot of this compared to all the others. Eight metres. But I'm thinking, Charlie, there's something wrong with the lights in it. They keep flashing on and off. It's only that one and that one. It's not, the, not the ones with um, greaseproof paper on. Anyway, I'd like to embroider bits onto there. Oh, five metres now. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, five metres left, right, but 35 people got it in their basket. So if you want it, you need to check out. Other snowflakes about to sell out, so no reindeers at all. Uh, pardon? Yeah, now I've got two blue ones. Is it this one or this one? 93. Right, okay. Apparently this one's called comp oh no, camo. This one's called camo snowflakes. So if you don't want to be seen in a snowstorm, make an outfit out of this. Beautiful look. So this is now limited as well, isn't it? Yeah. Three and a half meters left. At three ninety nine. Oh, did you see long, long, long Lost Family this week as well? Always makes me cry. 
this one's a bit different because what they'd done is uh, in the First World War, they, they would, in a vi village in, a um, uh, come on John, Belgium, they were digging to build houses or anything and they suddenly came across and they found nine soldiers' bodies, like obviously from 1917, right? All, but like, like they weren't fighting anything, they were just, anyway, they investigated it, they found the families of these seven soldiers and even found out that they weren't at war that day, or that the war was going on, but they weren't fighting that day, they were just making cups of tea in the trenches and everything. And anyway, they found the families of these um, soldiers and it was such a lovely, anyway. So I can do, I can do this camo in grey now, camo in grey. Is it called camo or complex, this one? I can't remember. This is camo snowflake on silver. You see, that's nice as well, isn't it? Charlie's going to make himself a little outfit out of this one. Matching shirt and shorts combo. A little what? Is that what they're called? A co-ord? Oh, I didn't know that. I'm not down with the kids anymore. 3 99 for half a metre, 100 percent cotton, quilting weight fabric. More people in baskets than we've got stock of. We had loads of this as well. The price is brilliant. Right, so now I've got red camo now. Now I, I suggest that red isn't really a very good colour for camouflage, is so. it? <laughs> Look. Three ninety nine. Ah, oh, look at that! Look, now Mandy Shaw's in on Sunday. Thinking red work. She doesn't wear much camo these days. More people got that in baskets, and we've got stock of. Let's go to other snowflakes now. I've got it in, only got it in two colours though. Blue is the most popular. So what's this one called? Winter. Aren't they lovely? They are a bit mandala-ish, aren't they? Imagine if the snowflakes were really like that. I know they're intricate and beautiful, but imagine if they were, looked like that. And they stayed their shapes and they didn't just go into a mush. Three ninety nine for half a meter. I don't know why you see it. <laughs> okay, these are winter snowflakes in navy, and Hannah's singing. As Hannah's singing, silver bells. Where's that come from then? No, that's a completely different. <laughs> She's now gone on to band aid. It's Christmas time. Anyway. No. Silver Bells, that's a completely different song. Oh, what's my favourite Christmas song? We'll have to think about that. Oh, I hate that one. Hannah likes Last Christmas, don't like that one. Winter Snowflake, the video that goes with it is rubbish, isn't it? Three ninety nine, hundred percent cotton, extra wide, beautiful quilting weight. Beautiful. Ah, oh. lovely. Moving on. Oh, I'm, now the thing is, these are selling too quickly. I just. Reindeers. It might not be hot enough in time. Try it, try it, try it, try it. Winter reindeer in navy. Oh, 
Uh, can, this is gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, winter reindeer in navy. That's a mixture of the... Look, because the snowflakes are in there from the other one, aren't they? Gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. Three ninety nine for half a meter. They're absolutely flying out these. I can recap the um, the fat quarters, I think, before I go into that, can't I? Uh, red or silver next. <laughs> Three ninety nine. Do you want us all to come round to try and find your glasses later? Three ninety nine. Oh look, you got <coughs> grown ups and babies on here. Oh. Gorgeous. Then last one, the grey, or silver, I think they'll call it, silver, yeah. There you go, silver bells, you can sing it now because there's no bells. Three ninety-nine. Keep singing, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous, right, are there any of those left? Any of those fabrics left? No, not really. A message to say, morning John, can you please set up the green sewing machine fabric? Of course I can. Here's the green sewing machine fabric. I'll hold it up first and then I'll put it flat on the table for you. It's multi-directional look because there's Mary upside down, there's Mary the right way up. Six ninety-nine for half a meter, 100% cotton. Jean Ruth, happiness to homemade vintage machines in green. At six ninety-nine. Beautiful fabric, isn't it? Gorgeous fabrics. Now, I've got fat quarters just to recap very quickly. Right, all oh right. Serious now, serious. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> These are both in the lead at the moment. I'll do the plaid one first, the tartan one first. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. These are very open weaved, these fabric. Open woven, these. Little craft projects be gorgeous. Uh, now, if you did, uh, the thing is, if you did these with to make Kerry's wreath, I'd be worried because the loose weave, they might fret. I know you're going to cut them with things, but this one, that one especially, oh, and that one, the three tartans, <coughs> will fray. So, depending on what look you want, I'd just be a bit careful. You could do it. You could do it, but as you can see, it fr they fray really uh, quite a, a lot, those three. But they'd be brilliant for Kerry's bowls, Kerry's table place setting. Did she do something else? No, just the four, wasn't it? Bowls, Christmas, mm -hmm. no, no, that's right, yeah. Beautiful, so that's that one. 12 99 for five fat quarters. Then this one, which is also in the lead. 
Yeah. Yeah, my pleasure, Susan. My pleasure, totally. She said she already ordered the fact she just wanted to make sure. Right, so you've got Robin, lovely chubby Robins. Then you've got your Christmas trees with the white dots behind it. Then you've got Merry Christmas! <clears throat> and then you've got the Robins on red. And then you've got the very, very, very happy Father Christmas. Looks like our postman, though. Message on my bottom. Multitasking and its best. I've got Bing Crosby and David Barry playing Pete on Earth in the background. So, why have you got two tunes going at the same time? Oh, yes. That's right, that's right. But they didn't meet each other, did they? No, they didn't meet each other. They digitally made that video with him standing behind the piano, nodding and waving and everything. Never, ever met each other during that song. Beautiful. Wish these fat quarters on the roll would make stunning stand-up Christmas shirts. Yes, sorry, Derek. We've got more... Oh, hang on. Have I got more Christmas fabric this week? I must have, mustn't I? This what? Yes, yeah. Well, tomorrow it's Jane Greenoff and it's uh, Kerry and Living in Loveliness and it's... No, I don't mean Karen Love Love, so I meant Native Lighting, sorry. And Victoria Pete tomorrow. No, 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 what's the fifth hour tomorrow? Oh, there's an hour of Christmas fabric tomorrow with Vix. And then on, so that's Friday. Then on Saturday, I'm sure I'll have Christmas fabric on the weekend. Oh, I'm so confused about the day. Saturday's the next day, is it? No, no, Saturday is um, Delphine. And then Sunday is Ma Mandy Shaw. I keep thinking, I'm so confused by my days this week. It's because the fashion show was on Monday and we normally do them on Saturday, so I'm completely thrown. Anyway, that's that one. There you could pet, pet, patch them. Pa, 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 patch them. Next. With. Okay. Electric Christmas tree. Christmas trees. There you go, twelve ninety nine. <coughs> <coughs> Who said that? Twelve ninety nine. Gorgeous. Then the other cream one, it's this one with stars. What day is it today? So there's nobody in today then. There you go. That's one with the holly. My favorite Christmas song. Ring out the solstice bells by Jethro Tull from the 1970s. Still not sure why, but I love it from Elaine. Ring out the solstice bells. I don't know that one. Play it on your phone, Charlie, for me. Thank you. Susan, you're doing Christmas fabrics on Friday. Susan, Susan, Vixes, I'm not in on Friday. Thank you. Not in on Friday. But thank you. Thank you anyway. Okay. Oh, don't know that song. Can't hear it, that's why. There we go, it's the green one. I don't know that one, Elaine. Never heard that one before. But thank you. Twelve ninety nine for those fat quarters. <laughs> What's the seventies? Right now, the fabrics are much quicker.
that we thought. So I'm going to show you something that should have been in the 12 o'clock hour. Now I need to make an, a bit of an announcement here. <clears throat> last week I did this iron and I did say it was the last in stock, right? Which it was. Haley told me it was. It was last in stock. So to clear the space, they knocked an extra £60 off the price, right? Then when I was going through my sheets last night, I saw that we had it in again. So I said, Haley, that's wrong. We've sold all those. She went, no, Franklin's have given us some more. So we're allowed to do them at the lower price till the end of this month. So up until the 31st of, of July, you'll still get this iron at this price, right? Now I love it, I love it, I love it. You see, the thing is, last week when I thought it had sold out, I nearly took the, I nearly, hello, I'm here. I nearly took the sample home. I nearly took the sample home with me last week because I thought we'd sold out. Right, now, we launched this at £219 and that already had £50 off, right? But look, the extra six pounds, you're getting £110 off this. Now, don't, at home, don't do what I'm about to do. Right, because you, you, we, because they, we've had to suddenly wheel it in, right? But this is the iron I'm on about here. I love it, right? It's a big chunky iron, but I'm going to tell you straight away. It comes on a, its own little trolley. Look, comes with this, right? Comes with this, which it lives on all the time. <clears throat> so even if you're going to have it near your own ironing board, you have this underneath your ironing board it's on wheels it will go anywhere but i also i'll tell you about uh, sanitizing steaming is one of the best ways to sanitize isn't it so if you need to steam curtains sanitize your mattress sanitize your gut uh, not your garden furniture your um furniture you can't wash the things uh, wash the covers brilliant because the steam on this is fantastic right i'm just going to move it over here right now so what you do it's my, and this is where I get very serious, right? You only fill it up when it's cold, properly, properly cold. Because this is like a pressure cooker in here. You fill this with water and, and, and in here, right? Now you can't just screw that on and off. It's one of those where you have to push it down and twist, push it down and twist. But if you run out of water while using it, do not think, oh, I could just put some more water in it. Always fill it up in the morning when it's cold, then switch the machine on. You do get a special bottle to fill it up with. This is the bottle it, it, it fills up with, right? Um, so you fill it up with that. So always check every morning before you start using it. It's full. Then you switch on. Now, you, you saw that Cat only wheeled it in a few minutes ago, right? So we switched it on then. It's ready to go already. I'll show you the control unit here. So you've got two switches on the front there. One is to switch the iron on. One is to switch the steam on. When it's ready to go, then the light goes off, right? If that red light flashes at all, it means it's running out of water. So you can use it as a dry iron. You can switch the steam off completely by doing that and you can carry on using it as a dry iron. That's not a problem. <clears throat> but you don't want to carry on using it with steam. Right? Now it sits on this lovely silicon bed here and the iron itself sits there. The iron weighs 1.5 kilos. The uh, handle here is cork so it doesn't get hot. That is your button to press for the steam. Right, you ready for this? Oh, hang on, is it ready? Here it comes. Now, that's it with only just switching on. As the pressure builds in here, you get higher and higher pressure. <clears throat> there is a little um, dial here where you can, do, you can make the pressure stronger or less if you want it to. Uh, it has an, a very old fashioned, what I like, the temperature gauge on the iron, like, like an old iron. Do you know what I mean? It just goes silks one, wools two, cottons three, and then extra hot on four, like that. Um, now, this here, you could, you, if you keep the whole of the iron underneath your ironing board sitting on there, then you can literally just lift this and this and have it on your ironing board. I know a lot of people go, well, I don't ever do heavy weights or anything like that. You can use this for silks. Well, as you can see by the dial, you can use it for silks, you can use it for cottons, you can use it for anything. I have a piece of wool here um, that Catherine Wright used to make a handbag with once. You can see how creased it is, look. You can see how creased that is. Just get the iron. Look how beautifully and easily that takes your crease out. If you don't want to actually put the iron on your fabric, you can always just hover like that and steam it, and that will also get rid of the creases. If you've got shirts that need, uh, you don't want to iron them, you just steam them, <clears throat> the creases will drop out of them quite easily like that. Also, if you use the cottons, 
You know the Rose and Hubble cottons that we use? Right? Now, this will make ironing shirts and sheets and things like that a joy. I'll need to borrow this one to get to iron, because I don't have... My sheets, I used to send them out, used to be one, one luxury, send my sheets out to have them washed and ironed, but now they've got so expensive, I have to do them at home and I don't iron them. So if I've got people coming to stay, I'm gonna have to iron them, but look how brilliantly that's gonna make your sheets and your, and your shirts look. It's 239 pounds, that's 110 pounds less than it should be. <clears throat> you got it on split payment, three split payments of 79.66. It comes direct from Franklin's in Colchester at 239 pounds, uh, 79.66 on uh, split pay. Oh no, it's brilliant. Uh, you say, like, like I say, if you've got, um, you know mattresses, you should buy a new mattress every eight years. Did you know that? Because after eight years, the mattress will weigh twice the weight that it weighed when you bought it, because it's full of your dead skin, and it's also full of little mite poo. But if you want to sanitize it, literally, you could just steam it like that, because they say, don't they, steam is one of the best sanitizers. Obviously, don't sleep on it straight away, because you do, are gonna need to let it dry and air out and things like that. Um, again, if you've not got um, cushion covers that come off your sofa and your cat sleep on the back of the sofa, on the arm of the sofa, I just want to freshen it up. Would help your allergies. I'm, now, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. Hannah was saying steaming things helps her, getting clean and everything in her house helps her. I'm not saying it's going to cure you. We're not doctors here, but it helps Hannah. It does help Hannah. Um, and I just think it's a brilliant, brilliant iron. The only thing is, do not use it. Do not try and fill it while it's hot. That's all I'm going to say. Right, I'm going to go for a break now. After the break, Kerry is back. We're doing baubles. We're doing bags. Baubles on their own. All sorts. And we're going to recap a couple of things from our first hour. Don't go anywhere. Oh, now. How many bingos have we shown? Another two we've shown this hour. So anyway, be soon, be soon. Uh, I'll see you in about four minutes from now. What's that? Christmas bells in July? That can only mean one thing. Christmas comes to Sewing Street. That wasn't in the script. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting and of course applique which is my favourite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from 10 pounds to 500 pounds. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com 
or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Just while Charlie didn't press the button then, wittering away she was down that end of the table, about baubles and everything. Now, we're going to start off with something not Christmassy, but something we need to explain to you. Last time you were on with me, we did this bag, right? The complete bag, sold out, sold out, sold out. Tried to get more, but they didn't arrive in time for the show. So Carrie organised it, they all arrived, everything like that, and then there's been an issue, or a, mis a, a breakdown of communications, let's put that. So we have got the kit to make this bag. And it's, so the reason I can show you this is because they're in this fabric. So you get the pattern, you get the fabric, you get the webbing, you get the zip, but your binding, which isn't in this one, is your white binding inside. Yes. The, the, what you need inside to bind it, is white binding inside. I can't show you that because there's no binding on this one. So, your finished bag will look exactly like this. And we made that, didn't we, last and what? time? We made the whole And we made that on. What date was it? 7th. 7th of? July. Oh, was that soon? Was it that recent? Yeah, yeah. 7th of July. Please go and have a look. So, we've got the bundle to make that bag. Now, what... Because you even get... You see inside here, this... Um, yours, will be yours will be bound inside. All of your... Um, edges will be bound inside yours because you get white bias binding in it but you also get this which has got a funny old name uh, polytherm fleece polytherm fleece you also get that in your kit don't that's you that's right yeah do i need anything else no so you get that you can make the whole of that oh i know what the thing was did you get the ma magnetic clasp or was that separate? no you get the magnetic oh, yeah, and you get the magnetic clasp so it comes well. with your two fat quarters yeah comes the with two your fabrics that's it your magnetic clasp the magnetic clasp the webbing the thermo, what's it, what's Bozal it inside? Polytherm. Yeah, and the bias binding, which will be white, so yours will be bounded, which will be nice because the zip's white, so it'll all be bound in white, you see. 
So that's for the whole bundle. Don't need anything else whatsoever. Watch the show on the 7th of July and you'll see Kerry actually making this one. She could have finished it all the time she's had off, couldn't she? <laughs> but anyway, so they are available. They are in the warehouse. It just hasn't made it up to us today. Not the warehouse's fault. I'm not letting the warehouse take the blame. It's not the warehouse's fault, right? Okay, so that's that. That's that, Twenty-one ninety-nine. Just had to tell you about that before we started. Oh, right, third of the stock's already gone. We haven't even done anything. All we've done, Shay, that's gorgeous. Very busy. Gorgeous. Right, now, let me put that there. You can put your lunch in there. I could put, I've nearly eaten it all. <laughs> um, bauble kit, right. Now, if you want to make one of these for Christmas. Now, the reason we have three different variations here is that you will get some... Um, Christmas inspired. Christmas inspired. It'll be made of these fabrics, basically, but we don't know which one. You know what I mean? It'll be, they'll be red, green, and white, or red, green, and cream, with red ribbon, but you'll get one of those, cut. you know what I mean? It'll be random fabrics. They'll all go together beautifully, but it could be one of any of those three, or a different one. Because in this one I've just opened here, <coughs> excuse me, all the fabric now, you have sat and cut all this, haven't Pretty you? Pretty put them all, yeah. yeah. So all of your squares... That's why I couldn't finish your binding. Are all, mm, <laughs> that's, that's why I couldn't finish your binding. <laughs> <laughs> There's all your squares that you need. So obviously this one has got that lovely holly print in it. It's got the white... Oh, now this would go beautifully with the um, table thing it we made earlier. It goes beautifully. Right, okay. So there's your squares. You get your grow grain ribbon. You get your polystyrene ball. You get your gazillion little pins. Uh, and you get your instructions for thirteen ninety nine, and that will create one of these. I know they're gorgeous, aren't they? We're going to show you how to do that in a minute. Okay, so that all goes there. Now, if you've already got the pattern, excuse me, if you've already got the pattern, I, oh, oh, excuse Bless me, you. never do that. It's bad for your pelvic girdle. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, if you've already got those, you might want these. <laughs> Three ninety-nine. I could do jungling, jungling, not jungling. <laughs> Three ninety-nine. Get two ball, two of those, two polystyrene balls for three ninety-nine. If you've already got the pattern, I've got the pattern available on its own as well. But if you've already got it, or you want to do your own colourway or whatever then you might need some of these. Same as we did the ring earlier. These are the ball, baubles. Baubles, right? They're gonna sell out, they're gonna sell out, right? Now, instructions on their own. Patchwork bauble. So now the thing is, we're obviously doing a Christmas one. You could do summer ones, you could do birthday ones, you could do any one, any, any, Easter, any kind of combination any that works. you like, right? At six ninety nine. Great scrap buster. Scrap busters. Yeah, you know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Beautiful. That's the pattern on its own to make a bauble. Now, would you like me to kind of want me to go through everything? Yeah. Right. The bundle. Oh yes, 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 yes. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. These here, behind here, little tote bags, you've seen them hanging up on the set and everything. We've got bundles here. So what you get, oh, there they are. Thank you, Charlie. What you get is you get the instructions from Kerry. Oh, there's loads of people watching me again now. You go away, go and do your work. <laughs> it's like being in the zoo here, isn't it, sometimes? <laughs> so they don't bring us any food. <laughs> So you there's the instructions. You said the same thing, then I said, do they feed us as well? <laughs> <laughs> there's a sign on the window saying, don't feed the guests. Right, in, the main, in this big bundle, you get both of these panels, right? So you get this one, which makes your stags. There you go. It's the something, something time of the year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Excuse me, no, it's back to front, thank you. <laughs> Then you get the lovely heart ones, which says, gifted with love. Then you get the bottom one, which says, happy Christmas. Okay, plus the fabric down the side, that's presumed there your handles, are they? There for your handles. So yeah. th in this bundle, you get that panel and this panel. So you can make six 
bags, right? So they're the reindeers. These are the tontus. Okay. And then gifted with love, happy Christmas, one most wonderful time of the year. There's your straps on the side there. So in that bundle, you get that, you get that, and you get that. Half the stock have gone. Half the stock has gone already. Now, you're also thinking, John, I don't need six, or don't like reindeers. Uh, which one should I go through first? The nomies are the most popular, so let's do those then. I don't know why we called them nomies. Yeah, that's Hannah's little word for <laughs> So let, let me go with one underneath, right? So in this bundle, don't last time we did that, I appeared, it could disappear, couldn't I? <laughs> anyway, uh, this one you get the panel with the nomies and the instructions, 19.99. So there's that one, that one, and that one. Have you got a picture of the nomies on their own, Charlie? Here they are. So you can make those with that on one side <coughs> and the other side. <laughs> okay, that's that one for Nomi's, 19.99. Pattern and pattern, right, what else do I need to make them with? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, no. Oh, Charlie's been so, what's the word, pedantic today? <laughs> what's he doing You need there? to tell me she needs thread, John. In that tone of voice as well. <laughs> So you have a few days off, they forget, don't they? Then there's the reindeer one, the stag one. You did what? He said that I'd be the fairy on the top of his tree, he said. <laughs> anyway, you can go He hangs around here sitting long enough, he can and can't, eh? Yeah, yeah, if I don't come back from holidays, <laughs> you're still there at Christmas. Do what you like. Several Christmas trees in the shed. 1999. They're the stags plus the instructions. And 1999. <clears throat> yeah, if they have citrus rights, if I get home, <laughs> I try to come back home now. Yeah, we live here now, though. They'll have redecorated. Yes. Had all the family move in. Right, so that's that, that's that, that's that. Do you want me to show anything else? Pattern on its own. Fred. No pattern. Ignore Hannah. <laughs> Let's make a bauble and then Hannah can have a think. Have a think. Right, make us a bauble. Let's please. have a bauble. Let's have a bauble. So I've gone ahead and folded all the little squares, but did you let's do it the just... same as she did earlier then? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So for the centre of the ball ball, what we're going to do, now in the kit there is the same amount of three of the fabric, so in this one it's the green, the uh, cream holly and the red holly, and always if it's for the centre it's usually either a red, um, a red star or the red dot like I'm using here. So the first thing to do to create the star is to take one of the, one of the squares, fold this in half and just finger press, and fold into quarters and finger press. On the top of your ball ball there are some little embossed lines. I find it much easier just taking one of the pins and just bringing this across and scoring across into you the centre. You get your pins in the kit. So just either use a mug or a little bowl like I'm doing just to stop this rolling what around. What do you use those bowls for? There's um, dips, oh, dip bowls. Okay. Just so I know when I come round. Just so you know. You know where to, where to wash them up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Place this on top and align the squad mean to you, aren't I? That's fine. Do the washing up. I'd love you to come and do my washing. Do come and do all my chores. I love washing up. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I've got a dishwasher. It's brand new. Never use it. Uh, uh, no. Oh, Charlie, the dishwasher's not for using. We've we've lived in our house now six years, and we never we never just had it put in. So in the end, we got rid of it. We were like, we've got children. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So That's you take the first chores. square. So line that cross up with the cross that you've just created on top of the ball ball. And the first thing to do is to just pop pins into the corners to secure that square. Now this square really only acts to prevent you from seeing any of the polystyrene when you're making that initial star in the centre. Yeah. 
Now, the rest of the squares, so other than two of the red squares, you'll have 10 of these in the kit, 10 red squares, sorry, in the kit. Everything else then needs folding. So if I just take that pin out in exactly the same way and then taking one of the pins, popping this through into the center there. So the best thing to do to get yourself set up is to fold, score and pop all of your pins in ready so you can work on your ball ball. Then you're going to take one of the pins, pop this into the center and just let that rest. When this folds back, it's important that it's in line with the raw edge of the fabric there. Should and it be at the same place as the raw edge? Pretty much, yeah, yeah. yeah but I, we're not going to be pedantic in here, are we, John, today? No, except Charlie, <laughs> little Charlie. Then. Charlie's going to come and sort us out in yeah. a minute. So top right, folding this down to create your first triangle, taking one of your pins, just tip a few out, make it easier. And then fold this across and bring this down. You two are funny today. Those panels are stunning. Love them. Love Chrissy. Thank you, Chrissy. <laughs> and we used to put longer pins in the kits, but we actually changed these this year for the kits that we did because a few people were letting us know that it's quite tricky to push them in. So we've swapped them over to smaller sequin pins to make it easier to glide into your the ball. Polystyrene was too intense yeah, inside to get the yeah. pin in. Okay. So we've swapped those. So if you've had these before, it's much easier with these pins. So working on the opposite side, drop that pin into the center and again fold the right, create your triangle, pop your pin through. You have got your score lines on your ball ball as well to make that easy, all for an easy life. Yeah. Oh. Saying easy. That's it, that's obviously a blunt one. Yeah. Should have thrown that one away. <laughs> Are there extra? There's plenty in here, yeah. There's 15 grams, so we, when people are making these again, I get lots of emails asking me how many pins you need. It's actually 250. I counted this when I very first started. Okay, oh, blimey. Um, but it works out to 15 grams. So if you're buying sequin pins, you're looking for 15 grams. There's a lot more than 250 in there yeah. as well. I haven't counted, and I'm not okay. going to. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got your two opposites. Drop your pin in, and then on your opposite side. So this is your first layer. As you sort of start to work around and build your confidence with these, if you've never made them before, you can start folding both sides together. They look lovely in all colours of fabric as well. Mm. So, you know, if you've got your own um, colour scheme, you can make them up. Liberty ones would be oh, nice. I think about that all the yeah. time, and I've never actually made one. So this section here, you want this to just pull tight. So it might have a little bit of a fold. That's absolutely fine. Pull that nice and tight and just drop that pin in. I've got a tiny little bump there, if you like, but we're going to cover this with our next layer. You've had a message on YouTube. Oh. Can't show it. it. Says, "Hi, Mum. From who? Chase and Honey. Oh. I thought you had three. Oh, Alex will be with his girlfriend. He's not interested in oh, watching okay. me. It's all loved up and so Chase and Honey. Hello." <laughs> <coughs> Alex is doing uh, decking in our garden, actually, so we'll be outside doing the decking, I'm sure. In this weather, have you seen it outside? It's I'm horrible, sorry. it's grey and cold. Oh, well, got a jumper. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> There's a parasol. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not sunny, not nice. If it rains, I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> He's training to be a carpenter, isn't he? So all the, all the, all the extra work. <laughs> Like practice on ours. Oh, okay, practice so that's that. a practice run, a non-paid <laughs> practice run. I might feed him. Yeah. If he's good. So from the centre, you've got the centre point of your um, triangles there. You can measure this. If you're measuring it, it's a quarter of an inch. I tend to just use my finger. And you're pushing the fabric in, in line with where the first triangle's folded. Again, bringing this across. And we're simply going to follow those four sides around as well. Okay. So I've picked up the green dot fabric next. And I always think from your fabric choice that you get in your kit, choose your favorite for the last fabric that you're going to work with. Because that's the one other than the star in the center that you notice the most. Right. Oh, and you have to do the top and the bottom in the yes, same order. Yeah. So I've already done the bottom side. Right. Um, so this is what we're working on now. We're now working with a green. So you just, once you've done the first layer, you're simply repeating that 
onto the second layer as well. Uh -huh. When's your next holiday then, John? September. And where are you off to? Catalonia. Oh, nice. Well, I've got, no, I've got to go to Belfast for a day first, because I'm doing Yvonne's um, Oh, lovely. Quilt fair. And then off on your holiday? Yeah. Did you think you'd need a holiday after it? Yeah. <laughs> after my one day in Belfast, yeah. <laughs> we used to live in Northern Ireland. Oh, did you? Yeah. No, uh, I thought I was going for a little jolly and she'd write, I booked your ticket, you're leaving at seven o'clock in the morning <laughs> to be at the quilt fair for 10 o'clock. <laughs> then I'm there all day, right? And then she went, oh, did I tell you? I've done a questions and answers thing in the evening. And then she <laughs> sent me on the plane the first thing the next morning. <laughs> and then I come in here for two days and then I have to go on my holidays after that. So goodness is what I'm going to pack. You'll have to pack before. I know. You'll have to pack before. You'll have to be super organised. I'll have to be really organised. Pack all your outfits for your travel. Pack your travel clothes. Yeah. <laughs> and then leave all the tidying up for your guests. Exactly. Well, they're going to do all the cleaning anyway. Oh, blimey, I'm a bit worried now because it's filthy. We all say that. But... There we go. So we've got the star in the centre. Yeah. That's created our first layer. What we're going to do now is work on opposite sides, exactly the same technique, quarter inch or finger. I tend to use my little finger as guidance. And as we're folding this now, you can see that that star is uh, starting to take shape. Wouldn't it be lovely to go on holiday and come back and somebody's done all your cleaning, all your Yeah, writing? no, I'll make sure it's nice before they move in. I've, I've, I've often let people stay there. When Vix and um, Lauren and... What was, that, what was that lovely girl called it then? Oh. Carrie Bradshaw. When they stayed, they got back and went, oh, we've broken all these cups, we've broken these <laughs> plates, we've broken these glasses, and oh, we've melted the sides of the bath, you know. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember when I first started dating Craig, we were round there having a pillow fight, as you do. Oh, as you do. And he'd made me um, a glass of wine and he said, don't, I'm, re I'm accident prone, I break everything, I'm well known for it. Don't break, the I drinking out this beautiful tall glass. And it was on the floor and as I rolled onto it, this glass just obviously well, smashed. Do, yeah. And he was like, oh, they're my mum and dad's anniversary gift. They've had those for about 25 years. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I went around so many shops. In the end, I bought them this set of glasses to replace one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swapped them all over thinking they might not notice. There's a slight change. Paid stupid amounts of money for this set of glasses. Yeah. And a few years later, uh, and it was about four or five years. I think we were married at the time, so it would have been after five years. And uh, Craig's mum got one of these glasses out for one of the Christmas meals. She said, oh, you know, I don't remember them looking like this. I said, my ch <laughs> they're only cheap things I bought in a charity shop. I've had them for years. Oh, no. I was like, that, that gave me the worst <laughs> nightmare. And then I used to work at the school just down the road from the house and they left me to water the plants and I killed a plant. Oh no. So I replaced this plant, dug it up, yeah. replaced this plant. And when they came off holiday, my father-in-law said, how have you managed to keep that plant going? That's, that was dead, weren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even notice. That was dead when we went on holiday. Oh. I was like, plant cost me 40 pounds to replace. I've just replaced your dead plants. <laughs> And then, you know, as you've been together for a long time, he said, we always knew you'd replaced it. He said, it made me laugh, though, because it was dead. I was digging it up when I got home, but oh. I got a nice new one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. There we go. So that's the second layer done there. We can see the star. So what I've done is I've put four on the first layer in line with this original star. And then I've followed this around and added the next layer, so an additional four layers there to create that star centerpiece. Okay. Now, on the next one, what did I do? I did red on the next one. So we're literally repeating that same step, but this time still working with those original guides that we created for ourselves. So if you look at it, it's the, it's the section or the triangle that's tucked underneath, if you this like. This is all explained, isn't it? In it's the all explained, chat. and we've made these lots of times. So nice and nice, easy project. So again, just folding that around, working on your four opposites, first of all, and then creating that second layer of four. Lovely. It's nice chatting, isn't it, when yeah. you've been making this? It's one of those nice projects.
Should have brought one for me to do. You can finish this one if no, you want. You've seen it. <laughs> Don't want to ruin your work. Craig still hasn't got 13. Remember when we first had these on and he was asking for 13? I think we've got about six half finished ones, but we haven't got 13 ready Aww. for the tree. It's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> Hannah says she'll finish them. I'll leave it behind for you, Hannah. You can take it on the bus, and while you're sitting waiting to get home, you can have it finished. Yeah, she wouldn't be allowed to set pins on her bus. <laughs> yeah, I never thought about that, really. Lady went up to the other going, oh, I love your earrings. And Hannah went, oh, thank you. She went, I pierced my own ears, you know. The lady <laughs> said to Hannah, and I was like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> it's a very eclectic mix of people on Hannah's bus. <laughs> There we go. My daughter's become obsessed with, with having piercings. She's had this bar, she's got little teeny tiny ears and the lady's like, oh, your ears are too small. And she's like, but my mum said, when, and I did, when she was about 10, she really was asked for this for about six years. I've been waiting since I was 10 to have this oh. done. So you can't even get a bar small enough. She's got little pixie ears. So she's got this big bar and these tiny little ears. Oh. But she loves it. Oh, she wow. absolutely loves it. That's all she wanted for her 16th yeah. birthday, lots of ears. I was like, and the lady said, but you have the smallest ears. We can't physically put as many earrings in as you want. Ooh, you have to They're really trendy, aren't they now? You know, I want all these little... I can't wear them because they're just... My ears just swell up as soon as I put earrings oh, in. Oh, do they? Yeah. Same with jewellery, really. So if I do the opposite side as well... It looks nice, that. Mm. It does look nice. I don't think I'd be brave enough to have that push through my ear, though. It'd then be the same as a normal piercing, wouldn't it? It's, a, it's quite a thick bar. Oh. Yeah. It was quite brutal to watch her have it done, actually. Yeah. She just lay there as if she was having a massage, like oh, nothing had happened, yeah. Well, that's good when she comes to have babies, then. She's got a high <laughs> yeah. pain threshold. Yeah. So, should we finish the next one for the second layer? Yeah, go layer? on, then. Yeah. We've got plenty of time. So each time folding this across and just keeping that star shape, always lining up those folded sides. Yeah. And with your fourth layer, so this is the third one that we're working on, with your fourth layer, you've had your measurements all the way through to make your stars stand proud, but the next layer, when we come on to do the next layer, it's really important that when you're folding this, your raw edges are meeting there at that seam line. Right. So when you come to fold your ribbon around, it's covering up any of the polystyrene, yeah, you don't want yeah. any of that showing. No. So the last one, the first one and the last one really are quite important, the positioning of those, but these you can stagger along. And I know lots of people, having done this as workshops and feedback, like to get it exactly right, so the measurements are in there if you're using a ruler to do this as well. So have you got another row of the white to do yes, yet then, on yeah, both sides? Yeah, so and, and it's exactly the same folding technique, um, bringing that down, making sure it's sitting in the line, uh -huh. but on both sides. And then what I might do is just quickly show you how you put the ribbon on yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, we've got plenty of time, don't we? We've got another demo for this hour. We've got oh, the tote yeah, the bag. bag. Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, we've got the tote bag. The tote bags <coughs> are really easy to make. They're not yeah. lined, they're just little gift bags, so there's no lining in here. Really fast and easy projects. Lovely. Um, we'll get on to those in a second. And I bought the ring back if we had some yeah, time perfect. to play. Did you bring this is nice, Emma. Did I bring what, sorry? Your pointy tool. I've got the pointy yeah. tool. She's got like a pink one. <laughs> is he still looking for green? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to bring you a green one next yeah, time. Won't we use come. it. You well, might well, want to bring one. Use it. <laughs> you never know when you're going to need it. Yeah. <laughs> It is one of those little tools which come in handy for different things, to be honest. It's worth having in your stash. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's both sides done. As I said, we would be then adding the layer for the cream, because that's the one I've chosen for the end. If you have a little look at one of the ball balls here, we're going to just have a look how you put the ribbon onto here. So you've got a metre of ribbon inside your kit. We want to make sure, as you can see here, that ribbon's slightly moved, let's grab another one, that this is covering the seam, so you're not seeing any of those raw edges. So what we're going to do is to just pop two pins, and the first ones we're pushing 45 degree angle to make sure 
but they're not going to come out. Okay. Obviously yours will be finished with all the, you have this bald bit in the middle, yours will be finished <laughs> with all the, the triangles. <coughs> yeah, I don't think we'll have enough time to put no. the extra layer on, so yours will definitely look nicer than mine. Craig will have a half finished one. Mm -hmm. Another half finished <laughs> Another one. Another half finished one. So once you've folded that over and put your two layer of pins, again the measurements are inside your um, inside your pattern booklet. I think it's one and a half inches, but I tend to just use two fingers, bring this across, and that creates the first loop. It allows it to curve around as well and gives that nice finish. One pin at this stage, again, 45 degree angle is fine. Same on the opposite side. Two fingers, making sure that's lining up with the pin in the centre there and placing that on top. Popping your next pin through. And then if you wanted to add a second layer, there is space with the ribbon, this time one finger. Popping the pin through. Each time it does get a little more difficult to put the pins through, put those through at a 45 degree angle. Because your ball with all the fabric is, has quite a bit of weight to it. Yeah. So final side. Don't glue anything. None no gluing. No, no gluing in this one. So across again into the centre. I think I'm sitting on another pin. There we go. So we've got the two layers. Let's just get that. Can we see that there? So you've got your two layers of ribbon. Hang on. If, are we seeing it from the top or the front, Charlie? Top. Turn, just send it up the upstairs one. That's it. That's it. Brilliant. That's it. Lane. Okay, so the next thing to do is to just pull out the ribbon, get this nice and straight, making sure that this is on the top side of the ribbon, so take out any twists if there's any in. We're folding that over about half an inch and just finger pressing. Another fold, again finger pressing, and as we roll this over, if you like, so there's no twists in there, let your ribbon drop, freeze. We're just positioning that onto the top, and this time we're putting four pins at each corner, again, 45 degree angle. And that will allow you to hang your ball ball. Oops. Hang your ball ball. Let's get another one. I'm picking up all the blunt ones now, aren't I? Thin balls are great for this as well. Yeah. If you've got a thin ball, especially this part. I mean, everything else I find isn't particularly tricky, but if you've got a thimble to Please, Kerry, what size are your sequin pins? Are they 13 millimetres from Elizabeth? Yes, they are. I'm glad you said that, because I don't think I'd have remembered, but yeah, these are 13 millimetres. But any size sequin pins, try not to go for them too big, otherwise there's too much push, you know, it's yeah. more hassle to push them through. That's what we had in there before we had the slightly bigger ones. And then you've got enough pins in there to secure that into place, making sure that that's not going to drop off, drop off on the tree. Fabulous. Right. So that bundle to make that is, comes in this little box here. You get the polystyrene ball, you get your ribbon, you get your instructions, and then you get your pre-cut fabrics. Now. They could be any mix of fabrics, but you'll definitely have creams, reds, and golds and greens in there. This one, obviously, you've got the, the holly on red, the holly on cream, the green dot, and the a red dot with gold. But you could have any other. It'll all be green, cream, or red and gold. It'll all mix in. And all, all ma match. metallics yeah. as well. And, the, and Kerry would have made sure that they all work together as well. Um, so all of that for £13. Oh, and the pins. The 13 millimetre pins. Thirteen ninety nine. So you get everything you need. You don't need anything else, do you? No. Nothing else. So you can make the whole. Not even ball. a sewing machine and thread. No, Charlie. He <laughs> was very quiet on that one. He didn't mention them. <clears throat> Thirteen ninety nine. He's just ordering one because he wants to make one. Thirteen ninety nine. Gorgeous, isn't it? That whole kit for thirteen ninety nine. Right, you hope. Now the baubles on their own have sold out. The polystyrene baubles on their own sold out. But I've got the pattern. You want to do your own remember you need 13 millimeter sequin pins if you're going to buy your own stuff to go in uh, to do it with aren't you 6.99 okay before we go to the tote bag i'll just remind you of this project that we did on the 7th of july uh, because of breakdown of communications the kits are in the warehouse they're ready to go they're in so you get a fat quarter of this fabric you get a fat quarter of that fabric, 
you get your pink webbing, you get a white zip, you get your thermalan, no. Bosal polytherm. Bosal polytherm, which is to keep everything warm and cold. And you get white bias binding to finish all these seams off in here. And the instructions. You get your magnetic snap as well. Well done, Charlie. Blimey. And your little pocket for your cutlery. Yeah, and Still look, look, no at this, look at this, there. right? There's a pocket here <laughs> to put your cutlery in. Oh, and we've got some patterns on its own on that one as well. I th oh, no, I haven't got it. I don't know why I'm looking around. No, I did have it on its own. Anyway, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We've got the pattern on its own. Here it is. Doesn't matter. There's a few we can do. How weird. I could just want it was on there with... Ah, 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 ah. I know. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> well remembered. Well, it's because I thought it was next to my muffin. Where's my muffin <laughs> gone? <laughs> They're ten ninety nine. Oh no, I've eaten the muffin. <laughs> it's next well, to you. Next to your crumbs. <laughs> yes, next to my crumbs in the bag. Ten ninety nine. That's the pattern on its own. Right now, let's move on to the next project. So, yeah, we heard the iron. Yeah. Uh, so, if you want to buy with both, so you get one set of instructions, and what? There's only 10 of these left. This is the one we get both panels, right? So you get the Nomi's, where you can make three gift. Well, actually, if truth be known, you could put a if plane. you've got your own stash fabric, you could make six bags out of that, couldn't you? I didn't think of that until you were just about to say, oh, actually, yeah. that's a so good idea. So what you could do is you could do it like this, there's no me. You could do it like this, right? Where you've got one picture on one side and another picture on the other side. Or you could do it with one picture on that side and use your own fabric for the back. If you've yeah. got stash, you can put some own fabric on the back. So then, oh, then you can make six of those. But if you're going to do, do it at Kerry's way, you can make three bags out of that. But that's not all you get in this kit because you also get the stags as well. Which I went very butch then. Like he's on a stag do. Stag, stag, stag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hannah, uh, this morning in prep, Hannah kept talking about the, the alpacas. And I was like, what's she talking about? The alpacas? <laughs> she called them alpacas. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's There's what we need to do next. Near, the old, where Jen, the jewel maker used to be. Anyway, 34 .99, you get two panels and you get the instructions, right? That, now there's uh, single figures of that left now. Single figures of that. They're all the made-up bags, just one side of them. Now, if you want to just make the Tontus on their own, the Nomi's on their own, you can do because you can just buy this panel on its own with the instructions, 19.99. Okay, They're these down the side here are your straps. You get extra little Nomi's up there, look. What are those? Oh, those are the squares that you cut out. Yeah. It's like a little fingerprint heart, isn't it? Look, yeah. it's really sweet. All the bits are labelled as well. So that's the Nomi's one. Then you can, or if you just want to buy the stag <laughs> one, <coughs> then that's this panel with the instructions. You don't need anything else at all. 1999, there's the instructions, wrong way around. There's the instructions there. 1999. There's people staring in every door and every window. Oh, is Roy? Roy's in, everyone. What have you brought, Roy? Oh, that's too late. <laughs> He's laughing at me. He thinks it's that, isn't it? It's this. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Roy. Right. Shall we make a bag? <laughs> shall I show you how easy it is? Yes, please. We've got a stag. <laughs> stag, stag, stag. There we go. So your panel for each bag, you've got um, your front and your back. But as John said, you could put a different fabric onto there. If you are going to make six from this, which I think is a fabulous idea, and I didn't yeah. think of that myself, then just make sure from the fabric oh. you're using for the back, you cut your extra handles as well. Yeah. They're sweet, aren't they? Look. Gifted with love. Oh. So the handles, we're going to turn this onto the wrong side of the fabric. I remembered this time, John. Yeah. It's only took me all day. So you haven't put any interfacing or anything inside? No, just, just as they are. Yeah. You can interface, you can put 
lining on but the pattern's been written so there is no lining in this bag so just Perfect. take that into consideration when you're making these so we're folding the handles in half yeah to create the center fold there we go then we're bringing the center sorry the outer raw edge into that center fold we'll do both sides together Lovely. So these are intended to be nice, fast makes for your Christmas gifts. Yeah. And who are, hopefully when you gift them to somebody, they'll give you the bag back. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't want this. <laughs> Maybe good for, like, I know it, it's Christmas, but it's like teacher present, putting a teacher's yeah. present in or anything like that, isn't it? To be honest, we, it was, we had, like, end of school. What day are we on? Tuesday I did think about using one of the samples to put my teacher's gifts in I thought oh it's a shame it's not next week I could have gone away <laughs> what, go, but Christmas. I need the samples oh, because it was Christmas next week I think I could have got away with that one look yeah I think I could have got away I'm ready for Christmas now when we have to do teachers Christmas gifts oh we have to get your holidays out of the way first yes very true very true so you can pin or clip these, it's entirely up to yourself. All I'm going to do is to just sew a zigzag along either side of those, or straight stitch if you prefer. Yeah. What are you going for? Zigzag. Zigzag? Always zigzag. I might shock you one day. Machine. What have I got it on? It's wobbling, the wire. Oh, it's yeah. really lightweight as well. This no, is. I wasn't brilliant. surprised how light brilliant. it is. Now, you know I told Roy it was too late, right? I thought he'd still drop the parcel off and go, right? And I said to, I just said, I just said to Kat, I'll oh, give you that parcel, I'll unpack it and show it in a minute. He went, oh, it's safe. <laughs> <Don't give me laughs> <safe. laughs> Did you find him? No, he's gone. <laughs> You're in trouble later. Not, on, not my fault. <laughs> Roy. <laughs> His name's not even Roy. Pardon? His name's not Roy. I was Roy. just going to say, I was about to say, is his name Roy? Because that's not where I go. No. I thought he was called Roy, so I called him Roy for months and months and months in the old building. And somebody said, one day said to me, you know his name's not Roy? And I said, is your name not Roy? He went, no, I'm Brian. And I was like, oh. But I always call him Brian. I thought maybe I've been getting no, him wrong. But no. he's too polite to correct yeah. you anyway. He was too he? polite to correct where, where we lived in army quarters for years with Craig and one of the girls that moved in next to me, we became really good friends. But, like most things when you meet people, we'd had a drink when I first met her, so I couldn't remember whether her name was Sheila or Shirley. Oh. So I kept testing the waters, but she kept answering to both names. So in the end, I convinced myself it was Shirley. I must have called her Shirley for about six months. But about two weeks after I met her, my mother-in-law had come over to visit us and she said, oh, the girl who lives next door, she's lovely, what's her name? I'd had a drink again and I went, it's Sherbet. <laughs> Sherbet. So every time my mother-in-law came down, she, she'd say, oh, hello, Sherbet, how are you? And I thought, oh. my mother-in-law's quite serious as well. So I thought, I can't, I can't correct her. Yeah. So anyway, we'd been friends for a long time and she never really drank. Anyway, one night she was very leery and had a drink and she corrected me. Oh no! She said, I just thought I need to let you know, my name's never been Shirley. And it's certainly never been Shirley. <laughs> but is it Sheila? I thought, why didn't you just tell me like six months had passed now? Yeah, but the first time you go, no, no, you know, you do it straight away, do not you? <laughs> but it had gone on for too long. Yeah. So from then on, everybody was mate. <laughs> oh. Terrible with names. <laughs> And I, you just had me thinking there that I've been calling. That's not Roy. <laughs> yeah. Right. So we've got the handles now. Yeah. What we're going to do is to just measure these in. This is super easy to put together. Three yeah. inches in from the middle and we'll just pin. Oh, I didn't bring my normal. There we go. Just clip leave? these. It's okay. I've, I've got, got the clips there. I was trying to pin them with a the little sequin pins. So three inches from the outer raw edge as well. Twist these around and just clip those into place. It certainly helps with this one uh, to make sure that the handles are both lined up. So measuring just takes a moment or two. And then we're going to sew and use a basting stitch for these. So shall I go ahead and do that? Have we, yeah, retrieved, have we retrieved the kit? While you're sewing that, I'm just gonna show you 
what you actually get in this kit because I know I've described it but Roy brought one up and then one of the security men just brought it now so on the 7th of July we made this or Kerry made this <clears throat> really really lovely we've got the kit here now you don't need anything else at all because what you get is you get the instructions with your templates and anything like that you get your two fabrics right there's your two fabrics your lovely hibiscus and your hummingbird fabric you get your zip you get your webbing you get your bosal firmy thing uh, you get your, your what's this magnetic, magnetic clasp. clasp and you get your just off white bias binding there to bind all your seams with inside all that's 2199 you don't need anything else at all and you make this which has the special little cutlery pocket look beautiful 2199 oh sorry hannah we keeping you up oh it was cold last night it's for, oh, it's cold last night. I had the no, quilt shed back on. I can't walk to sleep in its cold weather. It was I mean, warm weather. It was cold, hot, cold last night, wasn't it? I oh, don't know. I thought it was quite chilly oh, last yeah. night. Yeah, now I've got to tell you this other story very quickly. Hannah's going to hate me for this, right? She was so hot the night before. <laughs> she was in bed and she just went, Steph, I'm sorry, I can't deal with this. She took a blanket downstairs and slept on the tiled floor in the kitchen to keep cool. Oh, oh no, I don't think I could do that. She's really tired now because obviously she didn't sleep a week that night. <laughs> anyway, carry on, carry on. I, I was concerned about what you were going to tell us then. Oh. Oh, I did not expect that. Oh no, I wasn't, wouldn't say it. <laughs> so what we're going to do next, so I've just uh, tack stitched these into place. I'm going to fold this over just by um, half an inch on here. Some of the panels, the ones with the writing at the top in particular, I'm trying to think of one. The one with it's the most wonderful time of year. Yeah. When you come to make those, just make the, um, this, I'm turning over half an inch, but for those, just turn it over a quarter inch, otherwise you lose a little bit of the writing. Right. So folding this again, so we're tucking the handles just inside and just giving that a little press. Okay. And we'll repeat that on the other one. Did you like the heat? I love. I, I didn't like no, it so no, much no, of I an like evening. Heat, but it's, it's, I, I always remember I did one show for ITV called uh, How Do I Look? It was on a Saturday Night Live oh, show and with Ulrika Johnson. And the costume department, the wardrobe department was in the basement of LWT and there were weather like this. And it was just like, I thought I was good. And it, in those days, I didn't have my miracle pills, my hay fever or anything. I thought I was good. Oh, it was horrendous. But I like, I like the warmth. I prefer it if there's a seaside next door yeah, or oh, yeah. anything. But no, I like the warm weather. There we the go. only thing is getting in your car, driving the steering wheel, the steering wheel's so boiling hot. It's so yeah. hot, and I'm always literally just scraping out the car in time to go anywhere, so no time to Ooh. even cool it down. What's the matter, Anne? Uh, my husband slept at the bottom of the garden on the arbor seat for two nights to keep cool from Claire. That's like uh, Love Island, where they go and sleep outside when they're in the doghouse. I'd be too scared in case anything crawled over me. You've done what? I would be too scared in case anything oh, crawled. Oh, ridiculous. Oh no, if a spider's crawling over you in the night, what if you accidentally ate one? <laughs> I couldn't do that. I think you'd know if you were I still put a sheet a over me just in case. <laughs> you think you'd know? I think you'd know if you swallowed the spider, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, but if you had, it would be too late, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, it's full of protein. <laughs> I would be devastated. Uh -uh. So, on to the next one. I'm using a zigzag stitch as well. You can use a straight stitch if you want to. Or an, an alpaca stitch if you've got one of your sewing machines. <laughs> <laughs> I think that machine needs a new needle. Yeah, that was doing. To be honest, there's quite a lot of, you know, you've got six, seven layers of fabric there, yeah. but it is quite bumpy. Okay, so to put this together then, we're just going to place one panel pattern facing towards you or reindeer facing towards you, pattern facing, and then what we're going to do is sew around the three raw edges, just excluding 
uh, that turning gap there. Okay. And then we'll box the bottoms on this. So there's no lining in this one. Right. In you can't stop putting project. the lining in if you didn't want to. You just trace the shape off, couldn't you? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. There we go. So starting and finishing with a reverse stitch. Now, if you had an overlocker, you can finish, the, finish off the inside with an overlocker. But I love the overlocker coming up in the next hour. Just raising that presser foot and just teasing the thread. We can trim that afterwards. And then the final side. And finishing with a reverse stitch as well. So the last thing to do for these little bags is to just trim the thread. So even if you leave these in your stash right up to the night before Christmas, they're faster exactly. so up, aren't they? All great intentions. There we go, completely missed the bottom. Let's do that again, very quickly. So, bringing those two raw edges together. And then what we're going to do is marry up those raw edges. Press just one seam forward, to the left. further forward for me. There you go, brilliant. There we go. One seam to the left, one to the right. I'm just going to trim that excess a little bit away. Where I've redone that seam, it's slightly out. You'll take a little bit more time with yours. So again, starting and finishing with a reverse stitch. Trimming away those excess threads. Same on the opposite side. Pushing one seam to the left, one to the right. Just make sure they're the same on the bottom so there's no twists in the bag and as you say John if you've got an overlocker you can overlock this and in the pattern as well I say to zigzag stitch the edge yeah, or yeah. use an overlocker so you can put that extra little Might bit in there. that machine has got an over edge stitch on it you don't have to do it now but it's yeah. because you've got the best over edge foot so you could like do overlocking around the edge without having an overlocker. Yeah. Oh that's a bonus then to have that stitch isn't it a real bonus. So Message on the bottom. Our friend's husband fell asleep in the garden and woke up at him with a fox sitting <laughs> on him. Hey. There's a lot of foxes about, isn't there? I keep yeah. seeing foxes yeah. in the middle of the day, just having a little stroll. Yeah. And <gasps> oh, gosh. Yeah, Anna's worried that he didn't take, had, had, he had his rabies shot afterwards. <laughs> I don't think he bit him. I don't think the fox bit him. Yeah, I didn't even think about foxes and anything no. like that. My instant well, thing last is. night I got woken up by this horrendous noise in the back field, right? Went to look at the window thinking, oh, the, the cats, hope the cats are right. Um, herons, huge herons in the back. Got, they were just standing in the back chatting. And then when I opened the window, they flew off. And of course, they did that. It was incredible. They were making <laughs> so much noise. They did anyway. make a lot of noise. That's it. We're done. Are We've you got done? a gift bag. Thank you very much there indeed. You go. There's only one, we need six. We need six all together. Brilliant. So let me just recap everything from this hour. So, what's in at the moment, Han? The stag. So where's the stag? So you get the instruction and the panel for the one that's in the moment, 19.99. So there's your stag's panel. There's your stag's panel. There's your instructions, 19.99. Okay. There's the one with the Nomies. Oops, there's the one with the Nomies. Plus your instructions. 19.99, deal price. That's your Nomies there. Oh, sorry if you haven't seen them. Right, now if you want both, you get one set of instructions plus the Nomies, plus the Stags. Oh, that's about to sell out. That's about to sell out, that one. What's the matter? Charlie wasn't even born in 1999. 
I, know, I, said to, I said to Hayley, I thought she sent a message out going, oh, she wants our dates that were available to work till next year. You know, and I don't know what I'm doing next week. But anyway, <laughs> uh, she said, how's everyone coping with the heat? And I saw it takes back to 1976. She went, I was minus two in 1976. And I thought she meant temperature. I was thinking, oh, she must have lived in Iceland or something. <laughs> no, two years before she was born. It was like, oh, OK. Right, so that's the tote bags. That's the tote bags. That's the tote bags. Bauble kit. In the ark. You get the, poly the polystyrene bauble, you get the pre-cut pieces of fabric, you get the ribbon, you get the instructions, and you get the pins. Oh, that's not right, that's not right. Yeah, that's instructions on his own, because that's going to be very reasonable. That's all right. £13.99, £13.99 for everything. Okay. Instructions on their own you just saw for six uh, were they six ninety nine or nine ninety nine? Six ninety nine. The wreath from earlier. Gorgeous Christmas wreath. You get the bundle, you get the polystone ring, you get the instructions, you get a green pointy <laughs> property tool. Colours may vary. You get a ribbon and you get your um, three fabrics there. Just need some pinking shears, really, to that. And, and maybe some PVA glue, if you want to glue them in. Uh, 24 99 24 99 Is that it? Tree. There's your tree. Same procedure, same technique, except you get the cone. What Kerry just said, just be careful when you get to the top here, because it gets a bit delicate there. So you get your fabrics. You get that. I've got it. And you get... a. Turning tool. No, it's not a turning tool. It's dotting a prodding. What's it called? Dotting tool. Dotting. Dotting tool. Nineteen ninety-nine. Nineteen ninety-nine for a whole load. In fact, you don't need anything else. I was camping, canoeing, and wild water swimming in the Highlands in nineteen seventy-six. Get you. Right. Seventy-six. I just done my O levels and spent the whole summer on the meadows in Chester. Anyway, uh, and then very quickly, this before we go, this bag, bundle, single figures left now, single figures. If you want to watch the demo, it was on the 7th of July. In there, you do get the pattern and the template. You do get the two fabrics. You do get the magnetic clasp. You do get the, that. You get the webbing. You get the zip. And you get the off-white um, bias binding. Everything you need, you don't need anything else whatsoever to make that bag, apart from, as Charlie points out, a sewing machine and some thread and some time. I mean, some time as well. Um, yeah. Most important ingredient, the time. Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Twenty-one ninety-nine. Kerry, when are you next? Um, 4th of August. 4th of August. Have we got our August? Oh, I think that's me. Is it I you? I think it's me, I think it's me. Rota, she's just checking, checking down. Me... Ben producing a new. Lovely. So we'll see you then. See you then. I was about to say have a lovely Christmas. And I thought, <laughs> no, don't say that. Don't go anywhere. It's me after the break. Now I'm doing a very Christmassy show. After that, I've got sewing machines. But it's not only sewing machines. It's got all sorts of goodies. It's got thread. I've got bond web. I've got my threads. I've got all sorts. Uh, oh, lovely, lovely, lovely scissors. Which I haven't seen the red ones before. I can't remember what they remind me of now. Anyway, uh, and also, oh, uh, not mood boards. Comic boards, comic boards as well. So there's loads. So thank you ever so much, Kerry. Thank you, John. Uh, I'll see you in four minutes from now. Hello, my name's Rebecca Harrison. Uh, my background is in theatre costume. So I've made uh, costumes for film, TV and theatre. Um, I began to sew when I was at school, in primary school, and I also uh, did a lot of sewing with my mum at home. Um, one of the first things that I ever made um, was this little mouse, um, and I hand sewed her at primary school. I think I was eight or nine um, when I did her, um, and I treasure her. She's, uh, she, she's I just love her. Her, her head's, her stuffing's gone in her head, so she's a bit wobbly. Um, my favorite things to sew, of course it's um, probably because of my uh, period background um, but I just love them I've got one here um, I love the structure of them 
um, the shape the bones make, I, I just think they're beautiful. Um, and the fact that through the ages, they've changed to uh, make women's shape different. Um, and I find that really fascinating. Um, my claim to fame is um, because I've obviously uh, doing costumes for film and theatre, I've been lucky enough to meet um, a lot of famous people. So um, I've met people like uh, Dame Judi Dench, uh, Kate Winslet, uh, Juliette Binoche, uh, lots, oh gosh, lots and lots of people, lots more than I can probably, I haven't got time to say them all. Um, but yeah, just, and, and all around the building where I used to work um, in London, you'd see lot, lots of people, Christopher Lee, Sir Richard Attenborough, um, yeah, just lo lots and lots of people. Um, so it was it was really lovely. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I feel very privileged to do what I do. I love my job and I'm very lucky that I get to do it every day. Um, and I really enjoy being on Sewing Street and uh, demonstrating um, how to make things and um, hopefully inspire you uh, to get to get sewing. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account, and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals, and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. the live show don't worry we recorded it for you never miss out on your favorite presenters guests and makes ever again head on over to our youtube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again we also have lots of great content exclusive to our youtube pages such as product demonstrations troubleshooting videos and so much more Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. I'm just thinking, right? noise can you hear that noise what date is it today 21st right 
if I would say, don't I, self gifting's the way to go, right? I want to buy myself this overlocker for Christmas, right? If I took split pay on it, right, and it's the 21st of July today, so that'd be 21st July, say 22nd of July, July, August, September, October, November, be paid for by Christmas, wouldn't it, if I take out the five way split pay? Do you know what I mean? So I could pay £211.80 today, pay that every month and until November, and then on Christmas, well, before Christmas, December, I've already paid for it, it's all done. And I, you know how much I love this machine. If you watch me any amount of time, you know how much I love this machine. I would quite boldly say that this machine is easier to thread than the simplest sewing machine. It's the Elna 8640 Air Threader, and I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm just gonna switch it off and I'll show you the front. <clears throat> oh, hang on my car. There you go, right, I'll just turn it around a bit like that. The way to thread it, I've just switched off, it will switch off before you start threading it, right? Look at this, right? You've got four threads, you always have to thread from this end. You put your um, telescopic what's it up, you take thread one, you literally take it, oh, take it through the loop at the top there. You then take it down through the tension gauge, through there. Now these are the lower loopers and the upper loopers we're doing here. You literally, what you do is you turn that switch to lo the lower looper. You turn that switch from, from sewing to threading. And then you turn the dial here, right, listen until it clicks into place, it can't move anymore. And what that does, it's aligning all of the pipes and the tubes and everything over here. You then take the thread, now don't make the mistake that I made when I first started, and just pop the end of the thread in there. You need to put a good inch and a half inside that hole there. Then you lift this, push it down, right? And then it sucks in air from the side here and then shoots it through there. So the thread goes right the way through to the lower looper. You then turn the switch to the upper looper. I told you it was simple, didn't I? You literally take the thread again, down from the thread, through the telescopic thing, through the tension here, down there, and then put the, do exactly the same thing to put it into that hole there, an inch and a half in, lift, press, dump, gone through. Then what you do, is you then switch that then back to sewing, which means this is then able to move. And for, to, to thread the two needles, the left needle literally goes through the tension gauge, runs along here, goes over the top of that, down through the thread guide into the needle. There's a needle threader on the machine, so you can thread both needles using the needle threader. That was the left needle. Then you do exactly the same with the right needle and you're ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Now, Charlie remembers uh, one day he came in and somebody th cut all the threads off. I think it was Jane from Elna actually. And literally I just pulled up a stool and I, was, I did it within minutes. And it's not because I'm an expert in overlockers, because I'm not. It's, this is just so, the thing that used to put me off overlockers years back um, was the threading of them because they were terrifying to thread and what you used to do is you used to knot the next colour on and slowly pull it through the whole machine just praying that it came out the other end and everything. This, no worries like that at all, it's so easy. And also, if you go onto YouTube, not just watch our YouTube, just put in the, the machine because this is exclusive to Sewing Street, this machine, right? But you can, I don't, they've got it in America, so you just watch the video uh, I've had to, and it's so brilliant. Um, Charlie and I were going to film one, but you know, need to because you go to YouTube, and it's it's absolutely brilliant there. So that's your machine threaded. Uh, no, because what we're waiting to find, and you know, in your trolleys that you've got next door, uh, all the brochures are in there. But you can move the blade away. You can move the blade. There's a, it's on the side here. I can show you. I, mean, I just can't show you how to do it. Look, look. You can move the blade away in the on the side there. You can also do uh, blind, uh, not blind hemming, rolled edge, rolled hem. There's all sorts you can do there. The differential feed is around here, which is a bit like, if you play with the differential feed, it's a bit like the, um, 
walking foot. So it's speed, well, it, what it does is it either speeds up or slows down the top and the bottom feeder. So you can do gathering, you can do all sorts of things like that with it. Uh, then once it's up and running and ready to go, oh, we, we always say make sure it's switched off when you thread it. Even though if you open this, the machine won't go. I always like to switch it off as well, just as a double uh, safety. Um, then you put the rubber gubbins tray in there. You then switch it on. And it's ready to go. It's ready to go. Now, where the oh, we've got a question from Anne. John, it's not the threading that bothers me, but having told the attention numbers for different fabrics, how is the Elna with that? Right, do you know what, Anne? I've played with this so many times, and the only time I've had to move the tension was when I was doing the gathering. The rest of the time, I've just left it as the, as the, um, uh, the, the setting. But you know what? You can always ring the Elna helpline, right? And they'll, they, they're brilliant. You might even get Lucy Brennan answer the phone, but basically don't really, I, I, I change my differential feed for different things, but I don't change the tension. I leave the tensions as they are. It tells you in the brochure what tensions to have it on anyway. If, if, if you go, if you look in the instructions manual, it'll tell you if you're using this, move this tension to that, move this tension. It, it tells you everything like that. But on the whole, I don't touch mine at all. Don't touch my tensions at all. Because you've seen me here, I've done, um, stretchy fabrics i've done cotton fabrics i've got a little fat quarter oh is this a fat quarter I've got a little fat quarter here I'm not going to waste much i'm just going to do the edge of it to show you how it finishes off the edge i just love the way the overlocker works as well because it's very slick and smooth and then look how beautiful that edging is on there now if you want to know what stitch is created by which um thread Put four different colours of threads in here because it's so easy to thread up, isn't it? Put four different colours in there, and then you'll and then do it on a plain, plain piece of fabric. You will see which bits of the stitches are made up with which thread, so you can always work out which thread. You know, if there was a problem, you can always think, "Oh, it's that. It's the second thread in that's causing me the grief. I can just sort that out." It is a brilliant machine, whether you're seaming, whether you're using stretch fabrics, whether you're doing dance costumes, whether you're doing knickers or swimsuits or anything like that. It's absolutely fantastic. You can do, I've got, I've got, um, I've got a slide. I've got several slides to show you on this because, um, uh, here you go. A threading system, we're just showing that. Two, three, four thread overlocking, built-in needle threader, adjustable differential feed, five level presser foot pressure dial, eight piece feed dog system you don't lower the feed dogs on this or well, you can do built in two threader converter built in thread cutter maximum speed up to 1300 um it is a fantastic lovely machine next slide so you get lots of accessories with it look you get the screwdrivers two of them tweezers needle set you will need the tweezers because even though the lower and upper looper shoot through you do need to just pull it through to the back of the thing Lint brush, spool cap, spare upper blade, which is essential because if you run over a pin and you break your blade. Double-ended wrench, not sure what that's for. Needle holder, looper, threading wire, waist tray, foot controller, dust cover. Now look, if you have it on a four thread, you can do overlocking, you can do stretch knit, you can do decorative, you can do over edging and you can do gathering. If you have it on a three thread, you can do overlocking regular and wide. You can do a rolled hem if you're doing chiffon scarves or something for Christmas. Uh, narrow hem, pico hem, flat lock and pin tuck. And then a two thread, you can do flat lock and rolled hem. But if you're going to do a two thread, you're only going to have one needle being used. So make sure that you, you take the other needle out. Even if it's empty and you're not putting a thread through it, don't leave the other needle in. <clears throat> uh, now, you can use any thread you like. You can use any thread you like, but actually, I've just got, I've got um, Madeira Mini King on here, a basically overlocking thread. If you want to use your Aurifils, if you want to use your Gutemans, you can do, but there's no need. There's no need. If you buy an overlocking thread, it's much, much cheaper. What I would say, <coughs> excuse me, is then don't use the overlocking thread in a sewing machine to sew seams together. It's perfectly strong enough when you're overlocking. Fantastic. In fact, have we got any today? I don't think we've got any today. No. Um, but you can put any thread through it you want to, but it's just a bit of a waste to put your best thread through. Get your, get your overlocking thread. Oh, it's that little toolbox that comes with it. There you go. There's your little toolbox that comes with it. And did it say needles on there? Did I read out needles? Never, ever, ever put sewing machine needles in your overlocker. 
you must buy overlocking needles but there's your little tilt toolbox you get with it as well i love this machine and at 1050 now julie vaughan will tell you i don't know because we haven't got facebook live i haven't got a message on her today but she she said it was a life changer she just didn't realize how much of a difference it would make like if you're making those i'll show you right if you make those little bags that kerry made today right inside i'll just show you inside there is a uh, now kerry hasn't finished these off because she didn't get the panels till quite late but you don't want a raw edge like that just fin oh well actually you know what 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 oops there we go if you've done this like this right you could then what you do is you wouldn't do it once it was all sewn up but imagine how lovely this is going to look I'm not going to do the whole thing, I'll just show you. Oh, except something's gone wrong. Hang on, the second one of the threads has come out. Hang on, let me just check. Okay, that's fine. Stay on the steel just for a second. Yeah, I've come unthreaded somewhere, hang on. Right, I'll need to thread it all up again, but I haven't got time to do it now. But it'd be so easy just to thread that up. There you go. I'll thread it up ready for tomorrow's show. Well, I'm not in tomorrow, for Friday's show. Just it's come unthreaded. One of the threads came in and just churned it up a bit. Doesn't matter. Rethread it really easily and you'll get that lovely um, overlocking edge. Loads in this out to show you. Let me put that there, that there. Tell her she's left her K-pop behind. Is that Kerry just in there? Right, let's put that away. Let's put that over here. Right, what's next then, Han? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Oh no, the comic boards have almost sold out. We had loads of these. So I'll just get those and the scissors and the scissors and the scissors. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Right. Rebecca Reed had these the other day, didn't she? It's such a simple, it's such a simple thing, right? But when you've got your fabric and you want to store your fabric, you can fold it round a comic board. Exceptional rigidity. Acid free. But look, you literally fold your fabric around your comic boards and then you just store them either in boxes or on shelves or anything like that and then your fabric is literally and so you haven't got big creases you haven't got it folded you can see all your fabrics all the time you write the name on the fabric on the top i would i wouldn't do that only because if you sell out you've then got to scribble that one out i suppose you could turn it around couldn't you i suppose oh would you use a friction pen yeah i suppose you could do could do Little label maker. Oh, make labels from old Chrissy in what? Not she's not old. From Chrissy in um, e, e, e Walk, E Mark, not E Walk, E Mark. But we're down to single figures. These you get a hundred of them in there. Look, you get a hundred. Imagine doing all your fat, putting all your fat quarters, all your liberties on fabrics on those. How professional is your sewing room going to look? says Charlie how brilliant how much time is it going to save when you I know in my stash cupboard that I've got all those different liberties every time I go to find them you have to rummage through or they all fall off the shelves and, and, yeah, and you will forget what you've got you will I'll, I'll have made I'll have catalogued it before Charlie moves in at 14 19 they're all there all ready to go so you get a hundred acid free I don't know why they're called comic boards comic concept because they're what they're originally four comic books. Oh, I didn't know. I never knew that. Apparently, in the old days, they used to put one inside the comic. Oh, the Clet Comics, I put them in there. Oh, I never knew that. You put your comic in a 
Oh, well, do you? How weird. Well, not weird. It's brilliant, isn't it? And then somebody's husband or somebody obviously did come and thinking, I could wrap my fabric around that. I've never known why they were called that. Comic boards. Very attractive, it says here. Yeah, it says it on the packet. Fully coated on one side, partially coated on the reverse. I suppose it has to be acid free if you're going to put comics around it, aren't you? Exceptional rigidity. Uh, acid free whiteboard for long term archival storage. Ooh. Anyway, be careful on that because they're about to sell out. <coughs> I take it. And. <laughs> no, no, I say that they're about to sell out. Uh, silence, I think so. Silence. Han. What? <laughs> right, loads and loads and loads of you. Yeah. Right, so I've got them in three different sizes. I've only seen two of these before, so I'm going to show you this one first of all. Oh, I'll leave it there. I'm going to take it out of the packet, right? $31.99. Comfortable, soft handles. They can be used by left-handed or right-handed. Can we do it? We're not going to do that one, then. Left-handed or right-handed. Incredibly, incredibly sharp. And they're sharp right to the tip, right? Sharp right to the tip. And then you get a little cover that just fits over them. These are lovely and soft, this, this bit here. Not heavy at all. So many of our guests have gone on and on and on about how much they love these, right? Look. Beautiful, aren't they? So there's your sheet there. And then literally, let me get my fabric back. You can snip. Well, hang on. Where did I just put that? Oh, it's around the board. Where's the comic book gone? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, here you go, here you go. I'll use this. Literally, you can snip the tiniest, tiniest amount, look, and it's sharp right to the end. So if you want to go all the way to there. Brilliant. If you're making fringing, these would be fantastic. Gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. $31.99 worth every penny, I'd say. Stainless steel knife edge blades, comfortable soft handle, sharp to the point, protective cover. Perfect for precision and detail cutting, right and left-handed use. I just think it's brilliant that both left-handed and right-handed people can use it. Do you know what I mean? The amount of, amount of times you're like, oh, well, only left-handed people can use it, only right-handed people can use that. Just brilliant, isn't it? They're lovely, lovely, lovely scissors. Oh, now I've got fewer than 20 of those. Fewer than 20. Um, I, well, I say hopefully we'll have more in by Christmas if you're thinking of buying them for Christmas presents, someone, but who knows? Who knows? I'll let Kat do that because I'll, I'll ruin it. That, what, what? Christmas what? It's only next week, isn't it? Christmas, yeah. Right, we also have the baby ones. Well, no, now. These are the only other ones I'd seen. Again, stainless steel knife edge blades, comfortable soft handles, protected cover, sharp to the point. These would be brilliant as your little snippy scissors to have by your sewing machine. Who said that? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Karen Kay. I heard that. Somebody messaged in the other day saying that the bottom blades are micro serrated, but they, it's really odd that they don't mention it anywhere. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so on a video, she just migrates, but because that means you must not, 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 not put any of these into scissor sharpeners. Never, ever, ever put them into scissor sharpeners. Because it does say, she's put here, uh, knife edge blade, you see. But um, anyway, they are fantastic. They snip like a dream, these. They're just beautiful. I won't take them out, because you know what they're like. Lovely soft handles. And somebody mentioned the other day, going, how big are the actual holes here? Well, it's big enough to get my big fat sausage fingers through. 21.99 they are. But be careful again, because they'll be limited. Now. The pair I haven't seen before. Now, it does say on the packet that these are protective plastic cover, 
comfortable soft handles, micro serrated blade, grab the thread rather than pushing it away like traditional scissors. So are we, ex well, do we think both are micro serrated then? Let's have a look. You see, oh yes, 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 I can see. You, see, you can see them on there, you can see. Oh, and they feel it, you can tell. They're definitely, you know how with a um, serrated edge scissor, you can actually feel the edge of it grating. Right, let's just try these. Oh, and they're curved. These are curved ones. Oh, they're fantastic. If you're doing embroidery and everything like that, or plique. Quilting threads or anything. Look. $22.99. Again, you've got your soft. Now, the handles feel different. The handles feel slightly different than this. But love, again, look at the space. I'll do it there. The space you've got for your finger and your thumb in there. Remember, I haven't got, I've got fat sausage fingers. Oh, you can really tell they're micro serrated because you can feel them gripping just as they're, as you're snipping like that. 22, 19, the amount of designers that have asked us to get these scissors in. Karen K. Buckley's perfect scissors. Curved, they just like curved them, I'll show you again. Just like curved them. So then, is that curved then? Oh no, it's just got enough space for it to sit in. There you go. So you're not going to catch your finger in the drawers or anything like that. It's not going to blunt the ends of the scissors. Keeps them nice and sharp and safe. Safety is the main thing, isn't it? Beautiful. 22 nine. I was standing here thinking, I wonder why it's kept so warm in here. I've got an iron on under the table here and the heat is all whooshing out from underneath the table beautiful right now the next thing i'd like to do are the tables i'm not going to do it by um i'll do it by pictures because the samples in the next room being used now you won't get that one don't worry now i know you're thinking oh what am i going to do with it 525 pounds for a fold away table you need to watch the day that um, Jason was in. Jason from Horn Furniture was in. He's got so much passion about all of his furniture and everything like that. He brought this one table, which I'll show you a picture of in a second. It folds away to next to nothing, right? But when you get it out, so uh, I'll show you this. Uh, here you go. Folded away picture there. So that, fold, that folds away, and it's only like a little shelf. It just fits nicely into an alcove or in the side. If you're using your spare bedroom as a, as a sewing room and thing. Folds away beautifully. Now, you can either put one leaf up, two leaves up to have a big table, or just the ironing board on its own. Or you can have, like the one outside in the prep room, it's got all three open like this. So now look, it, now I know what you're thinking. You're going, oh no, gate legs, they're always a bit wobbly. They're, I have to tell you, the, when the gate leg comes round, it's got a clip underneath the table and it fits in perfectly like that. It's absolutely a solid fitting like that. So every, nothing moves. It's on, there are seven casters, and they're those casters that move like that, which you can lock all of them. So once it's in place, you don't, if you've only got a corner of a room, what you can do is you can just bring one tail up and the ironing board up. You can work in the corner of your room because it fits perfectly into the corner. These are the dimensions of the table. So it's 150 across when you open the whole thing. Now it's 92 centimetres towards you and 92 centimetres high. You can get a chair underneath it. So if you want to sit down, do you sewing there or sit down and work like that? And then the ironing board, you see the ironing board there, that's 70 centimetres wide. But no, that's wrong. Yeah. Oh, length, yeah, length, yeah, length, yeah. I was going to say it's 34 centimetres wide. Sorry, I was reading the wrong thing. I could see a line going across. Yeah, it's 70 centimetres long. I was thinking, hang on, that drawing's not right. Because it's exactly the same width as the width of the table at the top. Um, so when, if you just want one... Um, gate leg up, one leaf up, you can have one leaf up. If you just want the ironing board up, you can just have the ironing board up. So if you have it in a room that you also do your ironing, you don't need an ironing board as well. 
Just take the ironing board up, put the um, gate leg across, nice sturdy ironing board, get your old ironing done. And then you can pile the folded things up on the side there. You can use it as a drawing table, a work table, a workstation, anything. <clears throat> and it packs away really lovely. It's 34 centimetres across that. 34 centimetres. Now, you get three, three split payments of £175. They are delivered direct from Jason. He'll send somebody out with them. They're already made up. So it's not like his other furniture where you have to make it up when it gets there. They're already made up, but it will be delivered by one of his men. Um, the only, uh, and it comes within your 3 95 post and packaging. The only difference is if you live in the Highlands or the Islands, you need to ring up. So when you order this, what you need to do is make sure that the call centre have got your name and address, obviously, and telephone number and email address, because Jason will need to get in touch with you. But um, if you live somewhere very remote, then maybe speak to him first before you order it because there will but then if you live there you're most probably used to that it's not a huge amount but obviously he's got to get it across to the island and things like that and that's not going to happen for 3.95 is it do you know what I mean but if you live anywhere else in the UK right 3.95 if you've bought say you bought the early bird with those ribbons this morning and then you bought that and paid your 3.95 post and packaging it's all covered it's all covered in your 3.95 post and packaging such a lovely table. And also all of our um, guests are using it now in the prep room outside. Some of hobby makers guests as well. But we, we don't charge them. They're allowed to use it. But anyway, it's a really, but there's only two left. There's only two of them left. They had sold out. Jason managed to get us another three of which Vic sold one the other day, didn't she? So there's now two left and that's it. I, 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 I presume, he will order more, I presume, but not just yet, not just yet. Um, so. Christmas presents yourself. I know it's July, I know it's too early to think about things like that, but maybe it's not. On the day, on the day, we sold so many of them, it, they flew out the door, absolutely flew out. Also, if you go to the website, there are other, our website, there are other horn furniture pieces on there as well. There's really amazing tables that tilt and things like that. So please go on, and they do them in four different wood finishes. I know they're lovely. Anyway, that's that, that's that, that's that. Hannah's gonna tell me where I'm going next. My Aurifil and Necessities Aurifil. Yep, go and get that. Right, so my Aurifil here, we launched it for my birthday show. Oh, do you want, I'll do it from up here if you want to. 52.99. Now, you get 7,800 meters in here, which means it works out at 60p for 100 meters, right? So it's not that much at all. It's, you know, if you think about it, where you can buy a 100 meter reel of quality thread. This is Egyptian cotton taken to Italy to create into these beautiful colors and long strands. So it's very, very um, durable. It's 50 weight. And here are the six colors. Yours won't come with this little bit of sellotape on it. Hang on. There we go. Oh. Have we not got them out of the cellophanes? Here are, we had them out of the cellophanes the other day, didn't we? Anyway, here are, the, no, they were, Delphine made sure she had hers delivered to our house. Excuse me, Somebody, so one of us had to drive around there with them specially. And then when I got there, she had secret filming going on in her workroom. Nothing to do with here, nothing to do with here at all. Right, so, look at the colours, they're gorgeous, aren't they? I'll show you in a second, I'll take them out of the cellophanes. There are three variegated, and then there are three um, solids to go with the variegated. Delphine used these for, you know the, um, you know the um, Buddha quilt wall hanging we did on, the on my birthday show? And with all that amazing quilting on, this is what she used for them. She used these colours and they were the perfect array. I called them the garden collection because they're very much like flowers in your garden. Oh, you will see me in a minute. I'm just trying to unpack them. So Charlie's just keeping the still there for now. It's very boring, I know, to watch a still like that, isn't it? No, Charlie, that's where you're wrong. That's where you're wrong there. Yeah, exactly. Charlie thinks it's boring to watch me opening it, but people pay to watch boxes opening. You look at any of the, like any of the designery people have here, they do um, whole videos of me opening a box. Not me, them opening a box. Right, so you get, no, I've never, I've never done a video like that. Right. <laughs> Marrakesh, 
Oh, heck, I hate doing it from the overhead telly. Marrakesh. What? No, I do the beginning of it on the overhead. There you go. Marrakesh. And then you've got your pink taffy. That's a variegated one there. And you've also got your, and I've never had to say this one, Tramonto Azoagli. Sounds like a pudding, doesn't it? Then you've got your beautiful dark turquoise to go with that. I mean, you can mix and match them with any of them if you wanted to. Then you've got your uh, red paprika to go with your um, taffy. And then you have your pale, well, it's not pale, is it? But it is called pale yellow to go with your tramonto. They're beautiful colours, even if I say so myself. Uh, and they come in a signed box. Also, they come inside a box, in a box. So you can keep the sleeve if you wanted to. But they'll live happily in here like that. Aren't they lovely? Even though I say so myself. Works out at 60p for 100 metres. So where would you get a thread for 60p for 100 metres? High quality. Well, even, even bad quality. Try getting the thread. You're not 100 metres. Yeah, anyway. 52 no doubt. I know it sounds like a lot of money for six threads, but actually when you work it out, and uh, Delphine just loves them. She's got them on all her machines at the moment. She's using them for lots of her projects. So 52, 99. John Scott's Aurifil Garden Collection. Signed. A lot of my signatures around at the moment, aren't they? Uh, that didn't actually take too long. Cat, the cat here, cat floor, help me. We've got them all out of the boxes. I would do 50 at a time. She'd pack them away. I'd get the next 50 outside them. She'd pack them away. We got it done in, it like couple, in the morning, didn't we, before the show? Not long at all. It's not unlike the photos that come with the book. Anyway. Now, oh, oh, by the way, they've ordered more books. They've ordered more books. They'll be in about the 8th or 9th of August, the new books. Right, now. What colours of thread do you use the most of? Not purple. <laughs> not purple, not Marrakesh. Black and white for your everyday sewing and your beige and your silver for your piecing. These are called the house collection necessities. But they've got some in-jokes going on now. 35.99, four spools, 1,300 meters on each, 100% cotton, from Egypt. Okay, right, I need to tell you now, the foldy table, there's only one left. That's it, if you're thinking about the foldy table, one's just confirmed, one left, one left. That's the professional thing, foldy table. Foldy table. I like that, foldy table. 35.99. This isn't a faulty table, this is thread. That's purple. Hannah. It's not. Everyone at home is not. Hannah wants to know where the purple is. And Marrakesh was in that box, Charlie, so you buy that box. In fact, Charlie, it's not even one of those at my house. No. There's one of the originals. But it's not the garden collection. Anyway, thirty-five ninety-nine for your necessities, for your four colours that you're going to use them. I'd say that you'd use the most of. What colours your quilt, Charlie? That you're making. Oh, okay, fine. Sort of comic. What would you like next? Needle bundle. Uh, when's that? December. Okay, so just so you know, Kathleen Wright started quilts for her friends uh, for Christmas about three years ago. She only just finished them. Just so you know, Charlie. Right, sewing machine needle bundle. So you've got red tip, blue tip, Purple tip and super stretch. These are, do you know me, Elna, same thing. You can use these in all machines, though. You can use them in all machines. Unlike bobbins, blonde, blonde. <laughs> I think it's time to go home. 
John, could you please tell me what size that gnome reindeer bags are? Nora, friend. Clarochin Village, Clack, Manicshire. Well, what? We're giving you a whole address away there, Nora. Uh, could you please tell me what size the gnome reindeer bags are? Gnome. What's that song? You don't know me. Oh, no, that's not it, is it? Right, finished. Hang on. You don't know me. What's that? Oh, did she? I was thinking it was on X Factor, I think, when the X Factor was. No, no, before that it was Petula Clark, wasn't it? Or something like that. What do you mean? Yeah, 38 inches it is. Oh, no, the bag's not 38 inches. <laughs> Somebody melted the iron, uh, on the iron yesterday. Who's somebody? Jules, it can only be Jules Muth or Becky, Bex. Is it Bex? Oh, it was you. No, it was you, Penny. Nine inches. Who asked this question in Clackmanicshire? Nora. Nora, it's that, not, look, nine inches across there. And, well, ten inches to the bottom, but it'll be nine inches when you've done your box box bottoms so like a nine inch square they are okay so that says again question hi John I'm sorry I saw some dimension of the tables but how high is it from Tricia wasn't it 92 centimeters I'll have a look for you now Tricia uh, Oh, 92, 92 centimetres. Will you be getting any more of the horn fold away tables with inserts? I'm putting it on either birthday or Christmas. Sue, so, I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will, but I have no idea when because I haven't seen Jason for over a year. So anyway, that's the size there. 92 centimetres high it is. <coughs> it's like a normal table, isn't it? 92, oh no, these aren't normal tables here. Are they? 92 centimetres. Yeah, yeah, they make them to, to be like normal tables so you can pull, your t pull a chair in and everything. Oh, but if you're going to stand up working at it, but there it is, up. Oh, Hannah's going to go and stand at it outside, everybody. Are you going to take a picture? Oh, she's gone. Hannah's going to go and stand at it outside, then she'll come in and tell us where it comes to on her. She's on her way in. So, Hannah, how tall are you? Which deal she can... Oh, hang on. How tall are you? I don't know how tall I am. All right, and this is going to be fun. So <laughs> Hannah's going to come in and show you where it comes yeah, up don't to. Look don't look at her because she's looking a mess. She hasn't got her glasses. And it comes to, uh, is that your waist or your hip? I can't tell. <laughs> Just a little chubby bit. <laughs> it's not a little chubby but Tell them, not me. There. It comes to there. That's 92 centimetres, is it? Yeah, that's where it comes to. That's how I did it, and I held my finger there the whole time while I walked around. Yeah, but is that like when you go like this? Oh, it's this big. Oh, well, you might do that. <laughs> Get off! They're all in such weird moods today. I do apologise. Charlie thought it was very funny. It's funny it comes to exactly the same place on me as well. Anyway, she slammed the door now. Let's go back to these needles. I don't mind. Right. The needles, you get purple tip needles there. You get your super stretch, which will be ballpoint. You get your um, red tip and your blue tip. 19 pounds. Oh, you're getting three pounds off. Should be 22 pounds. She forgot she was on telly, she said. Just as well, she, well. Anyway, put those away. Now. We can mention about the machine. Here we go. Lots of these have already gone today. I'll come down to your side. Shall I? Oh, no, I'll, I'll come in. I'll come down to your side. They're so lightweight. These are brilliant, right? So I can't tell you how many, how many these machines have gone, right? Uh, they were launched by Stuart and Tracy from, well, she's not from Brother, but she's an ambassador for Brother, isn't she? On about the first of, no. I want to say the end of, end of, June, was it the end of June? Anyway, the £399, you get 250 stitches built in. Look, they're all here. Oh, 30th of May, I'm way behind then. 
There's all your stitches there. You also do get three alphabets, which are all in there. Oh, hang on, I can't do that. Three alphabets, which are also in there. Um, and mine's not plugged in, but you easily, you do your stitch width, your stitch length here. It comes with extra feet for dressmakers, extra feet for dressmakers, and it's on split pay for 133 pounds. So you get a zigzag foot, you get a straight stitch foot, a zipper foot, and piping foot, gathering foot, pin tuck foot, non-stick foot. Uh, these are all, these are including all the ones you get in the little envelope that comes with it. <coughs> Adjustable bias binder, uh, bias binder, narrow hem up, buttonhole foot, zipper foot, overcast foot, blind stitch foot, all those feet you get with it, monogram foot, button attaching foot, you get the extension table, you get the pool spool caps and all that, four bobbins, one comes in the machine, you get an eyelet punch, you get an extra spool pin, you get a dish, disc shaped screwdriver, ballpoint needle, just the one, cleaning brush, 250 stitches, eight styles of one step automatic buttonhole, backlit LCD screen with digital stitch length and width controls, three styles of lettering, all uppercase, you get a capital, a script and a, like a outline one quick set bobbin needle threader drop feed settings comes with 14 accessory feet including seven sewing suit display that i'd included those in that list you don't get those on top of that list so it's a really lovely thing you've seen kerry using it today all the uh, designers love using it love working with it it does not have a thread cutter on it that's the only and i'm not saying it's a i'm not saying it's um a negative, I'm just telling you, it doesn't have one. You've got your three buttons here, you've got your needle down, you've got your reverse stitch, and you've got your sewing without the foot. So if you want to sew without the foot pedal, you can do. Um, and what else can I tell you? You can drop the feed dogs, and it's a bobbin, it's, it's put in from the top, top loading bobbin. It's a fantastic machine, £399, split pay 133 Several have gone already today, just so you know. Nice Christmas present. Mind you, don't know how you'll keep it hidden. Uh, it's just lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Right. Yeah, lots of people's Christmas present lists at 680. This is a machine I have at home. £1,249. Uh, there's so much. This, this machine, it like sews. When I first used it, it sews. It looks like it's sewing for you. You know what I mean? It's £1,249. £249.80 on split pay. Uh, the stitches, there's the, pa the panel of stitches there. And it goes to a nine millimeter stitch width. What I love is the feet that you're gonna use most. Hang on, I'm just gonna move something. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the feet you use most are up here. And it's just brilliant. It's also got the, I'll just say that with there. You've got your uh, thread cutter, needle up, needle down, da -da 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 lock stitch, reverse. You see this one here, you can um, sew without having the foot pedal in. You do have your needle threader. You do have your automatic f uh, buttonhole there. Then when you come out, uh, then you've got your go faster, go slower here. These are brilliant because it's not, don't be frightened by it because you're choosing your stitches. You've got shortcuts there. Oh, hang on. You've got shortcuts there and everything like that. Oh. Um, you've got your reverse of your um, decorative stitches. You've got your twin needles. You can make, uh, you can uh, uh, load this so that automatically there's a thread cutting and a locking stitch at the end there. Uh, you've also down here, you've also got shortcuts to different stitches. This is the 580 I've been given. I wonder why it didn't look like mine. This isn't the 680. Sorry, it's the wrong machine. Here's the six I thought it didn't look like mine. There it is. Right, so on here, the reason I was odd is because there's, on mine, I was looking at it thinking, oh yes, uh, you can elongate the um, satin stitches on mine. And I was thinking, where is it? Where's it gone? Hang on, let me get that the right way. There you go. So you can do set your own stitch, twin needling there. You can lock it. You can go back to the stitches you used before. You've got shortcuts in there. I mean, it's just the, 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 basically the buttons are the same on that, but it's far, it does far more than the 580. There you go. There's some slides for you there. 170 stitches, including 10 buttonholes. N uh, needle threader, which uh, it's the only needle threader I can use. Large leg space, maximum speed. Uh, free arm, you've got a huge table that comes with it. 
Presser foot adjustment, uh, easy and guided bobbin threader with built-in thread cutter, bobbin thread and upper thread sensors, extra wide table and 10 bobbins with it. The feet you get with it are, there you go, standard foot, rolled hem foot, zipper foot, satin stitch foot, open toe foot. It, it, it comes with a walking foot, goes to a nine millimeter uh, stitch width so you can get extra, extra big um, letters, capital letters and numbers. It's got a knee lifter. It doesn't have a hard cover, so it just has a semi-hard cover because it's not one you're going to be carrying. Having said, you're not going to be ca carrying it around much. When I was doing the John Scott show, every Wednesday, was it Wednesday or Thursday? Was doing it. Anyway, every week I would drive up to um, Western or down or up to Western Supermare or across Western Supermare with it in my car. Uh, what else can I tell you about it? There's your technical features there. Variable needle positions, 91. I said capital letters up to nine millimetres, stitch width nine millimetre. It's just, it's such a fabulous machine, I can't tell you. So now, again, 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 this is on five-way split pay, isn't it? Yeah. So you pay £249.80 today, it can be paid for in November, so by Christmas, your pet is paid. Now, I know I say this every time, my mum and dad would never do, oh, not putting on tick, if you can't, if you can't afford, you can't have it. Times are different now. What I say, this is the best, the best example I can give. If you put that on your credit card, and now, if you want to pay in one go, please do. I'm not trying to put you off. But if you put that on your credit card now, thinking oh, I'll pay it all off when the next credit card bill comes in, and then your boiler breaks down, or you, I have a gas tank in my back garden, right? It costs that much to fill it, right? right? And just things like that, right? Imagine if a bill comes in and you can't pay your credit card. Imagine the interest you're going to pay on your credit card till you do pay it off. This. We don't charge any interest whatsoever. So that there, you will only pay the same as somebody who buys it today or pays for all of it. The only thing, the only difference is if you've not bought anything else today, that first payment will have £3.95 post and packaging on it. It comes directly from Elna uh, and they deliver really quickly. It's got a two-year warranty, manufacturer's warranty. So if something of the machine breaks, you're covered. But if you break something, like if you drop it or if you snap something, that's not covered. But they have the most brilliant customer service team that you can ring up and they'll just help you with anything. Like with the overlocker, they'll just help you with everything. They're fantastic. So at £1,249, if you are thinking of upgrading, it's a gorge. I can vouch for it because this is the one I've got. And uh, Charlie thinks he's going to get one for Christmas. Anyway, there you go. Right, let's put that to one side. Now, what else have I got on this lovely trolley of goodies here? Bobbins for Janome or Elners. Now, it's really important if you've got an Elner or Janome machine that you use, sorry, Charlie, you use Janome or Elner bobbins. Uh, a lady was put on Facebook fan page the other day that something was going wrong and I said, have you checked that you're using an Elner bobbin or a Janome bobbin? Because it can really make your, um, Machine play up and your stitches skip and things like that. We haven't had these in top for ages. In fact, if I open this, it means I might have to go to my house. They won't, we're not allowed to do that. Eight pounds. But Charlie might need them, you see, for need. I'll be doing it for Charlie, yeah. Eight pounds, plastic bobbins. There's loads of scissors there. There's loads of everything. It's just these I'm a bit short of. Eight pounds for 10 loose plastic bobbins. They're flying out, absolutely flying out. But remember, only put them in a Janome or an Elna machine. Now they're singing my song, you don't Janome. Right, I've got some Bonderweb and I've got an Aliso iron. What would you like to see next? Now, I saw one of these open on the shelf. Okay. This, I'm not going to open this one. I know, I understand it's considered purchase, right? But it's 45 centimetres wide and you get 30 metres on a roll. Now, I'm surprised Delphine doesn't try to nick one of these. It comes inside, I'm not going to open this one, right? Because one of you will get this one. Inside, there's a plastic roll that it's all rolled round. One lady missed you saying she made a lightsaber 
out of the plastic roll that was inside there. Also, when you get yours, don't worry that there's 100 leaflets inside because they make these ones for, for dressmaking shops to sell it by the meter and then they give a leaflet to each person. So there's about 100 le le meter le leaflets in there. Right, if you keep it in the box, on the roll, it will keep you going, for, it won't separate. Don't keep it anywhere warm, like on a windowsill or anything like that. But because it's on a roll, you have no, but uh, you know, normally we get a beach of it, we fold it and put it in the drawer, don't we? None of that at all. You just w pull it off, use it as you need it and everything. It's a brilliant buy. But actually, it works out at, no, 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 I was just gonna say this. Yeah, I'm just waiting, I was just waiting. Charlie, it works out at the most affordable way that you can buy Bonderweb here at Sewing Street. Oh, he's trying to work it out. He was trying to work it out for me. Anyway, so you get 117.99 today or two split payments of 58.99. If you're gonna do a lot of Delphine's projects, a lot of applique, a lot of anything like that, this is the way to go. I have to say, on the first day, I joked, went, oh, somebody's ordered the wrong size. But actually they ordered it big. and then, loads and loads and loads went. How many show you were left? Five. There's only five left. There's only five of these left now. Oh, Wendy Orlando came and she said, oh, I've got one of those. I bet she didn't get it for 117.99. Or on split pay. Anyway, it's just a really, really, really fantastic thing to have in your stash. Right. Shall I do menus? Have we got next? Oh, which one do you do first? Which one do you first? Do ours first. Now, I'm not in tomorrow now. It's fixed tomorrow. It's fixed tomorrow. So, Native Lighting, eight o'clock. Now, she's got a free gift tomorrow. Everybody who buys a Native Light tomorrow gets something for free. And I can't remember what it is. It's a lamp. It's a clip-on lamp. But I can't remember which one it is. Go and look at the Facebook page. It's on there. But everybody who buys with her tomorrow gets one of those. Then Jane Greenoff's in with Cross Stitch Guild Christmas. 10 o'clock, Victoria Peets come all the way from Gibraltar to do foundation paper piecing Christmas cushions. 11 o'clock, Jane's back with more Cross Stitch Guild Christmas. And then 12 o'clock, as I've been told by many people, they've got Christmas fabrics. That's with Vix tomorrow. That's not me tomorrow, it's Vix tomorrow. Uh, coming up in a minute, of course, they're on Hobby Makeup. Brand new, oh, brand new Gemini Christmas Fancy Sentiment Collection with Crafters Companion. They love using words on their menus, don't they? So it's at Gemini, so you'll be able to use your Gemini cutter, Christmas fancy sentiments. Two, two o'clock, the long-awaited Deco Large Ultimate Collection from Hunky Dory. They're in a lot. Of, is that Auntie Pauline doing that? Then three o'clock, we've got brand new Christmas card, front, no backs, front colour pads with Crafter's Companion. Four o'clock, we've got Christmas duo design pads with Hunky Dory. And then at 5 p.m., Sharon Callis Stamp and Die Collection with Crafter's Companion. Oh, what a show, what a show. Have they got Christmas decorations up? I mean, ours are hardly Christmas decorations, but no. Uh, anyway, 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 do I need to say anything else? There's only one of the tables left. The what, what? I've had a lovely time, thank you. Uh, remember, everyone who buys during this Christmas week get, oh, now. It's done, is it? Fine, I'll move on. Uh, there'll be another competition tomorrow, but you will get a free pin badge during the week while stocks last. It's only one per person. Uh, I'll see you on Saturday when Delphine's in with me. I'll see you on Sunday when uh, Matt, Mandy Shaw's in there with me. And then I'm also in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I'm ever so sorry. I've got Friday off. I've got Friday off. And then I'm in Saturday, Sunday again. So um, I'll be seeing you on Saturday morning. Have a lovely day. Make sure you check out your baskets.